All right, fam lamb. What's up? Welcome to the stream. How y'all doing? Everybody comfy and cozy in their Sunday PJs. What's good? What's new, homies? How's tricks? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's things, Dave? You all right, man? It's good to have you here, Ross. Where does anybody know where to find Applin? Can't find the stupid apple. It's pissing down here, mate. Is it really? What is Applin, Dave? Is that like a is that a character in a game? I can't find the stupid apple you've said. Oh, the Pokemon. Applin's a Pokemon. Yeah, isn't he like I know are, are you trying to are you trying to find it so you can give it to the girl in this in the city, Dave? I caught my Applin at there's like a 
very early on in the game, there's a long ass bridge that you cycle across. Uh, you cycle across it. I think you fight your rival on the bridge. Before that, there's a little grass area that goes down. It's like imagine you're on the bridge. You go left backwards as if you're going back to the start of the game, and then there's a little grass area that dips down in a little kind of hump. You can go down and round. There's lots of grass. There's grass down in the bottom right. There's grass on the left, and above the road up the top, there's a little patch of grass. That's where I caught Applin. I don't know where it is. It's before. It's before a bridge, I think. There's a bridge on the right. Maybe? There's a patch of grass. Um, I can't remember where it was. But uh, if the gang turns up later, there'll be some of them that'll know. Sushi, I think Sushi told me where to find mine. And I think Ollie will know as well, but Ollie was working late last night on a big shift, so he's probably not going to be here f for a while if he does manage to make it. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to help you, maybe at some point. The gang will best definitely know. Are you, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to complete the decks, Dave? You're just trying to complete the decks, I guess. Let's jump into some Final Fantasy uh, 13 here. Palum, Polum. Hope finally unleashes the anger he's been uh, feeding for so long, channeling his hate with deadly power, blasts snow with a fiery magic. But just as he prepares to deal with the killing blow, he is hurled from the roof and they're st uh, startled by an explosion. Snow doesn't hesitate. Catching the boy he knows is her son, Snow Shield soap with his own body as they crash on the ground. Elsewhere, Lightning listens as Fang makes a confession. When Fang and Vanille awoke from the Crystal Stasis, they had no memory of their past, thinking it was something something. They decided to attack the Sanctum. I don't got enough time to read that, I moves too fast. I'm gonna read it inside the chapter things though. Just realised I've left the fucking the music on again. I need to stop doing that, I'm terrible for it. Alright guys, well, welcome back. What we'll do is, for those who are chilling out watching the VODs on YouTube, I will do a quick catch up. Let's go into chapter 7 here, because that's the point that we're at at this point of the game, which is nice. Um, mob Injustice over the edge. Um, when Fang and Vanille, yeah, this is the confession that they made. So, at the end of the last playthrough yesterday, we got to uh, Palampolum, which is the, the town of Hope's kind of childhood. Um, I think he he lives in the kind of expensive part of town, but there are kind of it's this kind of seaside town. It's very nice, and we're just here to um, we're here for a couple of reasons. I think uh, Saz and Vanille are here for their own reasons. Lightning and Fang are here, and then obviously Hope and Snow have made it here as well. So all of our heroes have kind of converged here accidentally. Um, I feel like the bit where Saz and Vanille and Hope and Lightning got split up, it was actually kind of weird that they kind of went in different directions. I don't know why they didn't just stay together the whole time, but everybody ended up going their own way through and making their own journey to get here. Um, it wasn't really widely discussed amongst all the group, but within their little groups they did talk about where they were going to go next, so... Um, yeah, Lightning slapped Fang yesterday just before we finished in a cutscene, and I just wanted to quickly catch up on that to make it clear um, why that happened, because we were kind of discussing it and a lot of you guys were familiar with the game and knew what was going on, but for me I was just want to catch up and I don't know, maybe some of you guys will be as well. So when Fang and Vanilla woke from Crystal Stasis, they had no memory of their past, thinking it might give them a hint about their focus. They decided to attack the Sanctum Falci and Uride Gorge. Unfortunately, Fang left the scene none, none the wiser and uh, is still desperately trying to figure out their task in order to prevent Vanille from becoming a Seath and to stop the creation of many more Lassi. The Grand Pulse native then revealed that she believes Sarah was chosen by the Falci to carry out the focus they no longer remember. So that's why... That's why Lightning was angry at Fang, because as a result of Fang and Vanille not being able to complete it, Fang believes that the Falci initiated Se uh, Van oh, Sarah in, sorry, and uh, Sarah being Lightning's sister, Lightning was quite pissed. Lightning takes the news with mixed emotions. Fang dis uh, deserves to pay for what happened to Sarah, but at the same time she gives Lightning hope her sister may not be a crystal forever. Yeah, it's a two for one deal, so that's why the, uh, the group are kind of balanced here for the most part. We are starting a bit later to the stream today, guys, but a lot of you guys won't be bothered about that. We're about half an hour later than normal. Um, this whole week I've been a bad, a bad jack, but still, I am delighted to be here today. It is a fantastic Sunday. It's very windy here in Scotland, but we're just going to stay nice and cosy, and we're going to play through some more Final Fantasy XIII. I have been loving this game, guys, and despite the fact I've been kind of butchering the... Uh, some of the systems and some of the mechanics, we've been doing okay, we've had a couple of deaths, the game is quite challenging if you misstep in certain areas, certain enemies will naturally fuck you up, but um, yeah, we're going to just push through here today, apparently there's going to be a couple of cutscenes coming up and then there will be a couple of good grind spots where we'll be able to try and amass a decent amount of XP, which should be quite nice. 
um, I'm really looking to the point where I can stop and grind because one, it'll make my party nice and strong, it'll be able to It'll allow me to actually start building my party in the way that I want to build my party, you know? I will be able to actually start specifying characters in certain roles. And it'll also mean that I can save up and collect items for upgrading my weapons. Because right now I have almost no items left for upgrading. And that feels kind of sad, honestly. So it would be nice to be able to start uh, making my party strong and actually getting them to the point where I'm happy with them. Because right now it's... Um... It's a bit mixed, you know? I mean, this guy might actually kill me if I'm not careful. We were just about to stagger him though, so that's a bit of a shame. Let's go ahead and fucking kill this guy. We should be able to launch this dude. Woo! I really like that part of this game. It's cool. I thought coming in at 13, I've said this a bunch yesterday, but for anybody who's kind of tuning in now for the first time or whatever, I expected to come back and not find this game as exciting, um, but I've actually been loving it. I've been looking forward to playing it every day, I've been looking forward to grinding my party every day and levelling up. I will say though, um, obviously it does kind of, sometimes this game does kind of feel like you're on like a kind of track. Um, it's not the first Final Fantasy to do that though, and I don't know why this game in particular gets called out for it. Back in the day, I was part of the bandwagon that kind of said, yeah, Final Fantasy XIII feels quite linear. Um, but at the same time, I mean, it's very similar to... I think I think what's the thing is about it being linear is, in addition to that, you're also kind of restricted for quite a while in terms of selecting your party. The game just tells you who you're going to play as. And maybe when people say linear, obviously they mean the kind of the one track path that you follow for most of the early game. I mean, we're on chapter 7 and I've never had a differentiating path so far. You just follow it, you fight the enemies, blah blah blah. But in addition to that, there's obviously the point that you, do not, you don't actually select your... Uh, you don't actually select any of your characters. You just get given them for the most part and you don't really get to choose your... Um, you don't get to choose your team, which is a bit of a bummer. Yo, Warring, what's up, my dude? I gotta kill this guy fast before he fucking kills me. There we go. Nice. I'd like to fight the soldiers that were back there because they were they dropped a phoenix down. And I don't know how popular it is for them or how common it is for them to drop a phoenix down, but that particular fight would be great to grind because phoenix downs sell for about 500 gold each, which isn't insane. But, uh, you know, if you get about like five of them, you can make a, a decent amount of money to buy a decent amount of shit. This guy gives us nothing, which is a bit of a bummer. I guess we just go on and fight some of these guys. I can see there's an item down there. As well as an enemy. Can I maybe... I was hoping to get a preemptive strike here, but I don't know if it's possible. Alright, we're going to fight our little soldier guy first. Get him out of the, uh, out of the fight. Oh, he interrupted me and I never got my... Dude, that's a fucking sad case right there. Okay, I'm gonna sit on a mode here. I think because even though Final Fantasy X was linear, there was a lot of world building and environments. Here the story dump is like halfway in the game rather than gradual, yeah. No, I, I get you. I get you. I do hear you, Warren. I think as well, like, Final Fantasy X, despite the fact that it was kind of straightforward, you did actually get choices to make, you know? It, it did kind of feel a bit wider. You know, even if you're travelling along the high road in Final Fantasy X, which is an aspect of the game I always bring up and remember because I enjoyed that part quite a lot, I do feel like the high road at least felt like a wide path, you know, you kind of felt like you were choosing to a certain degree, even though it was technically a straight line. Like when you get to the Blitzball tournament, <clears throat> you can kind of wander around there and talk to people and things like that, whereas this game you're not really interacting with anyone, you're just kind of following along. But, that being said, again, over the last, like, this is day four, so the last three days we've played this game, I've actually been fucking loving it. Um, I'm actually super surprised. The combat feels really smooth, despite the, the fact the game came out for PS3 and it came out in 2008 or 2009. The game feels really nice. Sometimes, there's been a couple of instances where one or two of the enemies feel kind of BS. Um, but not that many. For the most part, it feels like you can actually challenge enemies if you know what you're doing. Um, the only difference was when we were playing as Lightning and 
I think it was Lightning and Hope. And we came across the, the gunship that actually shot a Gatling gun at you. That was a bit of an arsehole. On the high road, there was summoner fights on the side. <laughs> True. <laughs> but stay away from the summoner. Maybe that's it. You don't talk with people as much in this year. And do you know what? Honestly, if I actually stop and think about that, that's like, that's like a criticism I made. It's nice to wander around and talk to NPCs sometimes in video games, but it can become a bit of a chore if you put in too many. Like, when I've been playing Pokemon recently, I feel like I've been spending a lot of time running around talking to, like, random plebs just hoping they're gonna give me a TM or a rare candy. Sometimes when you don't talk to anyone, it just removes that, that chore that you have to do as a gamer. You know, you don't have to do it, obviously, but I will naturally, like, if, I, if I'm playing Final Fantasy X and I talk to an enemy, or, sorry, not an enemy, if I talk to a random person on the street and they give me three potions, then from that point on, whenever I see anybody who I can interact with, I'm going to speak to them, just in case they give me an item. Which, you know, not everybody's going to agree with, not everybody's going to do that, but... Um, oh, there's a, there's a nice fucking weapon for Fang, let's see. I'm glad that we picked up a weapon for Fang. I've actually got an accessory slot free as well. Improved counter, slightly boosts the effectiveness of counter-attack abilities. Okay. Increases D-Protect resistance by 30%. That's not bad at all. So we get two... Oh no, she already has a passive ability from her last weapon. So this is 165 and 96. I mean, that's a big drop in damage numbers for an improved counter. We lose 32 damage? That's almost like a sixth of the item's damage. In fact, it's not as less, it's better than that, it's like one fifth. Even less than that. What the fuck, dude? Really? For the improved counter? Is the improved counter even good? I mean, we can try it out, but like, fuck me, dude. Oh, the metal armband's giving her the D protect resistance. What am I talking about? Guardian amulet casts protect one roll. Uh, that is low. Doubles restorative items. Cast veil, increase poison resistance. Dude, I don't even fucking know, dude. Let's just take that for the time being, I guess. Found the fucker. Thanks, Jack. Was it in that right place, Dave? Yeah. Did you get where I was talking about, or did you find someone else? Yeah, but definitely better than people said. Maybe it is. You don't talk about um, when the new weapon is dumpster tier. All right. Do I want to? I kind of want to. Hmm, I kind of want to run back and see if I can fight those soldiers that were back in the last area. But I don't know if they'll have actually respawned. I guess they wouldn't have. Gotta push on further. Hmm. That is one problem. I, I don't know if it's a problem, guys, but it feels like a. Oh, these guys respawned. What the fuck? Wait, these guys respawned, but the other ones didn't? Hello? What the hell? That was weird. Um. Yeah, let me, let me talk real quick, guys, about this, right? So. In this game, right? One thing that kind of, I, I like the level up system, first of all, it's very unique and complex and I feel like there's a lot of diversity for like people to do different things, right? It really, oh my god, I'm actually gonna die here. Uh, it kind of feels like, right, the game often offers you some sort of boost on your weapon for a, like a decrease in stats. Um, that that is kind of furthered by the the system of the game, which kind of encourages you to upgrade weapons. So you know you could upgrade a weapon to level six, then you find a new weapon, and because it's only level one, the stats are a lot weaker. That's fine, but like even even here, right? I haven't upgraded Fang's original weapon, and then I find the second one. It's got an improved counter ability, right? Whatever that means. Like when Fang when Fang actually does like, I guess when Fang does, if she goes into Sentinel, right, and she does. Vendetta. Does she have Vendetta? She doesn't even have Vendetta yet, so I don't even have... I don't even have, like, counter-improvement attacks for Fang yet. I guess she would hit back harder when she defends, but, like... The lack of damage on the regular stats is, like, insane! Like, a couple of times the game's done that, where, like, you lose... It's not like when you come across a weapon, it's just a straight up upgrade. It's like you actually have to stop and think what do I normally play as? Do I normally have Fang and Sentinel roll or do I normally have her hitting people? It's quite good in a way because, again, it allows for diversity, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm always getting like. I don't know. I feel like I'm always getting choked out a little bit. I'm like, oh fuck. 
I found a new weapon, I get excited, but then the stats are so poor on it, I'm like, fucking hell. Like, I would have to actually upgrade the shit out of that to make it, like, remotely close to the damage numbers we were getting before. It's happened a couple of times, um, and I don't know what to do. Like, I've... I do that. I've put this... I've put the gay bowl on, right? <laughs> but, like, I don't even have any counter-attack abilities yet. Which makes it a fucking joke. Really bizarre. How did these enemies respawn but the ones around the corners didn't? There must be, like, a proc in the map as opposed to, like... Felix Heights is this way. It must be, like, a, a, a gap in the map that stops it from fucking changing. Is that a behemoth? Alright, just a behemoth, good old behemoth 1v1. We've got plenty of Deceptisols, but I don't think we need it, right? I think we could just fight it straight up. Mistakes might be getting made here. We're gonna do some buffs here if we can. I don't think, uh, actually, do we have even... Saboteur, yeah. Alright, fine, you go ahead and uh, put slow on this big bad boy. Hopefully lightning keeps us alive here. Alright, well that was pretty easy. I think that's the only one that Lightning... I think that's the only one that Fang actually has right now. I don't know what this guy's weakness is, so I need to use Libra ASAP. Alright. So it is weak to nothing. The slow is very good though. Heave. Oh, he missed. He missed. That's great. Heave is the one that knocks you up in the air, I think. I think we can go double Ravager here for a little bit. Do I even have that? I don't even have that set up. Feels bad. Oh, there's the light. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, let's go Sentinel Mad. We'll do this. We'll try and provoke this guy. Alright, let's go back in. Oh, he's getting up on his legs. Is this where he goes into scary mode or something? I remember this. Maybe I should go set an medic. Well done, saying that. His stagger bar reduced, that's a bit of a shame. Hmm. Hold on a minute, he's now buffed his speed, so he attacks more? Slunder. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's go Saboteur Medic. Okay, did that work? Try and get the slow off on him. Can we get this fine, please? I don't know why she only casts it one at a time. Why does she not try and put on, like, two or three? I don't even know if we can actually slow him. Alright, let's just fucking kill him. These girls have got a lot of damage, so if we can push through it a little bit. If he uses something big and scary, we might use lightning. Oh, he's changed targets though, this is fine. Definitely not going to be a fast, like a, a fast win, but we got there. Hmm. Nice. Alright. I'll take it. No spoils from this fight, which is such a shame because I feel like the big fight should be more rewarding. Mm. Alright. Uh, did we push on further? I guess. Let's see what this is. We'll see, let's see what's going to happen here. Okay. Let's get snow on the line. Ah. Damn thing's still jammed. Ugh, he can take care of himself. We'll just have to believe that. Hey, Fang. Hmm? The others are safe, right? If any of us got caught, they'd make an announcement. Yeah, they would. They'd have to let everyone know that the big badless sea can't hurt them no more. These cocoon people. Bunch of cowards and blowhards. <laughs> blowhards. These cocoon people <laughs> have spent centuries under foul sea law. In constant fear of a pulse invasion. If it weren't for Sarah, I'd have been out there too, hunting Lassie. 
would have been nothing but targets to me. Well, Grand Pulse is just as twisted. Cocoon's a floating nest of vipers, ready to strike. Or so I thought. So, you became a Lassie to fight the vipers. And destroying the nest is your... I mean, our focus now. Uh, until we woke up here, we'd been in crystal stasis. Which means we must have completed our first focus. Uh, why can't I remember that part? My childhood's clear as day. But the one thing I need, it's just gone. I, can't, I actually can't remember what her original focus was. Like an empty page. If I had... Reach for the memory, and nothing's there. Hmm. And there's my brand. It's all messed up. Benil and me, we lost our past. And our focus. And now, you want to find them? Be a pulse, Lassie. An enemy of Cocoon? Pulse and Cocoon can rot for all I care. If I don't figure out our focus soon, Vanille's gonna be a Sith. I'll tear down the sky if it'll save her. Hmm. If I had to guess what their first... You know how they completed the focus before and became crystallized, Fang and Venial? If I had to guess, I would guess that their first focus was, like, to find each other, maybe? But then I think they've been together since childhood, so maybe that's just fucking straight up wrong. I actually can't remember. So I'm kind of excited to find that out. Let's just land a blitz here. It's good value there. Take that guy out of the game. I saw on Twitter today, guys, that the uh, the Matrix Four had began began its filming. Anybody excited for the Matrix Four? There were people taking photos and videos of people like of the of the movie being filmed in like. Downtown San Francisco. Or in San Francisco, I don't know if it was downtown necessarily. Um, can we spend any XP before we go in here? Or do we just fight? Let's just fight, fuck it. I think we should be able to fight two of these at once, but we'll see. This might be a mistake. Cool Alright. This is going to be quite tough, I think. Luckily these don't, enemies don't heal, so it should just be a case of, like given it enough time. They're actually not doing too much damage as well. They're very bad at interrupting though. I wonder if this fight's taking longer because uh, we don't have any like... Oh no, we do have ice and water, yeah. We've got water for sure. I say we try and get one of these dead. And then we'll start healing afterwards. I don't think these guys have any... Oh wait, Sparkstorm actually might be problematic. Let's go ahead and do this. Why are, you, why are you attacking him? Why would you why would you do that? Why would it auto queue the full HP enemy? Maybe because he was closest? That's bizarre. Right, can we just maybe do a bit of saboteur in here? Put a slow on this guy. Sl 
I would I would like to do sabotaging on the enemy if it meant that we could kill him faster, but I don't know if actually putting a slow on him is going to improve the, the pace of the fight. Something that would like increase our damage would be better here, but we don't actually have that, so we're just going to have to go in hand. I guess it'll stop him from interrupting, which is slightly better, but I'd have, I would have preferred uh, some sort of armor debuff on him or uh, an attack buff on us. Maybe some sort of war damage. But we don't have that. I'm looking forward to the first main boss fight with like all of our team. I think it's going to be quite hard. Alright. There we go. Nice. Cool. Superconductor for beating those guys. That's pretty good. Do I want to go back and fight some of the enemies behind us? What we got here? An Axis Blade, that is a lightning upgrade, holy shit. <sighs> axis Blade, attack ATB charge. Very slightly recharges the ATB gauge each time an enemy is attacked. Increases maximum HP and resists lightning 25%, that's for the other thing. Dude, honestly, that sounds great. Um, what does Gladius do? Does it just give me straight up 100 HP? No, it doesn't. It just doesn't have any buffs, it just has increased stats, maybe? So if I take this, I lose out on 50 damage. 50 strength. Um, 160. We lose a ton of magic as well. Well, the magic is actually not that bad. I think Axis Blade looks great. But I just can't afford to fuck around with the stats right now. Like, I upgraded Gladius. And I actually feel like... Oh, do you know what the thing is as well? You can upgrade weapons in this game as well. Like, you can change them. So, like, if I get Gladius up a couple levels, maybe it evolves and becomes super sick. But, like, I can't afford... I don't have the money or resources to upgrade it further. I feel like Axis Blade is better than Gladius. Um, the difference in damage is actually not that much. Um, it's huge, but once you get access played up to level 7, it would definitely surpass. What do we do? It's definitely better than Edged Carbine. Huh. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough resources. I don't have enough shit. Hmm. I don't really want to stop and grind on these guys, but I kind of also want to do it a little bit. That bit where we got the Phoenix down from the soldiers would have been great, but it's so far back and I don't even know if like we're going to consistently get a Phoenix down from that mob. Let me just do one or two battles here, guys, before we push on. I know it's kind of slow and boring, but it will give me a chance to just kind of relax a little bit. Um, it's not the most thrilling decision to make, but at least if you guys are watching the VODs, you can just skip ahead. Or you can hang out with me, it's up to yourself, but... Um, I mean, they might not even have respawned, now that I think about it. Have any of these enemies came back? Maybe you would have to actually reset the loading screen. I don't think they're actually going to be there. Can I make the map big? I guess we can't see. But we check anyway. This is quite far away. No, fuck. Alright, we get it. We gotta just push on then. See, that's what's weird. Is these guys respawn. Has the behemoth came back too? It has. Oh fuck, we're gonna have to fight our way through these again. Yikes, dude. I did it. It's so weird how that works. There must just be a... There must be a point of the map that if you just pass, it's like, nah. Alright, maybe we can get some stuff again, I don't know. We'll see. The thing is, I don't want to make myself too OP, but I, just, I definitely feel like right now our our people, like our characters, could be a lot better. I don't feel like they're optimised in any way, shape or form. And I would like to change that, you know. I'd like to have lightning as my, my damage or whatever. And then have like maybe fang. I, I, would like, I would definitely like the healers to be better and I would like to have the ravagers have more flexibility. Like right now, uh, fang doesn't have any ravaging about, like she has no ravage items. Or magic spells that will allow her to like defeat this guy faster. I think it's because Fang's magic damage is actually really low because she's like straight up a bruiser. But 
It would be nice to get more like spells and buffs on like our synergists, more debuffs on our debuffers, and allow our medics to have a bit more utility as well. Let's go ahead and put the slow on this guy. Get some heals. Alright, that'll do. Fuck it. Let's go. There we go. That's much better. There we go. I think he dies. There we go. Alright, do we get anything for this? I know we get XP, but I'm talking like, do we get any spoils? No? Really? This game fucking hates me, I swear. <laughs> Alright, Behemoth boy. Fight you again as well. I don't know if the soldiers in the next part will respawn. They might come running down the hill again. Right, I'm gonna sabotage this guy, put the slow on him. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, we want to ravage and buff. Ravage and damage as quickly as possible. Get this guy staggered. If it's even possible to do that. I think I feel like with with lightning I've put so many points into uh, actually getting her commando skills up that she is not very good as a ravager. Like, her building ability is not not that great. Oh fuck, I just, she just died. I'm gonna have to waste the phoenix down, which I was hoping to sell. That was silly of me. Not not taking this fight seriously enough. I just realised that when lightning cures it actually puts the bar back up. Maybe not. Alright, get him. I've only got him halfway. I gotta be careful because if he heaves fine here, we may actually die again. Oh no. I think he missed. I think he missed that. Maybe we swapped the sentinel on one time and she evaded? I don't know. Should have went straight into this. Got to debuff him. It's kind of annoying because when he goes into the standy up mode, he actually loses his stagger that you've built up on him. Come on, dude. Debuff his ass. Maybe I can use a Suna. Maybe it's Lightning that has to use a Suna on him. I thought if you use. Oh, there we go. Either that's worn off or. Now, I tried to slow this guy before and it didn't work. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's just provoke him over here. Let's kill his ass. Fucking pain in the ass. That's right. <laughs> okay, that was scary. We provoke this guy. Come on, then. <laughs> oh, lightning walks in and gets slapped anyway. That was a bit silly. All right, this guy's dead. Can't lightning finish him off. Any time today, guys, would be excellent. If he's want to finish him off before he kills us, that'd be cool. Thanks. Whew. What a pain in the butt he was. How many stars do we get? Four. And we get no spoils. We got 5 star on him last time and we, we never got any spoils either though. I guess we're getting XP if we do this. Are these robots going to show up? They are going to show up again. Fuck. Well maybe we can farm these two boys for uh, good items. Like actually regrinding against these. It's not too bad. Now one thing I will point out guys is there's apparently, according to the guys yesterday, Cherry told me that there was a really good... Cherry told me that there was a really good... Um, spot in the next area for grinding after the cutscene that's coming up. Um, I ha I was paying attention to that when he told me. Wait, did this guy just cleanse his D-slow?
This fight is going a lot slower than the last time. Missing attacks feels so bad. Come on, lads, get in there. Oh, he missed. Yeah, fuck it, kill his ass. Nice. I think we can just keep going. This guy's also slowed. Obviously, as soon as I say that, it wears off. We could take it nice and easy here. Maybe we put a 1D buff on him and then we finish him off. Alright. Go, go, go. Nice. Does this guy have like a high evasion chance or some shit? I feel like he dodges quite a lot. Maybe it's just his movements though. It's not actually an evasion. I think evasion is when the attack connects, there's a chance that they dodge it. This guy just moves. Maybe if you can maybe there's a situation where you can hold hold your attacks for when he does his dashes and then you won't have to worry about it. Like see here he dodges like a few times. Alright, if we get 4 stars or above here, we should get a decent amount of resources. Alright, 154 XP is decent. Uh, and we got another superconductor. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. We got one of those last time, so we've now got two of those. I think farming those enemies is actually a really good idea because you're fighting two of them at once. Um, but I don't know how to reset just those guys without resetting the behemoth, which is a bit of a bummer. Like, if I go down here, right... Alright, it's straight into the cutscene. Did you see Vanille's brand? No. Yo, Cherry, what's up? Welcome, sir. No, huh? Warm welcome to you. How's your Sunday going, man? Wanna know how long until it's Seek City? Just look at your brand. You start getting more arrows. And then finally an eye. Once it opens all the way, you're done. Let's have a look. Don't be shy. Okay. Hmm. Nowhere near. You got time. Still, you never know. Some people, it doesn't take so long. You get a nasty shock, it can speed up the process. Vanille's brand must be pretty far along by now. I gotta save her and get her home. To Pulse, you mean? To Grand Pulse. I hear that the Sanctum prevents people from leaving Cocoon. I'd like to see him try and stop me. So, that's your plan, hmm? Wish I had one. Without Sarah, without a future, there's nothing to plan for. There's no way out of this mess, and no way to fight it. I'm stuck trading blows with the Sanctum, but that's no plan. Even if we topple the government, where's that leave us? With nothing to fight for, I might as well be dead. Your sister. You've got plenty to fight for. Think about it. Don't you want to see Sarah after she wakes up? That's your future right there. All you gotta do is survive. <laughs> it's simple. Right. Snow, they found him. Oh, that'll be the hope explosion, yeah. Okay. So, if anybody missed this yesterday, Snow and Hope fell to the bottom of like a huge drop after an explosion went off. Hope was trying to actually cut fucking... He was trying to kind of push Snow off the edge and stab him. 
and then Snow actually grabbed Hope to save him, so there was a weird turnaround there. This little dagger, yeah. He has snow hope. <laughs> Tired just woke up after 11 hours. It's simple, she says. Psychom thinks otherwise. Lol. How was the, how was the shift last night, Jerry? Did you get on alright? Mm hmm. No, 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 no. Not like that. You misunderstand me, Jerry. I'll explain in a second once it's finished. Not, I'm not saying it's weird that Snow wants to protect Hope. I, was, I said that it was weird that despite the fact that Hope was trying to stab Snow and, you know, kill him, basically, when Hope was in danger, obviously, Snow then tried to help Hope. That was the kind of unusual part. I mean, would you try and save someone that fucking tried to kill you when you're fucking hanging on a ledge? Um... Okay, we've got a little bit of XP to spend here with these girlies, so I'm gonna go ahead and do so. Mhm. Mm Shift out of weekend, just been up for too long. Oh, sorry. I thought that you meant like you were working hard after, and then slept when you got back. But I get you. Yeah, if they owed me money. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I can go for raw stats here. I can get a bit of HP with Fang. I would love to try and make Fang a better Ravager, but I don't even know that option's not even available to her actually. Right, well, we'll finish off this tree so I don't have to worry about it. Because I think as, that's us got everything here. So, yeah, Fang is complete in the saboteur role. Um, Sentinel has a couple of missing pieces. And Commando only has a, a couple. Dude, the Sentinel role seems... Like, I know it's strong, but it also feels, like, pretty fucking weak. Um, I guess we continue along this path because, like, we've already invested some points. So, we'll take 40 HP here. Make Fang a little bit more strong. Fang's magic is 99, so getting extra magic really feels a bit fucking stupid, but she gets 6 strength if we can get to here. That's huge. Um, Commando, what have we got? It's just... Do you know what? Maybe making the, our team a bit tankier is just a little bit of a better idea. I mean, 2 HP nodes is the equivalent to, like, 1 iron accessory, so... I just feel so gross given... It feels so weird going for, like, magic on Fang. She doesn't have any magic spells. Other than like maybe like ruin or something. It feels super weird. Maybe our sentinel moves count as fucking spells, I don't know. Alright, uh Lightning's just waiting for this, so we'll go ahead and level that up. Ravager. Can take 20 HP here. 20 HP here. And then some strength and magic as well, which is nice. Commando. Bunch of stats just waiting about as well. How many strength is that? Three? Not that great. Okay, I think I just level up the this then. I'm going to take stats before I take HP. Despite what I said a second ago about giving ourselves more HP. I'm going to go this way. And give lightning more damage. And then I'm going to go back. We'll get 20 HP there. What about back at this one? 20 HP here. This is a big jump though. I don't know if I can reach that. 400 CP required for that. What the fuck, dude? Why is it 400? That's nuts! They're all 400. That's only 10 HP, though. Fuck. I guess this way leads to more strength eventually. So maybe I should just continue on this road with Commando. Regardless, we're running out of XP really quickly, which is a bit of a bummer. Mm. Yo, Sushi, what's up? Sentinel pretty much tank roll, so it's not to fight, it's to defend. No, 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 no. Well, again, like, don't jump to conclusions, guys. I'm saying that when I say that, like, Sentinel feels rubbish, I'm not saying that it's bad as what it's supposed to do. I mean, like, in this part of the game, when you have two members, 
fighting with a tank and a healer feels really slow, you know? Um, I, I have no doubt that when we get three party members, the tank role is going to come into its own, right? It's going to be really useful. Or like in this fight here, when we're fighting lots of enemies, it's probably decent, but like... It just makes... it feels like the combat is so sluggish when you have a Sentinel in the party, because... Although Snow is like a... like, both Fang and... Both Fang and Snow are really tanky Sentinels. It feels like, um... It honestly feels to me like they're a bit, uh, Like, if you give up damage in the fight, it just makes the fight last ages. And you kind of get rewarded in this game for, like, killing fights fast. Like, here, like, she she takes no damage, right? That's fucking... that's OP, right? The fact that you can stall out the fight and be fine there, but... Um, it, it just feels like it's a bit sluggish, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe because if you've got a tank, you don't have to buff as much, but... See here, I can make fa fucking fang tank damage for days and then lightning's just blitzing in the background. That's actually pretty cool if you're fighting against lots of soldiers, but against like the behemoths when it's like a 2v1, it can feel a bit meh. Fang is a good at everything except Ravager and Medi, yeah. The sphere good was reasonably linear, but it didn't feel like it. I quite enjoy like leveling up in, on this crystallarium, it feels nice. Mm -hmm. Sen is for boss fights, draw an aggro with your teammates debuff, heal is invaluable. Yeah, exactly guys. Like I said, um, when I say that Sentinel feels sluggish, I don't mean it's a bad throw, it does exactly what it's supposed to, right? Um, oh, cool. But it just feels like at this point of the game, when we only have two parties members and we're fighting like 1v1s against behemoths and robots, it's, it feels a bit weird. That's all, don't misunderstand me. Um, what did I just pick up a second ago? It was a tungsten bangle. Increases maximum HP by 150. That sounds great. Um, I actually think I'm going to put that onto Fang. Um, Fang takes damage a bunch and she's also our main character right now, so if she dies we lose. So, Tungsten Bangle, very welcome, better than what we had on before, that's a big upgrade there. Okay, um, we're going to fight a bunch of these random enemies here. The, uh, the big robot in the centre of the courtyard is actually quite good because they can give us superconductors I believe. Like, see this guy here? Uh, let's go ahead and fight the uh, the little guys first. There was a really good fight um, a second ago, guys, where you can fight two of the robots at once and it kind of doubles your chances for like unlocking what uh, the item that you want. That I was just talking about, the superconductor. But yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to hear you whine when you need 16,000 to upgrade, not 400. I mean, surely at that point when you're needing 16,000, that's when you need to, uh, surely by that point you have enemies that kind of counterbalance though, right? Like you get more XP per fight or whatever. Um... The thing is, what you can do... What I'm, I see you guys talking about the upgrade system and stuff. I mean, the thing is, what feels, um... What feels cool is that you can kind of choose to what, like, you can choose what you want to do with your party, right? You could, like, you could save up all of Lightning's XP and just put it all in a commando, but what's kind of, what kind of curbs that system a little bit and takes, um, if somebody was to say that the that the upgrade system in this game is linear, I could understand a little bit what they mean because the, what the game does is it kind of caps you depending on where you are in the game. Like, I don't know, like, you know how when you get to a certain part of your upgrade tree, and then the upgrade tree doesn't let you uh, ascend any further. I feel like that's a bit restrictive. Um, I don't know. Like there, maybe it's like a nice way of allowing you to like move on when you're supposed to, so that you'll never feel like the game is too easy for you. Like if you just stayed in the starting area, got yourself way up past where you should have been for like hours of grinding or whatever. Um, I mean, maybe that would stop you from doing that pain, but then that should also be the player's choice, in my opinion. You know? It's kind of strange, it's hard for me to explain. I'm trying to compare it to other games, but then even Pokemon does kind of restrict your level a little bit by the gym badge system. But again, I feel like that's- I feel like the, that in Pokemon is more to do with, like, so you don't trade with your mates and just get a free ticket to the end of the game, you know? I think the reason Pokemon introduces a cap on your level is to stop you from Again, trading across a level 99 Needle King at the start and just fucking up everything in the Kanto region, you know? I don't know. I do feel like... I don't think it's completely linear, the level up system in this game. Uh, I actually quite find myself... I find myself stacking up points and I love leveling up in this game. There's another superconductor, that's fucking awesome. Um, but what I do feel is that, like, you know... 
certain points of the game does kind of inhibit you a little bit, but maybe that's just the game's way of like breaking in what you can do in the game. I don't know. Maybe you guys disagree. Like, uh, if I wanted to, what I could do is I don't have to spend all my XP points, you know? I'm just doing it because it makes sense because of all the freebies you get in the early levels. So, like, if I wanted, I could just not put any points into Saboteur and Commando as, as Fang, and I could just stockpile up Sentinel. When I hit the cap, just sit on a mountain of XP until I unlock the next area, and then just max out straight away. But I just don't feel the need to do that, so I've not done it, you know? Um, if you were able to go all the way up the tree, or maybe not all the way up the tree, but maybe you could see, like, the next two or three levels, and then you hit a cap, it would be cool, because then I could actually choose, like, okay, Fang's definitely going to be my Commando from the start. Again, I'm not saying I would do that, but it would be nice to have the choice. Feels a bit restrictive sometimes, but I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 but you're still in decent areas, decent simple areas. You'll get fights when you want to draw the fight out a little. You may want to think about Com Com uh, Paradigm, like Commander Commander. Yeah, that's actually a good shout, Sush, maybe. I mean, Ravager and Commando is good, but I feel like at this point, um, because there's only two of us, we don't actually seem to stagger a lot of these enemies, which is a bit of a bummer. I like fighting against these robots, they, they're quite good at dropping... I don't know how good a superconductor is, but let me just check, because we can actually gauge whether it's worth our time to pick some of those up. If I go into the upgrade department, right, I'm not gonna, actually going to do this right now, but... Um, if I go into... let's say I wanted to upgrade Lightning's new... Uh, was it Edge Carbine? No, 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 what's the new one that Lightning got? Maybe it is the Edge Carbine. Uh, we're gonna sort this. We keep getting superconductors. We've got four of them now. How much do they upgrade? See, these are really good. Like, these are really good. That makes me want to, like, grind these enemies a bunch. Because uh, Lightning's got, like, a... They're not top tier or anything, but they're decent. Axis Blade. Why couldn't I upgrade that in the, in the menu? Why was Axis, Axis Blade not available to upgrade? Or was it? Am I just drunk? Oh no, it's down the bottom. I just need to categorize it. See, I would love to upgrade Lightning's Axis Blade right now. And Superconductors would allow me to do that, if I wanted to. It means getting rid of Gladius. But I could sell Gladius for a lot of money. It's just we put so much resources into it. I do feel like this weapon's better. You get extra ATB every time you attack, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Being capped is good in my opinion, make sure the game is still somewhat of a challenge. Yeah, totally understand that point, Sush, that's fair. Don't forget roles give bonuses to the whole party. Oh, do they? Wait. Oh, that changes things. So, hold on a fucking minute. There's one part of this I understand. I understand that when you change roles you get passives, but do they actually affect all of your party members? Wait, what? Are you... is that real? So, see these row summaries, bonus, uh, augmented attacks, bonus damage reduction, bo boost success rate. Is this for the entire party? Every row gives bonuses, having more of the same, increases the bonus. But, that makes, no, but that makes sense, like, I understood that part, like, I know you can get double Ravager. Let's say you've got Ravager, Ravager, Commando. The two Ravagers buff each other because they're both Ravager, but like, does Sentinel damage reduction apply to all the other party members? Oh shit. Oh, I did not know that. That changes things. Well, there you go guys, I'm still learning. Fuck me. I must have missed that. If that was like explained to me at some point in a text box somewhere, I missed that. I missed that line of dialogue. Um, But there you go. Like, I know, like, you know how you get, like, Digimon, Cyber Sleuth, and things like that? You kind of get party buffs that affect everyone in the, in the fight. I didn't know it applied to Final Fantasy XIII, too. Um, the only reason why I considered Sushi, you're saying don't sell weapons. I mean, the thing is, like, I'm pretty sure I can buy back any weapons I want, right? Like, if I... I can buy back older weapons. So, the only reason I would consider selling it is because the, the items actually, the weapons sell for a lot. When they're upgraded, like Gladius sells for 4,000. Pro Cyclone sell for 15k. Paladin level 10. Like, they sell for a lot of money, which I can then use to buy back resources to upgrade the weapons that I'm improving. That's the only reason I want to... I mean, what I was doing earlier is I was actually just breaking down the weapons for 
items, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I feel like I'm better just selling them. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. That's why three sentinels is absolute beast. All my paradigms is like three comms. You can buy weapons you find. Breaking down is a waste, so selling is better. Because we have got some resources back from breaking down. I think I'm going to just see if I can have a look at one thing here. I can decide if I'm going to play about with, with lightning right now. If I were to go into upgrades, right? Let's pretend I was upgrading the Axis Blade. I've got 15 Bestial Claws, um, which I could also buy more of to try and get that up. We decided yesterday the number we needed was like 38 to get to a decent level. But I only have a few superconductors to make that worth. If I had more of these, then I'd be down. I wonder if I can grind out the enemies in this area a little bit. I'd love to fight more of those. Oh yeah, look, they've respawned. Wait, what caused that? Was running down this... Uh, dude, if if running down the steps actually makes these enemies respawn, that's fucking top notch, by the way. Like, this is actually... Yo, Nye, what's up? There she is. <laughs> what's up, Nye? Welcome. Nice, nice, nice. I'd never sell my weapons in games not knowing when I want to try something different. That's true. But I'm not going to go back to my, my tier 1 sword that I found in the starting area, am I? Like, am I likely to go back to, like, the shitty weapons that have, like, terrible base or, like, no buffs? Probably not, right? Uh, just let me heal here. I'm, I'm probably going to fucking die. You guys keep... Hold on. I need to give Nye some love. Just give me one second, guys. Um, you guys keep saying to sell my chips, but I don't know what you guys mean by selling your chips. Sell your damn credit and incentive chips. What are those? I thought... Because Sushi told me that a couple of days ago, he was like, sell your chips, but I don't actually know what you guys mean. Is there items that I, that I own that I can get rid of? Nye comes in with a tier 1 subscription, 8 months in a row, currently on an 8 month streak. Nye, you're a legend, thank you for doing that. Welcome back to the Wolfpack now. Where is my promotion to mod? It's uh it's I did I nearly said something rude there, but that would have been that would have been unfair seeing as you just resub to the channel. Thank you, Nye, for doing that. 499, I appreciate that. that that's uh, kind. I know you've got all kinds of savings plans going on now because you don't know what you're doing with moving and potentially staying and saving and staying and moving and staying. So thank you for, for helping me out as well. Much love. Hola! Your inventory mate and your material list, there are items called credit chips and incentive chips. They're materials, value items you can farm soon. Items useless for upgrading but great for selling. Nice. Okay, see this here? There's a credit chip there and a phoenix down. This item, this area might actually be good for grinding because phoenix down sell for 500 each. And we're kind of guaranteed to get at least one from this fight. Um, See between this respawn and this fight here? This is actually decent. Like, we could make some decent money here. And decent upgrades as well. The XP is not too bad either. So, hopefully when we defeat this guy, we got a superconductor. I don't know if it's guaranteed. Um, this guy has an incentive chip, which is nice. And a phoenix down as well. Um, this guy has a rare drop as a superconductor. So it's rare to get this, but... Um, if we get a decent grade on the fight, it might actually be alright. Say it, coward. I mean, I was going to say, see when you were like, where's my promotion to mod? The first thing, okay, like, I'm only saying this because we're all friends here. Hey, Pig Squidder, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, friend. Um, I was about to say, oh, yeah, the mod's up your ass. But then I thought, no, she's just subscribed to you. That would have been, that would be an unfair. So I didn't say anything. And now you've called me out. I've said it anyway. So I just feel a little bit rude. But at the same time, you did kind of ask for it, you know. Um, Welcome. Welcome, pigs. Welcome back to the stream, man. How was your evening last night? Credit chips are 500 each and incentive chips are 1500. Oh, that's good. We actually have a lot more money than we expected then. Oh, that's fine. Mild. <laughs> Mild. <laughs> now he's like, I can take that. That's alright. Not as bad as I hoped. <laughs> alright, sweet. <laughs> I'm sorry it wasn't more exciting than that. Alright. Pew 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 pew. 
All right, this is going to be a little bit boring. And I did, Cherry, just before you joined earlier as well, you said that um, there was a really good spot for grinding later on in the game, past Hope's dad's cutscene, right? I, I understand that you told me that yesterday. I have got that in the back of my mind. I haven't forgotten. Um, so I will keep an eye out for that. But this seems like a good area too. In terms of like raw upgrades and money, um, watch, watch as we get no spoils from this fight and prove me absolutely incorrect. But we're also getting like 200 XP per fight as well, which is actually great. And there's the superconductor again, along with the, the Phoenix Down. Phoenix Down sell for 500. So this is actually a fantastic grind spot as well. Like even before anything else. For some reason, when we come down here into this area, it actually just instantly respawns the enemies. Look at that. What the fuck? That is such a bargain. Like this is actually hype. This is like hella hype. This is this is great. Andy always messages me like, hey bitch, or as today, shut up, Jamie. I mean, my brother thinks he's cool sometimes. I don't know if I approve. But it's whatever. He never messages me, hey bitch. Feels bad, man. Oh, I need to swap here. If you don't provoke first, Merry Guard actually feels super weak. Can you stop attacking lightning, you fucking pieces of shit? Alright, I want to try and get as high a... Can I? Do you know what? Do I have Quake yet? I don't have Quake, but I unlock it soon. I think Quake on these guys would be alright. I don't know how weak they are to Quake, but... Maybe it would do no damage, I don't know. I know we discussed yesterday, Quake sucks, yeah, yeah. Can we just kill these guys fast? Blitz. There we go. Get him up in the air. Light up. Oh, we interrupted him. Feels bad. You're going to squirm. There's the stagger. And the yeet. And the damage by lightning, hopefully. Nice. Alright. Give me five star, please. I don't think I deserve it, but I would like it. Oh, you fucker. We got a Phoenix down anyway. Shit. We need to try and optimize that fight a little bit. I do think as soon as I am able to afford Quake, it will make things easier. Uh, I don't want to go into my XP just yet. Alright. This fight has been really good to me the last three times I've fought it, and we've got a superconductor every fucking goddamn time, so... If you wouldn't mind just giving me another here, that would be ideal. Let's just go for these guys first. Get them out of the fight ASAP. Again, these guys do have a chance to drop the chips as well, so we're actually making a decent amount of money here. Okay, can I just blitz you guys? There's good value. Okay, I don't know if we need to be blitzing this guy. If we kill, we just kill you fast. All right, now we just start wailing on this dude. We are getting stronger as well here, and I think as soon as we start upgrading Lightning Sword, we'll be loving life. The thing is, trying to gauge when the right moment is to upgrade it is the hard part, you know? Do we... Let me explain. Do we upgrade now, get the good sword for making the grind easier, or do we hold off until we have a massive stockpile of superconductors, and then just get a huge times 3 bonus, you know? It's, uh, it's hard to decide. Hmm. This spot is good for conductors, me thinks, says Sushi, yeah. Yo, Mac, what's up, man? Welcome. Not much, mate. We're just chilling, playing some Final Fantasy 13 on a Sunday. Feels good, man. Mm -hmm. We're good here. Sell your damn chips. I'm not going to sell them. Ever. I'm never going to sell my chips. Poor night. You're not meant for abuse. Apparently, abuse is just what I am cut out for. No, no, you stand up. Don't, don't take that shit. You stand up for yourself. Stand up for your rights. Mm -hmm. That sounds more self-pitying than I intended, LMAO. But we know that you're not hopeless, so it's fine. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> Saved by Cherry. No superconductors this time, but that's okay. We've got one a bunch of times over from the last couple of times we tried this, so... I'm just gonna go around in circles here. Let's do another lap and then we'll consider selling some things, okay? I would like to use Quake though. Um, I want to try and see if it's any good. 
We don't have access to lightning or we could just Odin every fight, but for, unfortunately that's not possible. Fang, baby. I love you. Where's Quake? It's in the Ravager part? Sentinel? Oh, it's in the Sentinel part, yeah. What was I doing with you? Oh, nothing, I guess. Okay, sure. Well, I'll give you magic and... I mean, it's not really what you want, but... Uh... Okay, cool. Not bad, Maggie. Now that we've got Quake, we are unstoppable, Kappa. The Lightning, can we give you any more damage to make this go a little bit smoother, please? Just a little bit of the old damage. The strength round here, that's not bad. I was doing something with you though, what was it? Was it Medic? Nope. Must have been in here. I feel like I was collecting HP somewhere. Maybe not. Alright, Commando. We're gonna give you points towards strength. I feel like I've put points in it somewhere and I forgot what it was. Nice. Alright, that'll do it for the time being. Alright, you guys ready for the absolute insanity that is Quake? Do -do 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 oh, I'm Max's now. That sounds more self pitying. I'm eating what I call Ice Lollies flavoured water frozen. Nice. What flavour is it? Blitz! Oh, dude. Techniques. Quake! Did it, did it, did it drop the quake. Wait, where did quake go? Did I cancel that? Use the quake, bitch. Dude, that was so powerful. That was so undoubtedly the best ever. Right, we just need to kill this guy before we die and we'll be fine. Dagger. Dude, this is it. This is the fucking five star that we need. We're getting an incentive chip and the phoenix down for this fight. Watch me whip. Oof. Here we go. I had one apple, one grape. Oh, nice. There's the five star followed by the incentive chip phoenix down combo of my dreams. Okay, we were almost there, but we got the important part and that's what Mars. Yo, J-Bob, what's up, dude? I want a super duper. What the fuck is a super duper? That's a nice pole now. Yep, icy pole. Chalky, ch wait, chalky milk? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just throwing in random things that we talk about now. Chalky milk, super duper ice pool. A brand called Super Duper. Oh, there we go. No, 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 not that guy. Him. We need to kill these guys first. Oh, oh, oh. Chalky milk, chalky milk. Chalk, chalk, chalky, chalky milk. Die. Go bag. Oh, there we go. Dude, he's gotta be dead. Alright. So Sushi was saying put on the double double commando. But sometimes you guys say double ravager is better, but then we can't do ravager right now. It is true. It's all coming together, chat. It's all coming together. Look how fast we're getting through these fights though. We're getting baller. Even before we even upgrade weapons and shit. We are killing it. What are we going to set our target for of superconductors, guys? I say we go for a nice, he a nice healthy number. Maybe like... Like eight. When we get eight, we can maybe start upgrading. How about that? What about... Thirty? Chucky Moo! And no super dupers. Chucky Moo is oak. I went out with my parents today and had a Chucky Moo. Nice. Did your parents have chalky moves as well, or nah? Maybe I'll eat eight more of these icy pools. Nah, nah, ice pools are frozen flavoured water. Ice lollies are ice cream on a stick. With that logic, you can go to 99. Here we go, guys. Pray. Yeah, boy. That's it, right there. This is going so fucking well. This is going so well. Name that game. This is going so well. Alright. Chalky moo, chalky moo, ooh, ooh. chalk, 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 a chalk a moo. Right. Right, so let's check. Components. How many have we got? Six superconductors. So, we only need to do... I'm, st I'm thinking we get super lucky and we do two more runs of this, guys. And then we are looking fucking gachi. You guys feel me? 
I am so proud of you, says J Bob. Thanks, Jay. Jay, how are you doing, homie? How are you doing after your long, hard and tedious shift yesterday? I don't know if it was long, hard or tedious, but I know it was probably long. It was probably hard going. How are you doing, mate? How's life? Are you on a break right now, Jay? Are you working again today? You've been killing it recently, Jay Bob, with the shifts, man. I wanted to quickly shout out you guys in the chat just now, because we got two insane donations from you guys yesterday. We got an insane donation from Jay Bob, and then we got an insane donation from Cherry as well. Um, absolutely incredible support yesterday. And then Jay Cram actually stopped in just because he's, you know, Jay Cram fucking stopped in at the end of the stream and also donated. Even though he was in a toilet, he was in a pub in a toilet somewhere? He was like in a, he was in a pub toilet. And he was like, yeah guys, just, just so you know, I'm in a long bathroom. Here's a donation. I was like, alright Jay Cram. Classic. We gotta kill this guy fast. I lost my stagger. Oh no, he's gonna kill me. Okay, kill him. This is risky. Just knock him up in the air. Knock him up in the air, please. <gasps> right, okay, he can't kill me. He can't kill me now. Bah, nice. Come, come is great if you staggered an enemy and built up a good chain. Yeah. Perhaps. Oh, no incentive chips or Phoenix down for a five star fight game. Reels? Are you reels? Right, I'll tell you what then. Let's have a look then at the paradigms. Let's have a look at the paradigm, shall we? I don't know why I'm talking like that. Let's go offensive paradigm. Yes. And we're going to swap the paradigms. Double trouble, double, double trouble. Double trouble, chalky moo. Let's put it like this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm here for the superconductors, boys. Have at the blackguards. Don't know Will Poopin. I mean, it might have been. Who knows? Non Jcram. We can ask him if he appears today. Um, but he's probably hungover. He messaged at half past one saying that he was eight and a half pints deep. But I think he was just perhaps confirming what I asked him. Oh, value. Come on, get another blitz off. Well, no blitz. Okay. Blitz. Oh! Jcram taking a dump and dropping cash as well, guys. This is grim. This got grim all of a sudden. Why? Went well, doing it again and not on a break. Just have a couple of minutes before my batch is finished. Alright, nice. So you're so you're chatting and hanging with the homies while getting paid, J Bob. That's my guy right there. A man of efficiency. <laughs> Fucking love that, dude. I love it when you guys join the chat and hang out while you're actually at work. It makes me fucking, fucking crease myself laughing. I'm actually gonna put a slow on this guy and just heal a little bit on fine because I feel like we're low. Right, now we can actually go double commando on this guy. Right, let's see if this is actually more efficient with the two girlies gone fucking ham. Oh my goodness, that damage. That is probably a lot more efficient. Because these are the, uh, the melee ladies. Uh oh. Oh my. He's dead. Oh my, one more. Shinderu. Poop. Poop isn't grim. I just imagine, like, Jcram, like, on the fucking. Just on the pan, just hanging out, dropping donos and other things. Just be like, hey, chat, it's me, Jcram, just in the, in the bathroom again. But smelly. We told you, says Cherry. I know, chat, relax. Here we go. Blesses in the chat for the superconductor. Bless, 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 bless. Chat, you didn't put it in the chat. You didn't put it in the chat in time. Now we have to do more runs. I hope you are happy. I didn't give you any chance to put any blesses in the chat, but I need some blesses in advance next time. Okay, keep up, chat. Keep up. All right, this is good work. This is good, guys. We're strategizing. We're becoming more efficient. We are becoming the ultimate machine. Okay, we'll get you next time. I said so. You will get it next time, I said so. Alright, thanks. Yo, Doom, what's up? Is that the real Doom Thunder? Let's just blitz up a billion times here. Blitz is like OP in this fight. And blitz. Oh, value. Alright, we can hopefully kill these guys, right? Okay, yeah, and a, and a little blitz. Nice. Is he dead yet? Is he dead? 
I feel like you should be dead. There we go. You're gonna squirm. Doom says, need more superconductors, Popega. Hell yeah, dude. Superconductors are where it's at, and we're gonna get just enough to make ourselves OP. Chop. My god, will, will this guy just fucking die? Is he like mega resistant to like damage or something? Alright, here we go. We're needing Phoenix Downs and credit chips, okay? Bless, 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 bless. Okay, two Phoenix Downs is fine. That's 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 1,000 uh, bit of runes. So I'll take that. But here we are. This is why we're here, guys. The fucking main course. Superconductor City. It's a rare drop, but the game's been good to us so far, and I'm willing to uh, put my faith. I'm willing to put my faith in the fucking superconductor beliefs. There we go. A little blitz here, bit of value. Spin, spin. Okay, we're suddenly feeling the need to not blitz, apparently. Chalky, chalky, chalky milk. Right, here we go. Chat, I don't know if you guys know this, but Double Commander is really, really good good against the Ryan. I know you guys might not, uh, might not know, but... Payday tomorrow, what do I buy? What about a uh, skipping rope? Maybe a new set of china? Maybe a Christmas card for your gran in advance, Sushi? I don't know. If you got the right target, it's good against multiple enemies, but to be sure, the target, the right enemies. Hell yeah. SCC, SCC, SCC. Superconductors, superconductors, bless, bless. Superconductor city. Ah! Here we go. You guys ready? How's he? Why is he so tanky, dude? Why is he not weak to fucking it? No! Don't do it! Die! Oh, we're missing. He's too good at the dodges. Oh no, we are actually gonna die. Help! Holy shit! Dude, who told me Double Commando was good in this fight? You guys are drunk. Please die. Please die. Whew, I wasn't I wasn't worried. Superconductor City, here it goes. Chat, you are doing me proud today! Good job, good job, I'll take it. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's save before we get a power cut, because we haven't saved in the past 10 minutes. Slash half an hour, slash hour. Let's save. Going well, going well. Superconductor City, Superconductor City, oh yeah. Do 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 do. Chat, you're killing it right now. Mm -chicka, mm -chicka, mm -chicka. Guys, at this rate, maybe we should we should just go for 12 Superconductors. What do you think? The This Orion is strong, yeah. Is it Orion? Is it Orion? Orion the Beast King? No, what's his name? Orion the Battle King. Is it Orion the Battle King? Spin! Oh, there it is, fang. Touch me at night. Woo! Prob doesn't even check his bank, just spends money and hopes he got paid in the last few days. <laughs> I've been working full time for a year and a half and I still don't know when my payday is. Doom, you are just... You're just farming, Doom. Doom, are you the type of guy that gets your pay in and you just stash it away for a rainy season or are you do you do you have a lot of like things that you buy each month like are you like a material kind of guy do you buy games and clothes and shit like that you got a car or anything or do you just stockpile because there are two types of people in this world oh my god that was close it's great you just suck and don't watch your health we are good luck charms and good job guys, clearly we're the reason that dropped. I mean, I would have credit that to you guys. No one's, uh, no chips this time, unfortunately, but that's okay because we're here for, yet again, another main course with the Ryan and friends. Oh, Ryan. Yes. One would agree. Okay. Predator boys, you have to go down. Pew, 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 pew. Alright, can we get some blitzes in here? Dude, where's my blitz fucking value, dude? Alright, so we take down one soldier, that's good. Go for the next one. 
I'm trying to save this now. Yeah, I save all my money and don't do anything with it, says Doom. Is that a real Papega or is that like a... I can't tell if that's a Kappa there. I mean, dude, that's a sensible way to go, guys. I was pretty good when I was working full-time. I was pretty good at saving my money. I would spend money on my rail tickets to get to work. And I would spend money on junk food at the weekends and going out for food with Mrs. Wolfie. But I kind of just stashed it away. I didn't actually buy anything exciting when I was working full-time. Just paid my rent to my mum and dad and just sat on it. Which was good in the long run because it meant I actually had money to like do my own thing after... Um, you know, like after I left and I decided, you know, I started doing YouTube videos and I needed money to kind of keep me afloat. That was, that was good. I think this fight is more efficient if you slow down the Orion at the very start of the fight. Yeah, you might be right. Kill his ass quick. He's going for lightning, we can just finish him here. I wish I could save money. I've been paying, uh, playing even for the last half year. I mean, to be fair, Jess, like... Like, right now, on Twitch, um, we have, like, good months and bad months, but a lot of the time I am going even. But it also feels like an investment, because I feel like we're building. We're constantly growing and we're constantly building, so... I feel like... I know where you're at, Jess, because I'm not too different. I mean, even today, guys, I'll, I'll let you in on a little behind-the-curtains look at Jack's world of finances and stuff, right? But, like, um, today I checked my bank account because I was sending Mrs. Wilfie money. We um, we paid for... Last night, we paid for our airport transport for the holiday. So, like, a bus to the airport and a bus back. So we had to we had to get an open return because, obviously, when, you, when you're going to the airport, you can kind of imagine that your flight's going to be on time, right? Until you get there and it's delayed or whatever. But for the most part... Coming back, you can't really book a return bus because although you've got a, a destination time for your flight coming in, if that's even delayed by like half an hour, it's going to fuck your whole your whole setup. So we've got an open return on the bus coming home. But anyways, I went into my bank to send Mrs. Wilfie the money and I realised that I'm past the point of my first year of my internet provider. So it's actually been a, it's actually been a full year since me and Mrs. Wilfie moved into the flat almost. And so that means that we're now paying the premium rate on the internet now, so I I got the first 12 months for like a discounted rate and then uh, now from this point on it's the full price, so I was like oh shit that's like an extra like £20 a month and I'm pretty sure in a couple of months my phone contract increases as well, which is a bit of a bummer, but you know sometimes we had good months and sometimes we had bad months. Jesse, you're kind of the same right, because you're from a, you're working from a kind of creative process with your novel, you're writing your books, you're translating your books, Obviously, that's a, a big investment because if your book does well or it advances your career to the next part where you write a book that does even better or whatever, it's all part of your investment, right? You're building towards something. I feel like with the stream, we're doing the same. And so even when we have months when we go even and we can't save much money, I feel like it's still worthwhile, you know? It's not just like um, I'm getting my wages and then spending all my money on, like, I don't know, a car that's, like, way overpriced that I don't need, you know? I feel like I'm actually working on something. So, yeah, just my thoughts. I can't, I've, I'm actually going to have to scroll across the chat here real quick. Um, let me see. Food is the worst, is now yeah, true. When I want to take bake a cake, it costs like sixty bucks. Now, did I show you Mrs. Wolfie's cakes that she made yesterday? She made like she would have, she would have done you proud. I think she made these little these little sponge cakes. They're actually super tasty. I hope she brings some through later. Saving cash is no issue for me, says Sherry. It's a good but it's a good habit to have, guys. If you're the type of dude or a girl who works really hard and then like is able able to save like most of your resources, maybe you spend like money on a game every month, but then you tuck away your savings. Fantastic habit to have. And it becomes quite addictive in my opinion. Now, if you're someone who's like I know, like, let me just call out like Warrings here in the chat, right? Dumpster. He lives in London, so his rent is high, right? So if you're in a position where Maybe you've got a family, or maybe you've got an expensive rent, or maybe you have to... Uh, maybe you've got a dependent of some kind, you know? Um, it might be quite hard to save. But if you guys are just, you know, grinding out and tucking your money away every month, that's that's a good habit to have. I think it becomes nice when you're tucking money in a savings account, because as it grows and you can see it, it does actually kind of... You're kind of like, oh, this feels good. I want to do this again. Just me, but... Chat, send me some luck. I can't get the gun. I need to drop in BL3, says Sushi. Bless, 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 bless. Shit is getting more expensive by the month, says Jess. Yeah, I feel that too. I can budget and spend diet on my food and live like 50k. Or 50k. 50 for a fortnight. That's good. That's that's the way to go. Like, honestly, guys, I'm not saying you should cheap out and buy, like, the cheapest food. Because the cheapest food can be a bit rough sometimes. But 
you can definitely budget yourself and just try and save and it is definitely possible um having to cut more and more what i want because i want to leave with 50 euros of groceries twice a week on a one-man household yeah it must be tough jess it must be tough man i use that for like one week 50 to cover two weeks a fortnight is two weeks 14 days 50 australian dollars do you, eat air? Do you all eat air or something, says Cherry? <laughs> the only thing that comes in is my benefits, which cover, which barely covers my month. Mm -hmm. I'm dying, says Nye. I hope to be rid of them ASAP, but it's been like six to seven, uh, six point five years. Um, I'm not in by lunch at work twice a week, but uh, when I don't need to, I go for five minutes, and he goes into Wolfie rant mode. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm, I don't know why. You didn't show me. Show me. Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, the cakes. Oh, the cakes. Yeah, yeah, the cakes. Um, sure. Well, I'll go get them just now. At least I keep busy. Oh, and now for the good news. Uh, Me and Ara has been published as an ebook as well. Still in Dutch, but my English translation is a quarter of the way done. Excellent. Well, that's great, Jess. That's big, big news. Is that something you, do you? Uh, is that something you expected, Jess? Or did you have to work towards that? Did you have to convince them? How did that go down? That's really good, though, man. More, more people to read your your hard work is obviously a plus. Um, I try to meal prep and bulk cook. Uh, I pick a carb, meat and veg. So it's like rice pasta. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Cucumbers are tasty. You guys want to see Mrs. Wolfie's cakes? They're very simple, right? But they're they're pretty good. She, she doesn't do any bacon at all, so you just have to be nice. They're not spectacular, but they're they're pretty good. It reminds me, um, the recipe she got was like a... They were these cakes that you used to get at primary school. So they're like this... They're vanilla sponge with like the little icing on top. Wait, you see these? They're cute though. I think it was a good first effort. And they're tasty, so that's the main thing. Alright, microphone coon, you're gonna have to get out of the way. Alright, Mrs. Wolfie made these yesterday, guys. Little, uh, can you see them? It's quite hard for me to show you when it's tilted, but... They're like little, um, do you guys, did anybody have these at primary school? Little, what are they called, vanilla sponge? Vanilla sponge cake? They're simple, but they're tasty. I think you made a good effort. Chat says, holy fuck, those are outrageous. Get rid of them. No, I'm kidding. Um, Yeah, I like raw veggies. Oh, it's cute, cute. Eat one. To be honest, I'd bake with Mrs. Wilkie. I like it, guys. You guys could share skills. But she did well. She she never bakes anything, and I couldn't do any of that shit. So, um, her and my dad are the bakers at this point. Mhm. Mm hey, Vince, what's up, man? Welcome, sir. But it won't be big enough to keep the penguins safe as well, but I'll try it. Wait, Vince, wait, what? Vince, that was such a run. Wait, what was that in reference to? I like how you... <laughs> Vince, what? Vince just joins in. <laughs> what's, what's up, Vince? Welcome. Um, did I mention I'd like as many outlets as possible, but they didn't seem to be feeling it? Guess something changed, which could indicate good sales. Oh yeah, hell yeah, dude. So Jess, did they when they when your publisher sells copies, did they not give you like the breakdown of how many they've sold, etc.? Surely that's like a right as the author, no? You can make a simple cucumber salad with some oil and vinegar, says Cherry. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um eat one. Doom just wants to see Wolfie eat. I will guys, I'll have one in a minute if I have copy. There's the superconductor, baby! It's all going well, guys. It's all going well. Um, do you know what actually? See that I've inverted my webcam, I think. Oh wait a minute actually, let me just have a look. I know that my webcam's like hella cropped guys so I lose this side but if I extend it again, as always the webcam like fucking stands in the way. That's a bit better though. There we go. I don't know why it was so kind of bad, that gives me a bit more room to, to work with, that's good. Uh, okay, superconductor. We got it. 
So how many is that in total we've got? Inventory, components, eight. We got our eight that we said our target was. Hey, thank you. Uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Give me one of your wee cakes as well, if that's all right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. American buttered cream. J-Bob, it's so much powdered sugar. <laughs> Not too much sugar compared to American buttered cream. I'm trying to guess the topic that I'm jumping into. Guess I was a little off. Now you were spot on, Vince. You were spot on. <laughs> How's things with you? How's your Sunday going, Vince? You all right, mate? It's good to have you here. I love my powdered sugar. Swiss me uh, meringue is so much nicer. Thank you. Awesome sauce. There we go, guys. We've got coffee and a cake. Coffee, cake, chat, and Final Fantasy. Coffee, cake, and chat. <laughs> All right. Nice, nice. Just take the spoon right to the container. <laughs> Cut out the whole middleman with a bowl. Right, guys. We said we were gonna. We said we were gonna just cut, call it quits after we got eight. But I kind of want to keep going. I kind of want to just do like. A, let's just do two more. Let's just do two more. I think we'll feel better. I'm kind of liking this. We can just sip our coffee. We can uh, farm this shit. Feels good. So Jesse says, no, they tell me twice a year how my royalties, how, my, uh, how many royalties I get, and based on that, I can tell how many copies I've sold. Is there... Jesse, why don't they... Um... It feels a bit... I, I don't know the first thing about publication and what's the, what's the norm, so this is just a blatant kind of naive comment, right? But like, why why don't they just give you the breakdown of how many copies you've sold? Is there like a reason why they wouldn't do that? Why like, why would they keep that? Like, why is there a lack of transparency there? I guess I'm asking. I need some heals ASAP, or I'm gonna die. Okay. Let's go. Dude, one of these guys is staggered and I went for the wrong one. Nice. They had cream cheese frost and chili sandwiches. Sunday's going well. We'll be going to eat soon. Nice, nice, okay. J-Bob, did you see my cupcakes? I did look the good, says J-Bob. Yeah, nah, your cupcakes always look fucking 10 out of 10. I like how yours are like all perfectly ordered and in different colours and flavours now. That's like next level, dude. I would be proud to just produce one, but you've got like trays on trays on trays. Have you ever thought about like doing anything further with that now? Like have you ever, I think I've asked you this before, but can, just tell me if I'm wrong. Have you ever thought about like, um, like opening up like a bakery or some shit like that? I've considered it, yeah. Oh dude, I that's so awesome. <laughs> I've been thinking about it more, okay. I don't go, I, I guess you would have to like, I guess if you're going to open something like a bakery, you have to have like a level of capital saved up to like get you going in the beginning, right? Because you have to go for a few months before you probably start making sales properly and all your customer base builds up. I don't really know the first thing about starting that, but I can imagine. Um, I take that back, not good. They looked great, says J-Bob. I don't do any grinding until I get pulse. There's a battle where two big monsters are fighting each other and you interrupt it and kill the remaining one for 6,400 CP, I think. Nice. We're actually grinding resources right now, Vince. It's not XP. We're here for the resources. I rush straight through the game with no extra training. Beat that up. Uh, beat them up on. Uh, beat them up easy. Just about balance. Yeah. No, we're not. Tr we're not. You miss. We're not. <laughs> we're not training for uh, XP and strength. We're kind of maxed out in terms of our XP and strength right now. We're just. Uh, we're grinding resources so I can upgrade my weapons. I don't know if I need to do it, but I kind of want to do it, and that's kind of the, the hype there. Uh, we didn't get any items from that fight, but that's not really the main agenda. For some reason, these fucking, despite the drop of these superconductors being like a rare drop, for some bizarre reason, this fucking enemy has given them up like a fucking, like a fucking high school chick on the first date, man. It's so fucking free. Work in a bakery. Now, do it. I don't know the word. Well, yeah, I'd like to. I might do some pastry chef training, education classes. I mean, could you see yourself? So, before you make any like decisions, right? Like, could you see yourself now doing that for like the next like ten years? You know, could you, could you see that being something that you got used to and got quite happy at? You know. Uh, right, I think we're gonna do exactly what you guys suggested last time with the whole uh, 
I'm going to sabotage this guy. I need a way to learn cooking that doesn't involve making me and Tiago fat. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's the only thing you got to be careful, guys. Like, I always, I'm always scared of this, right? Like, when I worked at McDonald's, uh, luckily I was only part-time, but I'm pretty sure if I worked there now, I would get hella fat hella quick. I was lucky because I was young. And I did a lot of exercise when I was young as well. Did a lot of walking to my work and back. Whereas, you know, obviously, if, if I worked in like a chip shop part-time, I am so scared that I'd walk home with like a fish supper every night and just fucking destroy it. No, 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 no. The reason, the reason I said, you guys call me on everything. Think about this, right? The modern era, I don't think a lot of people commit to jobs for, for the same amount of time because of how flexible the modern world is. Back in the day, you could commit to a career and you'd be stuck in it for like 20, 30 years. But nowadays, I don't think it's like that anymore. I think that if you're successful in one thing, you can flex really easily. Just my opinion. Mrs. Wolf is a careers advisor. She also feels the same. The reason why I said 10 years, obviously, if you're thinking for the next... If you're planning... If you want to plan a retirement pension off of it, then sure, you can fucking work for the next 30, 40 years if you want. But the thing is, I think that you could start up a business, work at it for 10 years, and if it's successful, you could either decide after that point you know, do I want to continue doing this? Do I want to try something new? You don't have to be wound up in the same job for as long these days, I think. Just my own opinion. But that's why I said 10 years. <laughs> if you, <laughs> you guys are so... <laughs> you, just, you guys just take like 50% of what I say and you're like, Actually, Jack. Actually. Tiago and I talked about it when we were ki uh, when we have kids. And I do some part-time work. Um, if not, I just stay at home as a mum. Okay. Do you think that would be all right now? I think that would be a nice relaxing life. Maybe you could do your training while that was going on now, maybe. Maybe like, if you guys do have kids and then like a year after, you know, babies take a lot of work, right? They need like permanent supervision, constant crying in the night, fuck, God knows what else, right? But once the once they kind of mellow out a little bit, kind of grow up a little bit, could would you see yourself doing something like that? That's a cool idea. I finally got my gun, says Sushi. Nice. I could be one of those people who make custom cakes and sell them on Facebook. That's a cool idea as well, yeah. There's a lot of like, um, you could obviously run a business from your home at this point and potentially sell online, yeah. People sell so much shit on Facebook and I do small scale catering. 40 cupcakes per 10 cream horns. Wait, what are 10 cream horns? What? <laughs> I'd do that from home or part time, yeah. You could do a small scale catering now, like local parties, yeah? Hell yeah. Oh, nah, I forgot to tell you, sis Vince. Digital circuit, ah, uh, no superconductor. Feels bad, man. We'll punch in a safe here as well, just in case, because I'm terrified that we, uh, the computer blows up or something. All right. Onwards. Hmm. If I get to pick a game, it's Summoner 2. <laughs> Look up a channel on YouTube called Sugar High Score, that could be you. Well, there you go. Sugar High Score. Some blitz value off here, please. Oh, wait, let's get enough pommel in here. This fight is always a bit weird, like, sometimes it goes well, and sometimes it goes not so well. Let's just take a, a knee here, heal a little bit. Right, that'll be enough. Let's go double commando. We need Mrs. Wolfie's cake here. Oh god! Fine, don't die! Alright, we're good. Hey, that's hella tasty. Hey, yeah. Fuck a room. Hmm. Food streamer, I'll have a look. Not live. Nerdy cakes, though. Mm -hmm. No drops, man. Come on. What happened to our luck, guys? I think we ran out of blesses. I feel like J-Bob left and then we stopped getting good items. Feels bad, man. 
he took all of his exciting luck with him. That guy wins at the casino, gives us all the best drops in games. Every time I tune in, he wins an Overwatch game. What's he like, eh? Bless, 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 bless. Which means time to go on. Wait, are you, get, you guys don't like watching me fight the same mobs over and over again for like an hour and a half? I'm kidding. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be on our way soon, guys. Please die. All right, let's do the uh, sabotage and the heal here, and then we'll just go ham. Let's go. Double commando, baby. Kick some ass. Nice. Well, it's fun, but I think there are more efficient ways to get what you want. Maybe. But if I was a new guy playing the game, I wouldn't know that, right? We'll be alright, guys. We'll move on soon, I promise, okay? We'll do one more lap after this one. And then we'll be good to go. I could do stuff like this as now. I have no experience with fondant work, though. And minimal with piping. <laughs> Wait, do you not have piping experience now? Not not a single drop of piping experience. I'm good with the icing and the pastries, but not the pipe. It's also experience, like I said. I'm still on probation at work, so I don't get a full wage. My pay goes up 4 k uh, a year after 6 months, hey. That sounds fucking stellar. But for now, it's not enough to fund me. I have some piping. I have some piping, just not enough. Don't make it weird. <laughs> I'm good at piping, says Vince. Can't confirm. I mean, what? Incentive chip, no! Feels bad, man. Alright, once more. Once more. For good luck. This is the one for good luck, guys. We're gonna get one more super conductor. Alright. This is the dream. We're gonna spend all of our XP and all of our riches in just a minute, okay? You know how Wolfie is, and I. Hey, don't turn this on me. I'm just, I'm just, uh, guy. I'm giving you guys back what you guys do to me on a regular basis. Not, not the piping part, but the jokes, the jokes in general. Can you die, please? Woo! Nice. I want to go out and play Pokemon Go, but the weather is shite. Oh, Dave. Dave, see when you said that, that immediately made me want to go outside and play Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go livestream when? Question mark? I want to go outside. Guys, we should all just get new phones, meet up somewhere, and play Pokemon Go in a nice hot country with our shorts on. And we'll take some flasks of alcohol with us. And if you don't like alcohol, some Ribena. How about that? And then we'll all meet together at Frankie and Benny's at 6pm for a nice meal. And J Cram's going to pay for it all. What do you guys think? I am down. See you soon. Guys, that sounds great. We should go somewhere nice and toasty. So that we can wear a nice, uh, we can wear a nice shorts. We've got a nice Hawaiian themed shorts and, and shirts, right? Fuck it. I'll tell you what. How good is internet 3G? 4G, 5G, whatever the fuck it is in Hawaii. Is it good? Because that's where we can go to play Pokemon Go. Hmm. Amsterdam. I don't know if Amsterdam would be particularly warm right now. It would certainly be warmer than Scotland, one would imagine. But that could be a shout. Guys, are we really going to do a wolf pack meetup in Amsterdam? That sounds like a wild time. I'll buy J Crabs. <laughs> J Bob. <laughs> I'll buy J Crabs and he can buy everybody else's. I like that idea. 
Man, now I want to go out and play Pokemon Go. I've not played that game in so long, actually, but it's so good for me. So good for me. I'm just terrified it ruins my battery, you know? I'm scared that it just fucking annihilates the battery on my, on my phone. Alright, Pongo, let's go. This is it, guys. We'll make this the... We'll call this the last one, I think. Okay. You guys have been really good at waiting and being patient, so thank you. I kick the Stella. Hmm. Do you know where we should meet up, guys? We should all meet up in Prague. What about a nice holiday, a nice Wolfpack holiday in Prague? What do you think? Yo, if you're coming to Amsterdam, we're gonna have a Wolfpack meet up, says Jesse. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I've never been to Amsterdam, guys. A lot of my friends have. Um, we did a sabotage thing again where we slow this guy down a little bit. Double commando, let's go. Canada, please. Wait, Vince, you want to go to Canada, mate? Yo, if you're coming to Amsterdam, I am, uh, yeah, I still am uh, waiting for a gift back, Wolfie. Did I ever send you the giant corn? <laughs> wait, what? The giant corn? Say, <laughs> wait, what? Wait, is that like a Pokestop, Jay? You mean like, you mean like there's a giant corn Pokestop or something? Or is that actually an item within the game? Am I drunk? LMAO, only if I had the money to travel to be honest. Jesse, when the book pops off mate, when the book and the and the story and the franchise pops off, you can take us all to fucking Amsterdam. Or Canada, if we're going to Canada for Vince. Or if we're going to Prague. Whatever. From your place, it would only be like 40 euros to Amsterdam. Hmm. Prague's out of the question, says Jess. Okay, okay, right. Prague's not. Uh, Prague's a no go. I. Uh, the only thing I know about Prague is that it has a big bridge in the middle of it. That's all I know. Does anybody know what the big bridge is called in Prague? Jack can pop in Amsterdam for a week before he goes to Aussie land. I don't know, guys. My holiday's already pre booked. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be short. <laughs> we're gonna have to save after that this holiday guys I'm, without a shadow of a doubt the holiday to australia is the most money i've ever spent on a holiday in my entire life it's a big one but it was also like uh you know right here's what we would have done guys me and mrs wilfie had my friend not being getting married i would have saved up all the money that i made from twitch from youtube and from you know the work i did for my annie remember that shit last year i was saving all that up I would have saved it all up, put it in a savings account, exactly like what we were talking about like half an hour ago, and I would have just hoarded the money. It would have meant like, you know, we could have just relaxed a lot of things and I wouldn't have to have panicked for like the next few months, right? But all the new games on launch, it would have been a good time. But as soon as my mate was like, dude, I'm getting married, I'd love to have you there, would love to have you and Mrs. Wolfie, I thought, dude, I've never been to Australia. This is like a once in a lifetime chance. We've been invited, so it's like a formal kind of, you know, there's a difference between going to somewhere because you want to and also being invited. It's like, we would love to have you here. That's like an honor, you know? He's been my, he's one of my closest friends that I've ever had. And I just thought, fuck it, we'll do it. Um, so we're using this as like a once in a lifetime opportunity to go to Australia and all the other countries as well. And uh, it's going to be expensive and it's going to be quite scary, I think, in, in, to a certain degree, because there's a lot of traveling in between. It's going to be exhausting at certain points. But I hope it's going to be good. Again, the ma the, va the vast uh, amount of funding that I got from my the work I did for Manny, I worked really hard for that shit, and uh, it's um, hopefully it's going to be worth it. You know, hopefully it doesn't rain the whole time I'm I'm there. <laughs> but yeah, I I'm gonna have to save up. I don't know if I'll be doing. I think I've got another in uh, in the summer, guys, in July. I think my friends in Ireland have invited me over to Ireland for a few days, so I might do that as well. But that's obviously like, there's no accommodation needed, it's just my flights and a return flight to Ireland these days from Scotland is super cheap if you book in advance. Like you're talking like 30, 30 pounds sometimes for a return flight. That's insane, considering you're getting on a giant metal board that flies across the ocean. Uh, it's kind of insane that you can do that for 30 quid, like there and back again obviously. So, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy, but um, yeah, might do that, but yeah. Um... Yeah, the Pokestop says, Jay, I don't know if you sent me the giant corn. 
I haven't logged into Poke, uh, Pokemon Go in a long, long time. But maybe, maybe I'll boot it up later, guys. I think that with the summer coming, like, this, we're nowhere close to the summer just yet. We're still in, like, winter and um, beginning of spring to a certain degree. I feel like um, as soon as the summer hits, Pokemon Go will be a, uh, back in full swing. We'll see. If uh, if any of you guys play Pokemon Go on the regular and would like an ad, just put your number in the in the looking for group chat and then the Wolfpack will be able to add you. I feel like I need to cleanse all the random plebs I have in my friends list that I don't play with anymore and then add more of you guys. A whole week? You want to take him hostage or something, Dave? <laughs> Dave wants to get lit in Amsterdam, obviously. Mm -hmm. I have a giant corn that gives the friend gift thing. Nice. J-Bob, I don't know if you sent me the giant corn, but I'm looking forward to receiving it in the future. I have a, the closest Pokestop to me, guys, is a Mormon church. So I can maybe send you guys a Mormon church gift. That's the that's the closest one. There's also a cemetery close, which is kind of depressing, actually. Imagine I was just sending you guys cemetery gifts 24-7. That's kind of that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Lit and laid in Amsterdam. Wait a minute, what? No thanks. I don't want church stuff. I mean, okay, Cherry, I can... Not that it matters. <laughs> not, that, not that it matters what you receive, but... I mean, if J-Cram's... If J-Bob, sorry, is allowed to get excited about the giant corn, then I guess I could find you something more exciting. Cherry, I'll try and find something I think that you would like, okay? I'll try and find a Pokestop that, su that suits the Cherry. All right? <laughs> and we'll work it from there. All right, Digital Circuit picked up and a Phoenix down. Not exactly what we desired, but we'll take it. We are going to get super rich right now, guys, when we sell all this stuff, so I'm kind of excited for this. Let me take Fang's tidy little booty down here. I'm going to drop a save file before I start fucking around with this, just in case I mess it up. And we're going to sell all of our stuff first. So let's go to the shop. We'll get rid of some things first. Um, again, question I asked yesterday, but I'm not sure. Does it matter where I sell my items to, guys? Do If I sell my potions to here as opposed to the garage, do I make more money? I guess I could check, right? Like, Phoenix down 500. If I go into, like, the garage and try to sell that, is it the exact same? Yeah, it's the exact same money, I think. Okay. With that in mind. Right. So... Phoenix down, I have 20. I'm gonna sell 10 of these. So we're starting at 2k, guys. That's our starting number, okay? So we sell these. And you guys were talking about the circuits. Are that in? Those guys are in here, right? Categorize these. Um, credit chip. Sell all these. Incentive chip, we've got five. There we go, big, big money. We went from 2k to 24k. We're fucking rich, dude. Feels good, man. Um, okay. An uh, aggregate of nickel sulfide functions as a transform uh, transformational catalyst. So this is one of your upgrade items that would take the sword from one name to another. I get it. Okay. So, with that being done, we need to buy some things. We need to buy from the creature area. Creature comforts. Sturdy bones. Let's buy... A lot of these. Let's buy like 40. Okay. And we will also buy. Can I buy superconductors from here? No. I already have. Hmm. What's better? Turbo jet or passive detector? Because they, they both cost the same amount of money. Let's buy one turbo jet. And I'm going to confirm against those which one's better. So, before I do anything, let me go to upgrade. Let's pretend I'm upgrading the Axis Blade. So, we have a Turbo Jet here, which upgrades how much? 254, that is pretty terrible. Um, and what was the other one that was expensive? Was it a digital circuit? No, no, no. It was something else. We had two of them. Was it a polymer? Like... <laughs> you don't have a three time bonus though. No, no, no. No, no, no. You misunderstand again. I'm talking about like, I I'm not going to do this right now, but as a one, as a one cost, this is the best way to analyze it when you have zero boost because you can actually see how much each one is worth, right? Turbo Jet as a as on its own like one is a uh, two hundred fifty four. 
What was the other thing I was gonna that I just bought the two expensive ones? No, that's not what I want, please. I wish it would let me go between these a lot easier. Um what was it? It was a passive detector. Passive detector. Let me have a look. Um upgrade. I'm not gonna use these straight away, but um passive detector is two two five. So turbo jets are just better. They cost the same, but turbo jets are a lot better. And um, they're both kind of like Guys, I need to check, right? 254. Is that the same across all the weapons? No. Yeah, it's, it's still 254. So it's always 254 across all your different weapons, right? So we just want to buy turbo jets, I think. No, wait, a turbo jet here is only 211. So it changes. Huh. Am I drunk? Ah! How are you supposed to know, unless you trial them, what is good for what? Is there like a way to figure this out? I'm back. Did you miss my bliss? Wasn't the other one a passive detector? So certain items are good with certain, uh, uh, good for upgrading certain things, but like there's no way to figure it out unless you just like go through them and check. Like if this was like a magical jet, let's say it wasn't called Turbo Jet, let's say it was called Magic Jet, right? Just making up a fictional name. It would make sense that it upgrades the magic wands better, but it's called Turbo Jet. I mean, how am I fucking supposed to know that it gives me 296 XP on wands, but if I go across the blades, it only gives me 254. Like what the fuck? Is it just a case of trial and fucking... See, look, a turbo jet is double. If I use this to upgrade Saz's guns, it gets double the value. Superconductors. So now I need to... Like, we've just farmed superconductors. We have eight. I need to find out what upgrades. Oh, he's got a times two bonus on. That's why it's it's better here, but for the most part. the the diff There is a difference here. It's a slight difference, but like... Like, Vanille gets 300, whereas Lightning only gets 250 for her weapon. What about Fang? 254. So the Superconductor is 480 for Fang and Lightning. Right? 400 and, uh, 480. Wait. 480? He's got a bonus on, so obviously it's going to be better. Fuck. Never actually took the time to compare everything. No, it doesn't. Saz has a weapon times two bonus. Early game efficiency. Um, yeah, Saz, Saz had the bonus on, so that's why it was substantial for Saz. But in terms of, like, you can see the difference between, like, Lightning's upgrade, right? Like, so Lightning has no bonus right now. 254, right? And then if I go across to Vanille... Maybe it's because the maybe it's because the Belladonna one is considered like lower level or something. You get two hundred ninety six, no bonus. So a superconductor for Vanille is five sixty, whereas for Lightning a superconductor is four eighty. Maybe it's because it's a stronger weapon, so the stronger weapons are harder to upgrade. Hmm. Maybe it's just to do with the, the stronger the weapon, the harder it is to upgrade. Maybe that's the only difference. I don't know. But regardless, we got to go ahead and upgrade Lightning. Uh, I think I'm going to sell Gladius for money. I think I'm going to sell it. <laughs> I could also dismantle it. Potentially. Right, what I need to do is... I need to upgrade... I need to equip Lightning's weapon. We're going to give her the Axis Blade, which gives us detrimental stats right now, but we get the attack ATB charge. Um, we're probably going to sell or dismantle. I think selling's probably better, to be honest. We got about 4k for selling this. 4k. Yeah, fuck it. Goodbye. So... 
We've got our creature comforts for getting the bonus, so let's start upgrading here. We're gonna upgrade Fang and Lightning and maybe some accessories while we're in here, okay? So, weapons, Axis Blade. What I'll do is I'll rearrange this a little bit. Axis Blade. We are gonna put fifth, uh, Sturdy Bones, yeah. We're gonna put 36 in, which is quite a lot. It should take it to 2.5 or 2. Oh, straight to 3. Oh, interesting. Okay, 36 was the magic number. So from here, if we go fucking absolutely tits mental, we can give this thing 10k. What do we do, chat? Do we go all in? Is that too much? The thing is, if I, I could be overspending here. Maybe it doesn't need 10k to get to its max level. If its max level is 3, then this is going to be a huge waste. But if I underdo it, let's say I put in 5 then the bonus is going to drop from times 3 down to times 1 again and we'll have to spend more to upgrade. It can actually, do me say never too much pog, but it can be too much. Because we can over level, like, you know how this is, like, this is going to give me 11k XP, right? You guys see that's right above my head. 11k. If I only need 7k to get this to max rank, then all of that, that extra 4k XP is wasted. So, I don't know when, when this guy hits max level, but if it doesn't, then this is the right thing to do. It's just because we've spent the past like two hours grinding this item. Let's just fucking go for it. Up to level seven, we get. Let's see here. We don't get get a lot of strength. Um, we go from plus eight to plus twenty, so we get twelve strength for seven levels, and we only get twelve magic buff, which feels a bit weak sauce, if I'm being honest. But we don't hit the we don't hit the cap either. Um, and our bonus is gone. All of the superconductors are gone also. We're very close. Well, we're not actually very close to getting to level 8. That's still quite far away. So we must be going up like plus 2 a level or some shit. I think the tier 1 weapons got to like 10 or 20. But we, we, we've managed to max out an accessory, but not... Yeah, we haven't actually maxed out any weapons yet. But we do have the Millerite. See this? So we can transform one weapon if we if we get it there, but trying to like level that up is insane. So I managed to get lightning. Her weapon's going to be substantially better now, but we've run out of superconductors that we grinded for, which is a bit of a bummer. We do have a fuck ton of, uh, of money though. We just can't buy superconductors. Let's see what else we can buy from the shop because we're sitting on a mountain of money. We just we grinded all this. So if I go to the shop, right? Creature comforts. What we're going to do is we're going to buy another. 36 30 bones because this is our base for upgrading that's 2k nice and cheap so if we go to the garage now we figured out right we figured out that a turbo jet was better than a passive detector but is it the most efficient in terms of like value for money like if a bomb fragment for example gives me more than half then it's better to do the bomb fragments uh, let me just compare for lightning here or maybe even Fang, actually. I... Do, do you know what? I don't even know if I want to use... Like, I haven't decided out of Fang's two weapons which one I prefer. I don't know if I want an improved counter for Fang. I think I just want the raw stats. Because the, the raw stats are actually insane. But I don't know if the improved counter is any good. Do we even give a shit about the improved counter? Probably not. I think I just want the damage. Axis Blade is 20. I looked it up. Okay. Lowest weapon need between 30 to 50k XP. Tier 2 weapons need 2k to 5k. What do we think, guys, about Fang's weapon? I think that the, the improved counter might suck. But I... I mean, we lose 30 damage. We lose 30 strength and we lose 20 magic. Now, the magic stat's not so, but so important on Fang. But if she's going to become a tank in our party... I don't know, maybe I'm not even going to use Fang. Like, I don't know. Because I feel like Fang is like snow, but worse. So maybe it's a waste of time to even upgrade her at all. Hmm. Do I even do I want to just upgrade lightning all the way and just all in on lightning? Because I feel like lightning will always be in my party. I feel like she's always going to be there. So we could all in on lightning and make her really, really OP. Or we could just keep resources and money. I kind of want to give Fang some love though. I just feel like the resist, like the extra. The improved counter just feels so shit. Like, I don't know what it... Like, 
slightly boosts, slightly boosts the effectiveness of counter-attack abilities. She doesn't even have any counter-attack abilities yet. Vendetta is a counter-attack ability, she doesn't have it. So this item on her right now sucks, which is why I've been running this. Which has a, a lot better, or sorry, the Bladed Lance has a lot better stats. Did I just go all in on Bladed Lance? Or did I just save my resources and money? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We could maybe upgrade some of these other things. Hmm. So difficult to know. We've got a lot of money, so we could always buy at a later date. Hmm. I don't know. All in lightning? You think so, Sush? It would make lightning really OP, and it would make the grind of this area a lot easier. Uh, let's go give Fang some XP here. Give her some magic. Magic and strength. Very welcome. Uh, yeah, we're missing HP in here in the Sentinel, and that one's finished. Wait, we're missing HP in Commando somewhere as well. Oh, fuck, I missed that round here, look. Ha! Huh. Thanks for telling me about the nodes yesterday, guys. That's really good. Uh, Sentinel, yeah, we're missing a couple of HP points, and then that's it here, I think. Oh, here's six strength. I should have went for that. Oops. Fuck. That would actually have been massive. That was a bit silly. Okay. Uh, lightning, I think. I don't know if Lightning's maxed out. She's close. Uh, so she needs a couple here. Commando. Strength. Um, she is not maxed out here, but she's maxed out here. There we go. I think that's her done now. So Lightning's maxed. Any XP she gets now is a bonus. Fang is close to being maxed. Um, I never used Fang that much when I when I played through the game the first time. Despite the fact I love Fang's character and how she like acts and how cool she is, she is a bit weird. Like because you're not gonna have Fang as a commando when you can have lightning or snow. You're not gonna have her as a sentinel when you can have snow. I don't think. And then after that, she just kind of falls off because she doesn't really do anything else. She's like a ravager, I guess. But then Saz is so much more useful with his synergy buffs. So I, f I feel like Fang's in a weird place. It's kind of awkward. We could just fucking go crazy with Lightning's abilities and just make her really strong. I'm kind of tempted to do that. What I need to figure out then is... Like, bomb... I mean, paraffin oil's down the bottom and I don't know why. Is paraffin oil, like, a really good deal? I'm gonna buy one of these to find out and we're gonna compare across the three, okay? So paraffin is obviously the cheapest. Bomb fragment is the second the most expensive and then turbo jet is the most expensive. So paraffin, bomb, turbo. Let's have a compare, shall we? Um, okay, so, assuming I was upgrading lightning, right? Paraffin oil gives me 76, so that is fucking trash. Because half, if I times that by 2, we get 152, which is still 100 short of turbo jet. But it is still, I mean, it's technically, it's cheaper though to buy by half, by more than half. Where's the bomb? Bomb fragment? 92. 92 halved is 180. 184 to be exact. Which is still not as good value. I think the best value is... I don't know if it's actually... If I'd done a calculation I could figure this out, but I don't know if I can be arsed. This is cheap to buy. Which is why it's only 76. I think Turbojet is probably just the way to go. Not entirely sure. Um, okay, let's go for it. Let's uh, let's put in some more money then. Buy some turbo jets. Right, guys, I'm off. Um, I gotta brave the weather. Take it easy, Dave. Thanks for hanging, man. Have a good day, sir. I feel like because this is at the bottom, it's the best value, but I don't know. No, I don't think it is. Right, turbo jet. We are gonna fucking buy a lot of these. We're gonna go ham, like fifteen of these bitches. I don't know if this is good or not, but... Okay, 15k, we're buying 18. Lightning is gonna fucking pop the fuck off. 
Now, the damage lightning gains per level is actually pretty low, but she will have the, the fast attack charge, which will make her insane. Um, this is going to be crazy. Go ham, Jack. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're getting there. Alright, watch this. Weapons Axis Blade. We're going to put our Sturdy Bones. 36. This should give us our times 3. There we go. And now Turbo Jets. Oh my goodness. There's 14k XP. How much did you guys say earlier? 50k. Alright, we're nowhere close. Unless it's 30, in which case we might be close. I think we just all in. Uh, we went from 7 to 12. We went up 10 strength and 10 magic. Which is kind of weak, honestly. It's not a big upgrade. You guys can't see because my head's in the way. But We didn't go up a lot, but we're getting closer and closer to potentially upgrading this, which is nice. Um, yeah. Okay. Lightning has a really powerful weapon now. It's not insane powerful, but it's got the, the fast attack charge. So, lightning in commando mode should be kicking so much ass. Um, which is great. So, that's interesting. Do I want to bother with uh, any accessories while I'm in here? Is there any, like, standout? I mean, the tungsten bando bangle is nice. I could potentially upgrade that. Um, Magician's Mark is obviously a fantastic item to upgrade. Well, actually, Shaman's Mark would be a lot better. Do I want to upgrade that? I think we could spend a little bit more. Just a little tiny smidge. Um, I'm going to upgrade the Tungsten Bangle a bunch. And we're going to get a, a chunk of HP to make our grind a little bit more safe. So, I'm going to go into Creature Comforts. I'm going to go Sturdy Bone again. I don't know if I need... These are relatively cheap, which is nice. Um, 2k. Right. Do I need... If, if I'm upgrading an accessory, do I need to put in that many... Are accessories different to the weapons? Let's figure it out, right? Uh, tungsten Bangle. If I was to put in half of the Sturdy Bones, let's say I put in 13, which is halfway, does that give me... 1.5, so it's the exact same, I think, right? If I put in, like, another... Let's see, I put in 10. Does that take me short? Level improved. Times 2. Hmm. Oh god, this is going to take forever with the material list and the amounts of stuff you can get. Wait, sorry. Uh, Axis Blade is weaker than most other weapons, but the attack charge is insane combined with Whirlwind Scarf when you get it later on. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I don't know what level this bangle goes up to, but I could easily put in my Transformers here, maybe. Potentially. What does that give me? 189. 300. A thousand. Fuck it. Goes up to level five. That's not bad. There's a thousand. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. One of these. Alright, we won't put any more in after this. There we go. Alright, we'll leave that as it is. Tungsten Bando. A bangle goes up seven levels, so we get an extra 50 HP. Doesn't really seem like that's worth, but... Um, I don't know what the bangle goes up to. It maybe goes up like for miles. It's hard when you can't see. Alright, so we did give Fang a bit of a buff there. I'm gonna save. Don't know if we've done this particularly efficiently. I feel like all of our hard work didn't really show much in terms of like raw stats, but um, hopefully that'll make things a little bit better. Still don't know what I want to do with Fang, which is why I'm kind of holding off on... It's why I'm kind of holding off on upgrading her weapons, because I don't even know if I want her in the party. Like, I love Fang as a character, but I don't know how she fits in yet. So I think I'm just going to wait. Going to do a couple more battles here just to kind of test our strength levels and see if uh, our team are a lot better or if they're, you know, mildly the same. Fang is obviously a lot tankier now. And the guy should actually do a decent bit of damage. Lightning should be slapping, like, real hard. Okay, 
Good. You haven't unlocked all the weapon accessories and materials yet, Jack. If you want to compare, I beg you stop doing so because it will literally take hours. Well, no, I don't. I, like, I, we're done now, which is good. Um, but I feel like when I learn the systems, it's actually. Well, one, I feel like it's quite soothing and enjoyable for me. It's maybe not pleasant to watch, but it's also teaching me how the game works. You know, I am learning bits and bobs as I go. Um, so I don't think it's a complete waste of time. And plus, we're stronger now as a result, which make make our boss fights a lot easier. Maybe there's a fight coming up that we would have lost to if we hadn't have, you know, done all that. So, I think it's worth... Don't know if it's necessary, but it's, it's fine. Do what you want to do. Thanks, Nye. Thanks, guys. We're alright. I just liked how much money we were making from this area. Like, the with the drop rate and how easily the enemies respawn. It was nice to kind of fight here and just gather some materials. I was enjoying it. Okay, let's get a blitz in here. We'll see if uh, Lightning's commando... We'll see how good she is at attacking when we fight this guy, right? So what I'll do is I'll do the saboteur debuff. We've got a bit of health on Lightning, so she's a bit more stable. And then we'll go double commando, okay? We'll see how fast we can beat this guy. Fang's close to 6 strength as well, which is going to be huge. Alright, watch watch line and go here. See, if she, see how good she is when she attacks. The only thing that's weird about the ATB charging is that you would attack when your attacks are full, right? Like, the bar fills up and then you attack. So the first attack doesn't actually generate any, does it? I don't know. Lightning has four slots, so each attack actually builds up. But it kind of gives her like a free bar back, basically, I think. We'll be able to see that easier later when we actually play as her. We'll see how faster the ATB charges. But she should be hitting a lot faster than she was. Even if she's hitting less. Less hard, I don't know. A lot of a lot of what makes the, uh, the leveling up complicated in this game, or in terms of the weapons, right? is that you actually can't see the level caps of the weapons and you can't see how much stats you're going to get per level. So that's why it's kind of, uh, you could easily spend a lot of money and make the wrong decision because you have to pay, you have to put the money into the item to find out whether it's going to work out for you, which is a bit of a bummer. I'm going to do a couple more laps of these guys and try and generate a bit more money. I'm not going to upgrade anymore, guys, but I just want to uh, earn a bit more and this is like a really nice area to, to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me catch up here. Also, if you want to see the difference between pre-upgraded lightning and post-upgrade, use her as commando ravager attacks do less damage than commando attacks. Yeah. She's got AoE in this fight, which is why ravager is good though. She's dropping thunder on these guys and it's hitting everyone. Like that. There we go. <laughs> All right. Like attack is one times damage when ravages are like zero point eight. Yeah, yeah. Each attack should give about twenty percent of a bar each time she attacks. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So if she attacks four times because our ATB is four, or maybe it's not actually. Yeah, no. Lightning has four ATBs, right? So if she hits four times, then she should get like one of our bars back almost. Mhm. Mm I always like the bigger element spells, they got some nice weight behind them, says Jerry, yeah. She also has Blitz in Commander mode, yeah. Blitz is good at the start, I guess, if, if you want AoE. I feel you guys. We are, we're pretty efficient now, which is nice. Uh, you gonna interrupt me? I 
think if lightning's getting more <coughs> if lightning is getting more auto attacks off faster, we probably want to give her something that like buffs her strength. So you know how uh, right now <coughs> Snow's holding an item called like the Power Core or something, and it gives him like plus twenty strength. I think we need to get that on lightning because if she's attacking more, we want her. She's attacking faster, so we want her to hit harder to make like that actually balance out. So the more damage, I, like physical strength, I can give to lightning, the better that this build's going to become. It's going to scale better if we can give her like harder hits. It's just a shame with the ATB charging faster weapon. Um, I'm only sad that the stat buffs per level is so bad. Like, I mean, I don't know if it's like how much damage output lightning gets. Like, is it better for her to attack faster with weaker attacks than just give her like 50 extra strength? I don't know. <clears throat> in a long drawn out battle, it's probably better to have the the second option, but I don't know. There's a superconductor. Nice. Alright, let's do one more lap. I really want to play this, Sushi. Is it impossible for you to pick it up again, Sushi? Wait, you don't get a PS3? Mm hmm. Alright. Uh, which I think you should do 1.5 or 2 times damage area of effect. I mean, we could, guys. <clears throat> but I mean, this is pretty efficient as well. I mean, look how fast we kill this fight. We get the stagger off, followed by, like, the blitz. I mean, it's, pretty, it's going alright, right? I missed an opportunity to blitz here, though. That's a bit of a shame. See, like, Kirang is actually better to stagger this guy. This guy has a lot of physical de defense, you see that? I actually think it's better to do Ravager against this particular enemy. <clears throat> mm. uh, I gave this to a friend to borrow back in high school and, and she hot robbed. Oh no. <clears throat> Not the hot rob. She hot robbed. Feels Batu man. Alright, last fight guys. Last fight and then we'll push on, okay. <clears throat> With any luck we'll get some juicy items here. I wonder how much, do you know what, something I never actually considered that would be like another thing to kind of investigate. Find out how much the superconductors actually sell for. Because if the superconductors sell for more, and upgrade for less for whatever weird reason, then you could sell a bunch of superconductors, buy back the items from the store with the extra money, and then potentially upgrade more efficiently. But I think, based on the fact we can't buy superconductors yet from the store, it probably means that they're one of the best items for upgrading. So I don't know. Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't see a massive... See, despite all of our saving up and stuff like that, I don't actually see like a massive upgrade in terms of our damage, which is a bit of a bummer. <clears throat> but, who cares? Materials are uh, are valuable, should so say so, on top of the page when you hover over it. That materials... Materials that are valuable, should say so. Like, the description literally tells you it's valuable, it doesn't say if it's basically used for upgrading. Okay. Cool. Alright. Come on, Orion. Behave yourself, mate. Oh no, this could be our sport. Oh, he missed. When he dodges though, it makes me sad. Fang's actually, Fang's actually hitting harder than, uh, than Lightning is. Which is really bizarre. Yikes. Okay, good. 
Alright, you want to give me anything for for the road before I leave? One last super... Oh, we only got a four star for that one. But we still get the superconductor. Alright, fine. I'll take it. Let's, uh, let's move on, guys. I'm going to go down the left here so you make sure I'm not missing any chests. Which I almost did. If we get both these soldiers out of the way, we're good. Alright. Try double commando then. See if there's any better. I think everything sells at a fraction of the price you buy it for. Ah, so it's always bad to sell to upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. Most games do that. Cool. Alright. We may get some Phoenix Downs from this as well, potentially. Nope. Alright, what's in the chest? An upgrade for lightning sword. That would be so awkward. Please don't. We uh, oh the black belt. That's actually really good, right? That's the uh, equipment that gives you ten percent resistance, right? Physical resistance by ten percent. So that'd be good on somebody like Snow or Fang, I guess. Not bad. What does Fang actually have on? She's got the tungsten and what? Metal armband. Dude, fuck it, dude. Black belt, baby. Let's go. Fang just got a hell of a lot tankier. Okay, here's Lightning. Oh wait, Lightning was with us the whole time. Alright, I'm gonna save. Four hour troubles. Cool. Alright, onwards. Behemoth boy. Alright, come at me spankers. We'll kill the commando then, the behemoth. The Psychon Bummer. Arrivederci. The rocket launcher guy actually does fat damage if you let him uh, fuck you up, so you gotta be careful with this. Lightning may actually get some staggers off here. Nice, so now we should go to town on this guy. One more, please. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and put the slow on the Lodstar Behemoth. There's the heave coming in. Okay, we don't get that off, which is a bit of a bummer. We gotta provoke this guy or we're gonna die. Okay. We lose our stagger bar with no buffs on him. Feels bad, man. There's the slow. Alright, I think it's better to ravage. Try and get this guy stunned, potentially. Heave sucks, man. That does so much fucking damage. Don't heave me again, please. I don't know. I don't know if ravaging this guy is actually a good idea. Maybe it's better to just go full commando mode because I don't know if I can actually stagger him in time. The stagger bar goes up so slowly on him. I mean, it's going up, but like by the time he cleanses, he gets to halfway and then he goes up on his hind legs, he cleanses. And I'm pretty sure that resets the bar. Appreciate it. Okay, let's just go. He doesn't necessarily need to get staggered, just building the meter also doubles, triples your damage. Oh, does it? I didn't know that. Oh, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually cleanse the bar, does it? Oh no, it just goes down. Can we kill this guy or am I greed in here? I'm gonna use one potion. Alright, he should be dead. I didn't know we did more damage the higher the bar, actually. Please die. Nice. 420, lol. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I see that, yeah. I see you guys saying that now. I didn't know that. It still increases your damage. Hmm. I did not know that. Every, every percentage is just a percentage of extra damage. Ah, oh, Roger. So that's why the bar starts at 100%. That's why I, I asked that question earlier on in the game. I was like, I don't know why it starts at 100%. Like, why does it? But it's obviously the damage increase as well. I didn't know that, guys. Begrimmed Claw. Fantastic. 
upgrade. Lego. Alright, little cutscene. Not had one of these in a while. Let's see what's happening. Spider hope, spider hope. Funny if he just threw hope down and hope like cracked his head off the concrete. I would have definitely broke his neck, dude. Imagine hope was dead. He just lugged this corpse all the way up there. See, where are all the enemies now? You know all the enemies that were shooting at him with the rockets. Where are they? That the whole time he was climbing up there. to keep you safe by lightning and by Nora I'm sorry what happened it was my fault I put her in danger I know that let me make things right you told me before that you couldn't and that words were useless and a lot of other things I shouldn't have said but I didn't know what to do I didn't know how to set things straight, so I didn't. I thought if I couldn't make up for it, then all the apologies in the world wouldn't mean a thing. So I decided I had to find a way to pay for it first, before I'd even have the right to say sorry. But, it's like you said, I was using that as an excuse so I could run from my own guilt. That... Get home. Oh, oh snow getting Look old. Up. I know what happened was my fault. I don't deny it, and I am sorry. Here. That's lights, isn't it? I... Why do you... That knife... <laughs> She fucking Sarah. stabs him in the back, mate. To keep her safe. Cuts his throat. If she trusted you with something that important, you should be the one to carry it. I'll find a way to make things better. Just give me time. Surely Hope could just walk at this stage. Nothing I do is good enough. And I'll take any punishment you want to dish out. She's gone, Snow. You can take the blame, but it won't bring her back. I'm sorry. I, I knew it all along. I knew it, but they had to blame someone. They had to. I needed a reason to, to keep on fighting. It wasn't someone's fault. It was mine. Take it out on me. And keep yourself alive until you do. Let me catch my breath. Isn't isn't hope a medic? Can he just heal him? Uh oh. Dad, is that you? <laughs> right. Dude, is this a fucking Eidolon fight? Please god no. You wanna die? Oh fuck. Ravager. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, yikes. 
Uh, what is my options here? Synergist? What buff's gonna put on myself? Protect. Shell. Alright, heal. Laser ruin. That's not good. Cure yourself, please. I'm back, gone. I don't know what we're supposed to do in this fight. Libra? We're probably just trying to survive, right? Weakness to thunder. Do I want to die? Wait, wait, what? Wait, no, why did you, why did you write that in my chat? I hope not. Ushumgal Subjugator. There we go. Not bad, kid. Hey! He's okay. What's up, fam? Sure you're up to this? The girlies are here. Yes! Alright. Let's go! Fuck you, bitch. Alright, let's saboteur fucking buff and medic this shit. Gonna go even for a second as we heal. Alright, uh, Lightning, if you wouldn't mind getting some heals off, that would be excellent, thank you. Okay, right now it sucks for Fang because she's only got one debuff move. But obviously Hope and Lightning should be alright here. I don't know if this guy's doing like physical damage or if it's like actual... If we could get this off on Fang as well, we'd be good to go here. Could do double ravager and a healer, I think. Is that an option? Is that an option? Oh yeah, we can do we can do this. Let's fucking go, dude. Alright, come on, let's go. Alright, fine. I think what we want to do is just potion as opposed to heal. Just give like AoE heals as opposed to like swapping out. Potions are pretty efficient here. Pew, pew, pew. Dude, that see when that see when that attack actually lands, it sounds horrible. It makes like a piercing noise in my eardrum. Get him, get him, get him. There we go, boys. Fuck him up. Keep him in the air, bruh. We're not very good at chaining this together. <clears throat> Alright. Not a bad fight so far. There we go. Maybe having like double commando there would have been better with lightning. Uh, do we have a heal? Yeah, let's do Commando Ravager and just top up a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Pinpoint Beam. That was a lot of damage. Dude, this is the first boss fight that I feel feels really satisfying because we have our, our whole cast, you know? Not the whole cast, but we've got like a lot of people in our squad to just chunk this guy down. Got all our buffs on. Hope's kind of struggling to heal a little bit, but if anything, I could probably put the slow on this guy again. Oh god. There's the big move. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do this again. Luckily, Hope's buffs last a long time because of the item we've got equipped. We get the slow on him. Let's go back to Ravager Commando. See, I don't even know if I need the Sentinel in this fight. Like, why would you? Why would you need the Sentinel? I don't have double commando, so I have to just go with this. This is the most damage I can get. There we go, maybe we can get it now. Lightning, yeah, this is the combo we've been looking for. Hope takes over. Get him. Ah, oh, fucked up. Sick damage though. Max damage, next boss fight should be fun for you long. Mm. 
Hmm. All right. Cool. I think we just finish him off, right? Okay, maybe we take a more balanced stance now. Targon. Alright, he's powering up his big move here. Looks like it's actually on a fang. Maybe we actually go on a synonym mode then. Alright. I don't know if he's actually doing it now or not. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Alright, I think we beat him. Cool. So we got one, we got to protect at the end there, which was good. 1000 CP for that, um, Christian Jin points, which is excellent. 20 points per second, what items do we get for that? Shield, Talisman and Abominable Wing. We get 8 Abominable Wings, that's really good. Okay, cool. Not bad. I'll take it. Whew. Um, Operation Nora didn't work out. Oh. You'll be okay. I'll keep you safe. Lightning. I... Me too. I mean, at least I'll try. I'll try to watch out for you two. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget about this one. <laughs> Snow's just KIA. That one will be alright. Lightning just kicks him right in the face. Yeah, where's the medic powers, dude? Too stubborn to die. <laughs> Lightning's got them strength games, Knowing dude. You'll always be welcome, no matter how much has changed. That's what having a home is all about. All right, nice. Not bad, not bad. We're getting all right, guys. We're doing all right. Palum Polum, the Estheim uh, Residence. So we're back playing as Fang. We should spend our XP. Can I, I can only spend Fang's... I think, is Fang maxed out? I don't think she can... She is, she's maxed out. This one's got one thing to build, and that's it. There we go. Now she's maxed. 9 and 9, 6 and 6, 7, 1. Yeah, 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 yeah. Poor. Cool. Okay, we've got an item here. What is this? For our troubles, we get one phoenix down. Thanks, game. Really solid pickup. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining because it was free, but... Alright, Holt, what's up, dude? Is this your house? It's a big-ass house. Look at the size of the door, man! Ding dong! <laughs> Mom's gone. Oh man, that was the fastest door answer I've ever seen in my life. Hope just gives him the bad news straight away. What a gangster, dude. Son, it's been a while, Mom's dead. Oh, yikes. Nora. Dad, I, uh, I, I know. Listen, guys, the dad's crying for two reasons right now. The loss of two important things, and it's to do with the mum, all right? I'm just saying. I'll be in my room. I'll be in my bunk. The context of that joke's kind of weird, based on the fact that they're crying over a dead mother. We're gonna rest up. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. And we'll leave. If they find out you're sheltering with C, they'll... You're my son. This is your home. <sighs> My 
my son. Dude, Hope's dad actually has the best haircut I've ever seen. Looks very, very perfect. <laughs> Fang's just listening in and that. Kind of weird. The dad's crying, Hope's crying, they're all crying. Fang's just sitting there smiling. Obviously, she's more... The reason she's happy is because uh, Hope and his dad are reconciling here, which is good. Can I go in and speak to them? No. I'm supposed to go over there, but I don't want to go immediately there. Look at the size of this place. Who has a corridor in their house? What does Hope's fucking family work as, dude? Nora must have been a stripper, obviously. Rest in peace. But Hope's dad, dude, what is he doing? Oh, examine? Two small figures visible in the photo seem to be Hope and his mum. Or maybe it's just his mum and two of her friends. Hope's father must have been at a distance when he took the picture. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? How far away was he? Have he got a telescopic lens? Alright, sure. Is there anything else I can investigate here? Examine. This would seem to be the apartment master's control terminal. It is of an elegance and modern design and it looks expensive. What do you think, guys? Do you think Hope's dad's an architect or something? Some sort of psychologist? Maybe he's a lawyer? Let's turn on the TV. Now for an update on the situation in Palampolo. The Lassi continue their desperate flight, and the military has now launched an all-out campaign to eliminate them. In the event you must leave your home, please follow the instructions broadcast on this channel. Must be the kid's family. Roughly 2,500 civilians believed to have come in contact with the Lassi are now being held in quarantine by the Sanctum. Our latest Instapol has shown a vast majority in favor of the immediate purging of these individuals, <laughs> believing their treatment... Lay down. <laughs> All right. See, you took the kid's toy away. Uh, he gave it back to me. Said he didn't need it anymore. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> imagine, too much. imagine finding out that like a little child doesn't want to stab you with his knife anymore. That must be a relief, right? What happened to Sarah? All I could think about was what could I have done. I hated myself for not trusting her. It hurt too much. I couldn't face it. Look, Snow. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Snow's like from what? What the fuck? Everything. If you told me your real name, I suppose I could. <laughs> Have Sarah tell you. When she comes back. Rolf. Deal. Our real name's Rolf. Dad said he'd like to see you guys. He wants to talk. Do you think Snow ever changed the bin bag that he wears on his head? Oh, the coat came back on. The blame is mine. No, Snow, not like this. If it wasn't for Snow, I wouldn't be here right now. Snow. I mean, guys, can I just say, I'm sorry for interrupting the cutscenes again, but like, like, Snow is extremely noble, and these people are extremely, like, cunty when they talk to him about it. Like, Snow didn't kill Nora. He didn't. He looked around at the civilians and he said to the civilians, with his back to Nora, he said, who wants to help fight? And she said, I'll do it, and then took a gun. Like, 
she he asked for volunteers and she volunteered so to some degree yes he said you guys he invited the civilians to to fight with him right that's maybe a mistake but like they were just trying to fight and she volunteered like i don't know why like snow has got the classic kind of anime honor where he's like oh it was all my fault i should take full blame and maybe you would do that just for politeness but when hope and his dad actually kind of semi accept that i'm just like guys like suck a dick dude like hope's dad wasn't even there fair enough if hope like hope was there he should know hope literally watched his mum say i'm going to help you guys and take a gun and Ho and snow was like all right get i guess so here sure you're a grown-ass adult we need men we need manpower like it's a bit weird She said to get him home. Mm. And that's exactly what you've done. Huh? Face to face like this, it's hard to believe you're all dangerous fugitives. The entire world is scared to death of you, Lassie. No, not even just you. People who've helped you, bumped into you. Slapped your butts. Sometimes it's even just people who've walked by one of you. They think they're tainted and want every one of them purged. The Sanctum's a puppet of the foul sea. To them, our lives don't mean anything at all. Stop this. Take down the Sanctum and save Cocoon. You've thought that through? If Lassie take down the Sanctum, fear of Pulse will only get worse. It won't stop at fear. People will take up arms and stand against you. Can you imagine it? The rampant violence. Oof. When the government's control is gone, the citizens will revolt. So, what then? We're supposed to just smile and eat a bullet? That means you, too. Huh. I know I'm part of this. I'm on your side of the fence. Harbor of the sea and a public enemy. Coming here was a bad idea. Hmm. This is your home. Let's figure this out together. Huh? Huh? Here we go. Well, I'm glad they conveniently got their conversation out of the way. It's the frogs again. You're not ready for this. I'll stay here. Oof. Wish Fang would roundhouse me like that. Come on. Ooh, my. So we've got lightning, Fang, and Hope again. This trio. All right. Let's see how we get on against these dudes. Have we, uh, I think we've scanned all these boys, right? Yeah, okay, let's kill the little weak guy first. We could go on a debuff mode here, but I feel like we just pump out as much damage, eliminate as many enemies, and then take it from there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna jump into uh, Ravager Commando mode here, get a bit of heals on Lightning. I don't wanna die. Uh, and it looks like I'm gonna if I'm not careful. There we go. Launch you into the air, mate. That would be awesome. Sweet. Alright. Alright. Clean. Nice. 
Just realised how fucking rude Snow is, Lightning changed her name because she wanted to reinvent herself in every opportunity he asked her what her real name is. I mean... Maybe that's a bit forward? Do, 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 do. Snow does feel like a bit of an airhead most of the time though. Alright. 5 star, 200 XP and no spoils. A rip. Dude, I want the spoils, dude. So we can just grind these fights over and over, right? Is that what you're, you guys are telling me? guy is almost staggered and then he is doomed. Alright, thank. Send him. <laughs> that, that hit there. Uh, a bit slow there, fine. A little bit slow. Mm -hmm. You get to know our real name, but it'll take a while. But he's not rude, he's just being nice. He's trying, yeah. He's like, sis. We're sister now. We're sister in law, brother and sister in law, siblings in law. Tell me your real name. And she's like, actually, that's the old light thing. That's the old me. I am new lightning. I have changed from the name Rolf and I have adopted the new name of Frank. And that's what I shall be known as. But you can call me Light. Which is short for Lightning. Which is overly badass. Okay, 160 and no spoils. Fucking rip, dude. Give me the item. Ah, piss. Sure, I guess we fight these guys. Oh, I could uh, actually take some time to upgrade some of my gang here as well, actually. These are the only soldiers that drop massive amounts of chips. Hmm. And Phoenix Downs. I mean, hopefully. Hopefully we'll see something. Seems like a good spot. I mean, if I changed my name from Alistar and someone kept asking me, Oh, what's your real name? I would be deeply offended. Yeah, but Sushi, you're always deeply offended, so I wouldn't really take that seriously, you know? Maybe they just want to get close because they feel like they like you, you know? I kind of know what you're saying, but I mean, would you really get deeply offended over something like that? Isn't that just like a silly thing to get upset over? If we're being completely honest with ourselves. Right, I am going to take my 160 CP here and my no fucking... Wait, did I, did I actually get spoils? The adrenaline's flowing now. Crikey, dingy do. Sorry. Sorry, I just can't help myself. I probably wouldn't do that if you guys, some of you guys weren't actually Australian. It just feels, it feels right, you know. Let's go. So long as you shoot, uh, do not interact with the door and hope, uh, and hopes that uh, you can farm in here. So where am I going? Did I just go around in circles? Oh yeah, the respawn. I see it. Wait, I think I hear. Yeah, I did hear another item. What the fuck, dude? Wait, I can't open this. Did I got kill. Wait, why can't I open that? Hmm. I have a friend named Alistair. His name on Snapchat is Harder Daddy. <laughs> of course it is. Wait, is that the same Alistair that we have here in the chat today? Sushi, if you don't want to confirm your real name on Snapchat, don't tell us. Don't tell us. You can keep it a secret. But if your name is Harder Daddy, I fully appreciate that. In all its glory. It isn't. I mean, what if it is though? What if it is? Fight the soldiers, the treasure was inside their territory. You cannot open the chest if there are in enemy territories. Roger. I'ma put my territory in their territory if you know what I mean. Sorry, that was it. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh! Okay, give me something, please. Give me something, fam. There's the 5 star. There's the XP. There's the Phoenix down. Okay. 
delightful. Right, we're going back. We're on for the AM. Brawler's wristband. Oh hell yeah, dude! That sounds exciting. Strength plus fifty. Oh fucking touch me. That's going straight on a lightning. That's going straight in her basket. Oof! That's exactly what we needed. We needed lightning to hit harder so that her fast attacks would actually cause more damage. That's fucking great. Me likey, likey, likey. Right, I've got a fucking shit ton of XP for these boys. Can I upgrade here or nah? Please. Oh! Okay, so... Uh, that kind of sucks a little bit. What about uh, are you, Fang? Are you are you fully? I think you're fully fullied as well, right? You're fully fullied in the chucky milk. Yep. Okay. Hope you little shit. What? What about you? You doing all right, mate? You all right? You've got eight thousand points. Oh, we've got some things to upgrade on. Hope that's good. All right, medic. We can give him some strength. So that's done. This is done. This is not done. All right, right in the chucky milk. Let's go. Okay, magic is good. HP is fine, I guess. Strength is a not so exciting. I mean, I guess we just give him as much as we can for the time being. Now he's just going to sit on 4k XP. This is why I'm sad that there's a little bit of a cap in this game, you know? Because if I do want to grind here, I'm kind of... I don't know. I mean, there's nothing to stop us saving up the XP for later, but it means we won't get an immediate benefit to make the, the current grind a little bit faster. Not a, not a big deal, though. Not a big deal. I recognise a lot of the points that you guys made earlier about having a level cap, and it does make sense to a certain degree. I just kind of feel like it should still be down to the player to make the choice, though, you know? Again, like, imagine... I'm trying to think of, like, another sequel, or another series of game in which that would happen. Just feels a bit... kind of sucky. Um... It's Ox when I check my notifications and I say I have a pick or video from Harder Daddy. Explaining it to Tiago was hilarious. I can imagine that. That must have been a good combo, yeah. Imagine just like, imagine just leaving your phone on like, on his like coffee table or something in his living room and then like that notification pings up and his mum's like, oh nah, your phone's went, here. I think you got a message from someone. Oh yeah, it says, oh. Oh shit, um, yeah, now nah, you've got a message here from Harder Daddy. Um, is that a friend? Is that, is this, is it, did, well, that'd be a bit confusing. I used to use Snapchat back in the day, but I haven't used it in a long, long time. Phoenix down, alright. You can upgrade uh, very soon, but it doesn't, uh, it does need to pro progress the story. Yeah, not complaining, just talking about it. You can sell the incentive chips, buy materials, and upgrade your weapons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pew pew! That'll make things easier. It's Tiago. <laughs> I enjoy the thought he filtered photos. Um. Yeah, dude, I don't think we should ever make a Mr. Wolfie Snapchat. That seems like a recipe for disaster. Half you guys would send me a picture of your dongs. That would be strange. Do 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 do. All right, baby, give me no spoils. Fucking hell. Our RNG here has been pretty horrendous so far. A bit horrendous. Mm -hmm. Went to see Tiago uh, when I had the baby filter and it upset him so much. He hated it. Wait, what do you mean the baby filter? I'm confused. Oh, the fil- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean, like the, the actual filters you get on the pictures. Yeah, it took me a second, I was like, wait, is that when you like filter your contact list or something? But no, I actually know what you mean, yeah, the filters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. He's a pretty girl. What the girl filter was mean. I bet you love that, dude. Wait, so did you take pictures of you, two of you guys together? Is that what you mean? He's a pretty girl. Oh, is it the one where it changed? Oh my god, we're gonna die. Is it... Did we just die? Oh god, no, we're fine. Whew, sometimes I do not pay attention and it's actually dangerous. 
Is that the one where it actually changes you into like the opposite sex? Dude, I saw my own picture of me when I was a female. Dude, I would. Just saying. Uh, four? You play The Sims, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, there's a filler in that she looks like a baby. Oh, I got you. Is the new Magic DLC any good? I have Sims 4 cracked. Don't want to spend tons of money on the F and EA games. Feels bad, man. Um... Sometimes us together, sometimes I'd send them uh, to me on snap. Oh, I see. We just sit next to each other and send stupid selfies while we watch movies. <laughs> nice. That's funny. Good, good. I've been thinking of getting it tomorrow. Wasn't sure if it would be any good. You bought every game pack or expansion. Oh, I bought every game pack or expansion. Nice. But like one stuff back. Gotcha. I wonder if I don't know if Mrs. Wilpy got the the magic upgrades. Like, the, is that the most recent expansion? I could ask her. The um, I always feel like you know when you buy a Sims expansion, like ninety percent of the time you're just doing it for the extra items. At least I did. Is that just me? Like, just to give you like extra variety when building your homes. I feel like that's why I always got the expansions, not for like the extra shit. Like, if I got the vacation expansion, I didn't really give a fuck about going to the beach. <laughs> I just wanted to like have three extra sofas in my sofa library to pick when building my house, you know? Is that weird? Maybe that's weird. They're all so expensive. Oh. Hmm. I was recording and slapped his ass while he's laying down and it's like from friend and he turned around like what? <laughs> <laughs> Just the confusion. He's like, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm the same Wolfie. Nice, I'm glad. It was such a stupid snap, but I saved it. I like building my own homes, yeah, same. I used to love, 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 guys. This is so fucking sad, right? But like, maybe, maybe not so much, right? But like, when Mrs. Wilfie plays The Sims, right, she just wants to like, make houses and then protect like, couples and stuff that she knows about or she likes. So if there's like, she watches a movie, she'll maybe like to go and build the house. Or she'll install a mod that somebody else has built the house and then she'll like, make the characters for the house. And then just kind of make them interact and that probably make them fucking bang on wicked ones or some fucking weird shit, right? But like, I used to just like, starting from, literally like, start from, started from the bottom now here. So like, I used to like, starting from the bottom, right? Literally, you start off with no money, you buy the smallest house, you save up, you get promoted, you make money, you put an extension on the house, and then like maybe you move house to a better one, then you start building extensions on that, and then you knock all of it down, you start again, you just keep building up and building up, start a family or whatever. I, th I always thought that was the cool part of The Sims. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I used to use the cheats back in the day because that was hella hype to kind of see and limit test, but I always used to get a kick out of like just building up my Sims from, from zero. I wonder if we'll ever do that as like a stream. Do you guys want to do that? Should we do like a Sims 2 stream or some shit? Would that make you guys feel ugly if, if, you know how we're on The Sims 4 at this stage? Would it be weird if I went back and streamed The Sims 2? I could make you guys. I could make the, the stream house with like fucking five of you guys and just manage us. That, that could be actually a lot of good fun. You guys talking about The Sims? Yeah we are J but what's up dude? This is a single mother who is a scientist and her daughter is a socialite and she hates it. I like starting from scratch too, don't like the cheats. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> you know when you put two sims that you really want to coordinate but they like they do actually have like like you've got one sim who like hates stench and then you've got one person who's always stinky and then they just always end up fighting and you're like no guys you are supposed to be my power couple what are you fucking doing I agree on your vision jack that's how you play the sims nice let's do a sim stream do it <laughs> You guys, I think I would probably stream The Sims 2. That's like my happy point. I got a ton of expansion for The Sims 2 as well. I think. Maybe maybe I don't have it downloaded on this computer. I remember there was a period on uh, TD, TLD12 subscribe on YouTube. Feels good, man. I am... Um, I... 
remember, was there not a point that, like, the si on Origin or something, The Sims... Like, Origin actually released The Sims 2 as, like, a complete freebie, but you, ha you only had, like, a week to download it or something. Is that real? Did they release the game and all the expansions for free? What would you say are the must-buy packs for Fortnite? I like Uni 1 a lot because I enjoy the Uni stuff and also start level 7 in the career if you study. Oh, you also start at level 7 in the career if you study, that's pretty sick. So you can actually skip the early Shay stages. Okay. But then does that not... You know how like in The Sims you have to like build up your cooking points if you want to start the culinary career and things like that, right? If you start at level 7 and you haven't actually built up cooking skills, when you go for your first promotion do you need to like gain like 8 skill points? Or do you get them from studying? Like, does the studying actually just give you all the stats? How does that work? Sims 4 is way better. I was enjoying entire cities. Uh, I made entire cities or towns of whatever my friends and family and people I just might know. Get them set up, give them a job, get them started in a household and do it again. Yeah, J-Bob, that's the best, dude. I'm the same. Like, I had an I had an avid view. It didn't look anything like where I lived, but like, I built my house with my mates. And then I built like another house with like a couple of friends that I have and then another couple of friends in another house, and then another, and then, like, you would play one house, and then, like, two of your mates would just fucking turn up, and I'd be like, oh my god, there's Dave! <laughs> but then it got a bit weird, because, like, you'd have two sims that would start interacting that shouldn't really be interacting, and they'd start, like, making out or whatever, and I'm like, guys, no, please, Jesus, this is this is fucking up my dynamics, would you just behave yourselves, <laughs> you know? You know when you're building a house, like, you're, you're starting on family eight or something, and then, like, one of your mates from down the road just turns up? You just hope that they start behaving themselves, because if you've got a mate that turns up and then he starts like pissing in your garden or something, you're like, MATE! You're supposed to be a nice guy! <laughs> yeah, that's always fun. I used to do that too, yeah. That was kind of hype. You build them in Uni 2, when you do homework and study the skill. I made my Discord friends in The Sims. Nice, nice. Made two of the guys gay for giggles. Oh, naturally, naturally. Yeah, I mean, it's not the, the, the whole point of the Sims. I'm like, dude, you guys just start cuddling on the couch. It wasn't me. <laughs> you guys just had the natural chemistry. Maybe you guys should hook up IRL to see if it works. You never know what awaits. Vampire is okay. Fuck it, I'll get vampires and magic tomorrow. That is great nice, says J-Bob. My best friend, she made me get wicked whims. It is um, interesting. J-Bob, no. Listen, J-Bob. You can't come into this chat and be like, my friend made me download this mod. I know for a fact you were like, hmm. You went into Google one day and you were like, okay. Naked Sims mods. That's what you did. Let's, come on, let's all be honest here. We're all friends. Just like everyone else you went. You looked around, you're like, Mom, is Gran home? Is Gran left the house yet? Yeah, she went home hours ago. All right, cool. Uh, I'm just busy. Don't come in, I'm, I'm hoovering. Sex mods, The Sims 4. That's that's what happened. Come on. Can we not be can we not be honest here? Pressure. <laughs> Pressure that's what happened. Not that I know what Wicked Win Wicked Whims is, actually. I don't I was just a guess. I've never actually seen it before. I don't I don't know what it looks like or anything. I've not seen any fucking weird shit going on. Alright, anyways. Anyways, now that we've got all that filth cleansed from our chat. <laughs> I'ma save my game real quick. Fangy, you can uh, get a wee save slot there. I don't. I haven't even been paying attention to these fucking fights, by the way. Let's do one more run. How many Phoenix Downs have we made? Inventory. Phoenix Downs, we've got 15. We've only made five. Uh, in fact, we got four. We've made four because of the one that was uh, the one that gave us was given to us in the chest outside. We haven't actually gotten that many. But maybe our incentive chips. I should have checked those actually. There's no extra races in Magic Expansion, is there, like in Sims 3? So, Nye... Oh, okay, so Nye's rating them, okay. Island Living gets a 4, Get Famous gets a 3, Seasons is a 4, Cats and Dogs is a 2! <laughs> Fuck the cats and dogs, dude. City Living is 3, Get Together is 4, Get to Work is 5. Nice. So is Get to, is get to Work the University one? Get Famous must be the movie career, right? Island living sounds cool. Is that like holidays and shit? Cats and dogs is obviously animals. City living, I don't know what that would add. Like a bunch of like fucking apartments or some shit. Get together, is that like your uh, your hot date kind of expansion? 
Ruffle, I didn't even know it existed. All my female friends were like, what the heck, get it you pleb? I was like, um, okay, sure. Do you not think it's so bizarre that it's all the females that have wicked whims on The Sims? I bet you if we did a study, guys, this is why, this is, this is funny, right? I bet you if we did a, a study of like all of the guys and all of the girls in the Wolfpack that have The Sims, I bet you like maybe one or two of the guys have wicked whims and then like 90% of the females all have it. How fucking, dude, all these females that walk around tittering around life acting like they're all sweet, you know, summer dresses, going to work, being all polite. Soon as they get home, dude, slam the fucking door shut, fucking triple lock that bitch. All right, baby, let's get some fucking wicked whims out. Boom. Suddenly it's a Sims orgy. I know it, dude. I fucking know it. All you females out there, you tell me you've got the Sims. I know for a fact you've downloaded Wicked Whims. You filthy bastards. I know it, dude. I know it, dude. And then the whacked all coy like, Oof, I don't know. I don't even know what the I don't know what Wicked Whims is. I've never heard of it. Little do they know, dude. 18 strip clubs, 18 prostitution rings, all built within their community of Sims. They're making all kinds of people fucking bang in that shit. Dude, they've made neighbours bang, friends bang, celebrities bang, dude. They're all banging. They've probably made themselves getting pumped by 18 celebrities. Maybe that's what they did first. Females in the chat confirming, don't lie. I'm clapping. Get to work and get famous, I think, gives so much game content. That's cool. Yeah, I, I think the, the, the expansions that give you, like, the extra... I know expansions give you extra shit, that's the point of the expansion, but, like, the ones that give you, like, decent value... I personally loved a bunch of items. I thought Hot Date was pretty cool in the old game, or uh, was it Nightlife? House Party. Sims House Party on the PS1. I'm going, I'm taking this way back. I'm sorry, I'm a dinosaur. But Sims House Party on the PS1 was balling because you got a bunch of like really hype stuff for, funnily enough, throwing a party. You got big cakes, you got like decorations, furniture, big TVs, a lot of uh, entertainment, like add on items, which was cool. That was dope. Realm of Magic is nice, I like the magic. Strangerville has a whole story behind it. Say living is okay, but I like the little events in the apartment houses. Mm. People call you like, hey events on, wanna go out? Every other day you're like, I need to sleep, get my shit and happy. Mm -hmm. Get to work seems like it would be kind of a pain for having multiple sims. And they're like, wanna party at the old ruins? <laughs> It's if you don't like going to work. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, that's the thing, guys. When you start adding in expansions and your sims are suddenly like... That was the only problem with the expansions. Because, as I said, right, I'm pretty boring. I just want extra fucking... An extra rug or two, you know? Maybe a couple of vases for decorating my home. Make me... Make, give things a little bit more extra variety, right? But it's when you're like, you install a fucking... You know, you install the Hawaiian beach themed fucking expansion, the holiday one. You get a bunch of palm trees, that's cool. Maybe get some new weather conditions, cool. But then like every two seconds your sims are like, I really want to go on holiday. I'm like, you don't have time to go on holiday when there's a promotion ladder to climb. You think you think you deserve a beach holiday, bitch? When you're making 200 fucking simoleons in the, the second rung of the cleaning career? Absolutely fucking not, friend. You better fucking get your back into the graft if you want to go anywhere. Same with the family one, right? You install the romance pack because you want the love bed or whatever. Kind of contradictory to what I just said a minute ago about girls wanting all the sex. Um, you know, you get the romance, the romance pack, and then you're, you're suddenly your sims are like, I want to get married. I want to have a wedding. I want to move in. No. Careers and building extensions. That's just me personally, though. I don't know. I don't have time to do extra shit when I'm building, alright? I'm playing The Sims, I'm fucking building. Hey, two incentive chips, that was good, 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 good. Do they still have a chance at high work performance if they do the uh, shit on their own? Yeah, they do. It builds better if you're with them. And it's fun at f as fuck at work, though. The science one, you build a freeze rate and make a portal or alien, alien planet. Yo, Sereni, what's up? Sereni, okay, we gotta ask you a question, Sereni. I know you're not you're not exactly into the PC gaming side of things, Sereni. But one, have you played The Sims? Two, can you confirm that you are indeed female? And three, have you downloaded Wicked Whims? The answer to all these questions. If the answer to the first question is yes, then you've probably, you know, you, it's gonna be a yes for all three, but I'll let you decide. 
One time my character died, came back as a ghost, so I put him in the ghost busting career. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Wolfie used to always tell me when when she was younger, she made me as a sim, but then I got eaten by the I got eaten by the plant or something. And came back as like a cow or something. Or is there a cow plant? Dude, is there dude, there's definitely a cow plant or something in the game, right? And it fucked me up apparently. That sucks, dude. I don't want to be an alien. I like the science job. I like the movie start one a lot. I got distracted. You got some incentive chips yet? Yeah, we just got two a second ago and there's another one. That's good. Cow plant. He heat. It has a cake on its tongue. Yeah, dude. Apparently that fucked me up. Fucking cow plant, dude. What's it trying to eat me for? Probably got abducted after that. Alien probes in my butt and whatnot. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's nothing worse, guys. What is it? Is it intelligence that the telescope would boost or something? Or like the science tree or something? Um, maybe it was creativity in Sims 1, I can't remember. But you'd be, you'd, you'd buy your telescope, save up for it. Logic, I think it may be logic actually. You'd buy your telescope, fucking try to get your logic skills up and then before you know it you're gazing at the stars one night and then a fucking, you just get abducted. Your sim just disappears, you're like what the fuck? I'm trying to climb a career here aliens, I ain't got time for this shit. You think I've got time to be fucking probed in the butt? When I could be climbing the musician career? I don't know why you'd need logic in that particular career, but you never know. Maybe when you could become an, like a record label or something. Need the business skills. Okay, Boozer Command, don't kill me. Oof. Pew pew. Nice suit. One incentive chip. Right, I think we just... How many chips do we have? Let's have a fucking look. Don't want to go above board here. Components. Um, uh, are they here? I just can't see them. Oh yeah, I'm on them. Seven. Let's get ten. Let's get ten incentive chips. That'll give us a huge chunk of money. And then we'll leave. So people can get tempted and then get eaten. And then you can milk it for their essence. Wait, is that what Mrs. Wolfie did to me when I was eaten by the cow plant? Milk for my essence. Nice, nice. Imagine if you got as many as I had, Wolfie. I had like 50 by the time I left this area. That is a yikes. We're not collecting 50 incentive chips. I think I would die. OMG, yes, I've played every Sims game. My daughter spent four hours playing it this morning and I am female. What was the third one? Serenity, don't you act coy. I already know the answer. Serenity, have you ever downloaded Wicked Whims on the Sims? Yes or yes? You're a female, so I know that there's a high probability. Guaranteed. Doctor is the only job I haven't done. Have you downloaded Wicked Whims? Is that the new magic expansion? <laughs> don't you play coy, Serenity! Serenity says. I know you, don't, don't play coy. Is that the new magic expansion? Look at this. They're trying. They're trying to dodge it, dude. Don't look up. Yes, Jack. It makes you live longer. God damn it, dude. No, I haven't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Dude, doesn't the Wicked Whims Patreon make like 5k a month? Doesn't it make like some absurd amount of fat bank? Imagine that was your career. What a legend. What do you do for a living? Well, <laughs> well, I make little uh, imaginary characters do bad things. All of the bad things. I feel like I'm missing the joke. I bet you Heather knows what Wicked Whims is. Wait, what age is Heather again? I really hope she's not like below the age of like 16. Maybe that was inappropriate. God damn it. This is why we shouldn't talk about these things. Hope don't die. Hope don't die, you're gonna be fine. There we go. Pew 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 pew. Nice. Wait, is it Rudy Nudie stuff? I'm saying nothing. For lewdness, it wouldn't surprise me. Lewdness. 
The thing is, a base, then a bunch of people do all the mesh for positions and actions. The thing is, it's like a base, then a bunch of... Oh, okay. Wait, is this how they make it? Now, have you looked into this? Did you do a, you did a school project on this one, so I can tell. You know, some people had, like, you know... I don't know, some sort of business project, and then someone done a, a project on China. And then now he's just there, like, okay, so... I fully invested all of my weekend into analysing how Wicked Wounds is created and designed. It goes like this, class. Slaps up the PowerPoint, the teacher's like, oh my god! There's all sorts of different tiers of details. Uh, nearly 17. That makes me feel a little bit better. I bet you she does, though. I have Wicked Wounds. It is free. Look at my mod folder. Look, my mod folder is impressive. I don't even fucking want to know. <laughs> Why would I do naughty stuff in The Sims? I'm too busy doing it IRL. I'll put a screenshot in general. Maybe? No, 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 no. Abort. Abort. This is your captain speaking. Nay, could you please not post uh, filthy folders of bad mods in general? Thank you. Um, components. What was I here for again? Incentive chips, we've got eight. Cherry, how did you do this to 50? Please tell me that was an exaggeration. Please tell me that was an exaggeration, mate. You must have been watching an anime or something on the side, dude. Doing this to 50 chips and just, like, concentrating on the game is mind-numbing. I'm only happy because I'm here with you guys. Put it in a looking for group that has 18 plus warning. No! Because then people will be like, hey, I'm looking for someone to share my filthy mods with. Not not what looking for group is intended for, guys. Looking for group is for people who want to hook up and play Call of Duty, you know. Not the not the Call of Booty. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep that safe. I can just imagine somebody going in there. Oh, let's see if anybody wants to play Roblox with me. What's this file? Click. Oh, I don't really understand what's going on in here. Maybe I'll uh, I'll download some of these things to inspect. Mom! Heal me, please. Some are fine, like MC control. Don't explain what they do. I don't want to know. It was both luck and just patience. Or teens jump to university. My naked butler will look this all up for me on his next shift. Art of Submission. WW underscore Art of Submission. No. No, 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 no. Chat, no. No. I want you to tell me all about WW underscore Wholesome Mods. Tell me about those. Jack, when I bought this game, I played it for 18 hours straight with only two breaks. I have patience with this game. Cherry. Whether that's true or a little bit false, no one will know but you. But I commend you. Entrance free lol trait. Oh, entrance free lot trait. More buyable venues. Wait, is this the. Oh, this is like your mod folder. You're just explaining some of them. These are the wholesome mods. I feel like Nye's gonna give us like 10 mods and just in the middle slip something like really vulgar in, you know? Like it'll be like, oh, free entrance to the lots. Extra parasols. Better weather conditions. Huge wangs. I mean, what? My entrance is never free, they pay for it one way or another. More viable venues lets you great uh, lets you get daycare centres or own gyms. Oh that's pretty cool. It's very true, I was addicted. <sighs> Let's see here. Libraries, art galleries, etc. It's my favourite game for a reason, man. I feel you, Jerry, I feel you. To be fair, I do the games that I enjoy the most I spare. I spend an absurd amount of time playing, so I do feel you on that one. I, uh, I guess I should be giving you a little bit more credit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Create, not great. Like, nice sack, wicked, pair visions. Pair versions? I don't know if I want to know anything about any of that. Take Bazooka, no! 
Oh, there it is. Right in the kisser. Let's you have a bunch of better traits uh, that the base game doesn't give. Oh, now that's the kind of shit I love. Like, legit, I actually really like that. That's like in Skyrim when you, like, add a bunch of, like, extra, like, armor sets or something, you know? Extra traits sounds like a really cool idea. Just gives you a bit more variety on what you want to do. And makes each of your sims a little bit more individualized as well. I quite like that. That actually seems, like, fucking super legit. Besides, I wouldn't know as much as I do if I didn't spend an absurd amount of time in the game. So, Cherry, do you feel like... Is, is this the type of game that you could, like, finish and then go back to the start, though? Like... I mean, fair enough, like, if you sit... Like, I think I'm enjoying this because I haven't played it in years. But, like, I don't think I'm going to get to the end of this game and I've enjoyed the gameplay so much that I want to, like, play it from the start again. Is that something that you would do? I'm not judging, I'm just asking. Staggered. Wait, where did those spells go, mate? Those just fucking vanished. You can shove your bazooka attack up your ass. Mhm. Mm um, Chaos found an autism trait for what for our friend who is actually autistic. Wait, that's gone a bit far, is it not? He got so angry he died. So wait, there's actually mods for that. That's a bit fucking strange, is it not? I mean, that's like. <laughs> It's like going above and beyond, is it not? I've replayed this game from start to finish five times. I mean, it's been out for a long amount of time, so I, that, that seems alright. I don't think that's completely absurd. If you really like a game, you really like a game. I mean, you've, you've paid for it, dude. Why not get value out of your money if it's fucking making you happy, right? Um, Equipment. Inventory. Still only on eight incentive chips. Just let me do a couple more rounds, guys. I know this is fucking hella boring. You guys actually can't even see what's going on. I barely can see what's going on when I'm in the dark there. Mm. I've left my girly on the PS4 taking Persona 5 for a spin for the first time. I've already shown her the Mara. It's just so she doesn't have a nasty shock. She's a pretty pure team compared to me at that age. Good. That seems like that seems like the right way to, to raise a youngling. Cool. Spare her from the, the harsh realities of the world. Keep her innocent for as long as possible. Give her the best life. Feels good, man. Nice. Oh no. There's the bazooka. Alright, gam. Stagger. Alright, this guy's doomed. Praise your daughter, Sereni, says Cherry, yeah. Yes, yeah, at 17, I was as bad as I was at 25. Keep it wholesome, chat. Keep focus on the wholesome. Focus, focus. I know, she still crushes on anime, boys. Good. That's the way it should be. The anime boys, unless they do something silly, they can't hurt her. That seems like a good way. Come on, why aren't you dead? There we go. Nicer. Pew pew! Would you like some cheese with your wine? By 18, I was already so tired of drinking, I don't think I drank on my birthday. Wow. I bet you were a right riot in school now. 
Nah, I bet you were like the type of you were the girl that would sit behind me and kick fuck at my chair the whole lesson. I know it, dude. I know you would have been that person. Do you still do you remember now, or were you too drunk? Whoa. <laughs> I like how now he's like, eh, excuse me, I'm the only one that's allowed to acknowledge that I'm an, I'm an alcoholic. If I tell you guys I was an alcoholic and then you you also confirm it, that's rude. That's that's crossing the goddamn line. <laughs> I like anime boys, but they're probably different ones. Think of Bambi, think of Bambi, think of Bambi. Some of us use uh, up a lifetime drinking quota in our 20s. You guys are mad bastards, you know that. I'm glad you guys had fun. So now you have grown out of it, is that right? Or are you still mad bastards? Do I even want to know? Dude, where are my fucking chips, bruh? Round the outside, round the outside. I didn't- being drunk from whiskey and puking in bed made me rethink my life choices. I think it does take one particularly bad session of being vomit. If you're a bit vomity, guys. It does normally kind of uh, straighten you out for the next time. Nah, I did sit in the back of class. Now the taste of anything but gingerbread makes me nauseous, yeah. If you've, if you've had a couple of bad experiences, for sure, it can literally put you off something for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. That's why I used to call Monday night. <laughs> oh, God. That's why I used to call Monday night, Cherry. God bless. <laughs> Monday night madness. Oh, there's one. All right, cool. We just need one more. Follow the leader, leader, leader. Follow the leader. Ch -ch. Really, really like it. It's a, it's a wicked. With a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I remember three guys from Ken put acid on the backs of their hands in front of me and my friend to see who lasted the longest. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, you're either a beast when it comes to drinking or you got problems, this cherry. When, well, I can say I got pretty drunk, I didn't have, to have a good time, so I stopped drinking. I mean, you gotta just, you, sometimes you gotta learn that the hard way, right? Because it'll kind of straighten you out for the next time, hopefully. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think everybody has that one one time where they get too drunk and that's them kind of, they, they kind of find out their limits and they're like, nah, never again, fam, never again. Um... Yeah. All oh, high school boys, so chaotic. This is why guys have a lower life expectancy, says Warring. <laughs> I love it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Once I realized my friends were going down a bad path, I stopped sneaking out with them and started playing games more. What does down a bad path entail? Can we use code words? I'm trying to think based on everything we've discussed what going down a bad path means. Is that... Is that the, um, shall we say the substance, the, the substance route, perhaps? Or not the substance route? Are you the type of guy who put acid on your hand to see if you can take it? <laughs> this is where you find that Warring's just got his back covered in acid right now, trying to, like, maintain himself with the computer. The motherfucker is just hunched over his computer like, I can do it. I can beat half an hour. Ugh. <laughs> Code word crime. I never drank alcohol, Irish parents. Wait. Yeah, but I'd at least Google permanent damage first. When I was like 13, they wanted to do Orengo and some fun candies, so I just went home. Okay. I get it, I get it. Hey, we got our last incentive chip. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge, shall we? We've been here for so long. Let's save. I'm going to save over the last save as well, just to thin out our things a little bit. Um... All right, let's fucking, I think I'm gonna progress here, uh, which might have a bunch of cutscenes and inevitably a boss fight, so we'll see. We could upgrade some items or we could just go on. I think we just go on, fuck it. They wanted to cuddle lots of boys, lots and lots of boys, I understand. They were the, the friendly type. Is it over? Are they 
They're fine. Your son's a tough kid. Wait. Here we go. I looked across my chat and all I saw was naked streaks around the golf course. Back to the game. Uh oh. Snows took the jacket off. He means business. Wouldn't he have been shot in the hand there? Yagrosh, Psycom Division. Yagrosh. I understand your plight. However, the Pulse threat is not so easily dismissed. The very existence of Ulysses puts every last one of us in danger. Tell me, do you really think your life is worth more than the lives of millions of Cocoon citizens? I do not. And so, it falls to me to order your execution. It's that simple. It is my responsibility to see you put down. Attention, duelists! My hair is telling me that it's time for you to board. Attention, duelists! My hair is telling me that it's time for you to board. Attention, duelists! My hair is telling me that it's time for you to board. Welcome, Senor Cram. Hope you're having a good, uh, <laughs> attention, duelists. <laughs> Welcome, Jay. What's up, my dude? Hi, right, Jay, now that you're here, man, I want to thank you for the, the big dono yesterday, man. I hope you had a really good night. How are you feeling? Are you delicate, perhaps? There's a forfeit. Oh, cut the crap! You want the sea? Then kill the sea! Why do other people have to die? The purge has got to stop! Do you think we want to purge our own people? If any trace of Pulse remains, the populace will erupt into chaos! Without sacrifice, without the purge, Cocoon will die. I gave no order. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. What's going on here? Is this Fangs, homies? We're leaving. Hope. Attention, duelists. We threatened you and forced you to help us. Got it? There must be something Do else. Do what she says.
I can't let you get dragged into this. I want to stay here, but there's no place for Elise. I'm going with the others. We'll survive somehow. I promise you that. Dad, I hate to run out on you. You're not running! This is not running away. You've made a choice. You'll survive and do what needs to be done. You mean... complete my focus? Don't you worry about that. You make the choice. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. All right, big cutscene. Our turn, hero. What? I can handle a little gas. Catch your breath. I'll throw in some hits for you. All right. I remember. I remember this boss fight being particularly challenging, guys. So we'll just give it our best, I think, and see how we get on. We gotta get heals off ASAP. Okay. Okay. Luckily, Hope is getting debuffed, so. Okay. We're getting absolutely pounded right now. What are my other options here? Sentinel? I think this is where the Sentinel comes into play, right? So I've got Sentinel, Command and Ravager, or Command Ravager, or Ravager Ravager. Do we have to? I don't even know if anybody can reach. We're still in Sentinel mode, which is good, so I think we'll be alright. Uh, let's use Libra. Um, oh yeah, Lightning is actually hitting it, slowly but surely. So this is where your Sentinel was super popular. Maybe I can, maybe I can switch between these two. I gotta try and build this up fast. We're not doing a lot of, uh... I mean, Hope should be technically hitting this guy, but I don't know if he can reach it. Got your back. Thanks. We're really doing a poor job of, like, leveling this thing up. Hmm. Alright. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. I'm golden, just tired, says Jay. Alright, good man. Welcome to the stream. I guess, I guess you're supposed to like... It's, dude, I feel like Hope's not doing anything in this fucking fight, dude. Long-winded fight. It's gonna take a while to beat this. Maybe we only need to get it halfway or something? Can Hope not reach with his ability or something? Hmm. Use the force. Um, he doesn't have any vulnerabilities. 
Chain resistance 95. Oh god. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, there's different things to target. I've just realised. Jack, what are you doing? Oh. That's what I need to do. There we go. We found it. I didn't realise there was multiple things to target in the fight. I never even realised that. There we go. And now we're better. Hope's buffs are actually lasting a long time, which is great. We have the buff for that, which is good. Nice. Alright. Uh, I think we can speed this up a little bit, actually. When we're all at full HP? Yeah, kill that shit, dude. Alright. Alright, one for it down. What are we attacking now? Starboard hull. Yeah, let's take the turret out, why not? Should go down pretty fast. This should reduce out the damage that we take as well, which is great. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit a little combo off. Swap back to healing. I don't know if the turrets regen. I don't think they do, though. But wait, who knows? Alright. Nice. Alright, so let's go for the port side hull. There we go. Pretty weak. I think our buffs are about to wait off, so I might actually take a minute to just do this for a second. Hope if you wouldn't mind hurrying the fuck up. There we go. Let's go Commando Ravager here for a little second. Actually, let's go on a Medic. I'm just auto-curing, which is not a good idea. I don't want Fang to die here, so I got a buff. Get three off. Go back to medic, try and get some sort of. This is fine for the most part. <clears throat> Hope she'd be a better healer than I was. So, now he says I should go uh, to wait. I should go to Married GFC. Go get Married GFC. I'm so tired, my brain can't even have fun pack. Nah, thanks for hanging out. Thank you for resubbing today as well. Now, um, eight months you've been with us in a row, and that's absolutely top notch. So thank you. Have a good snooze. Go get some sleep. Hell yeah. Morgana says go to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Alright, let's go on uh, Commando Ravager here. Can I do better than that, actually? Ravager, Ravager, Commando would be really greedy. Wait, did he cleanse? No, no, no. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go all out. Pretty ham salad to do this and greedy, but we're gonna try it anyway. Alright, let's go back to Medic mode and Sentinel. Got a decent amount of DPS off there. Alright. Try and kill this fucking thing. Alright. Target is now down to really low amounts of HP. I think we can go all out here. Oh, no, what are you doing? Oh, he's doing his big move. Yeah, we want to definitely have a medic here. Thanks. I think we should be able to substat. We should be able to withstand this. All right. 
Maybe I could be going a bit more aggressive here. I feel like this fight's gonna be a fucking two star. Can we just can we just go into this mode or is this a this might be a mistake? We've almost started actually. Oh hell yeah, dude! What am I fucking doing? Kill, kill this fucker. There we go. All right, one more hit for the road. That hurt a little bit, but we eat, we eat. Damage. Okay, two more rounds of damage. I think he's gonna probably shoot us here. We almost killed him. There we go. All right. What is that? Like a two? St yeah, dude. I could have done that fight so much better had I noticed the other parts of the fight first. That was a big mistake by me. Um, we got a Uranite and a Platus Workshop. Um, all right. Lightning can shoot our Gunblade with the attack here. It's super fast. Is the other one one eight? The other one one eight. Welcome back to the stream, man. What's up? Yep, I'm starting to suspect that Wolfie is not as shit as he makes out. No, <laughs> I fucking, I definitely could have done a lot better in that fight had I actually just realised I could have fought down the guns and stuff first. That wasn't too troublesome. I just needed to wake up in the beginning. We survived a lot. Here's another one. To take its place. So who is this that's attacking the, the Psycom? We don't know who these are. Oh, shit. a very dark cutscene by the way. I'm, I hope you guys can see this clear enough. Hmm. Need a ride? Oh my god, it's the winter soldier. Don't get cute. Right, let's move it. Snow collapses in a heap. I'm fine, really. Dies. Alright. Take care, Dad. There was a lot of explosions and missiles going off outside this guy's house. I'm surprised he's alive. We never keep either as close as we should. Whoever stops to think that this time could be the last. Alright. Definitely could have done better there. I need to... It's a good wake-up call for me, though, as a player, to understand that there are, obviously, different aspects to bosses. I thought Persona 5 would have drilled that into me pretty hard, but apparently not. We just got to figure that out on the on the flow-through, I guess. Luckily, we were tanky enough so that the, the boss could actually kill me, even though it took me a while to realise. <clears throat> okay. The Nautilus... Nautilus is just the town. The city of dreams. This must be Saz and Vanille. We last left these guys at the Raptor Pen. So, I think... I think the Nautilus is somewhat similar to like... <clears throat> or there's something within Nautilus which is somewhat similar to like the... Um, uh, the fucking the gold saucer from Final Fantasy 7. Something's ringing a bell. Let me have a look at the new things that are available and then we're gonna upgrade these guys with all the XP we've got, okay? <coughs> Platus Workshop. What have we got here? Um, so this is just all that shite, that's fine. Magical moments, we can buy some new stuff. Guardian Amulets. Pretty pish, if I'm being honest. Creature Comforts, we can buy Fragrant Oil, Barbed Tail. Beast Claw, Vibrant Ooze, Iron Shell. I don't know if these are better than the other ones, but I'm going to hope that they are. I, I genuinely don't know. Uh, what we can do is to make our money here, we could actually sell all of our stuff. So if I go into the Unicorn Market, all of our Phoenix Downs and shit. So we've got eight of the, 18 of these. I'll sell eight. I, I probably could sell more if I'm being honest. We start at 3k gil here, by the way. Three and a half. We're going to sell all of those. And we're also going to sell all of the things that we grinded up earlier, our incentive chips. There we go. F 
fucking fat stacks. You guys can't see this now, but if I move over here, we're at 32k, which is excellent. Um, do we have any other chips to sell here? I don't think so, right? Um, I guess we could categorize these. Cool. Alright. Um, home of Final Fantasy XIII's one minigame. I like this place. Here we go. So we're now a lot more better off with uh, in terms of money. We could potentially use that to upgrade Saz and Vanille here. Um, let me just quickly check what Saz and Vanille's weapons do and uh, before I do anything. Equipment. Um, these are the ones that give us stagger maintenance, which is actually quite nice. Uh, actually really nice. Um, and then the Belladonna Wand improved debuffing. I mean, that's pretty successful as well. Uh, I think we could potentially upgrade some of these things for Vanille and Saz. Potentially the Belladonna Wand. Okay, so... Um, what I'm going to need to do first is I'm going to need to buy a bunch of stuff. So shop. We are going to go into creature comforts. Uh, should we bother buying some of these things instead? Or should we just keep going for the scaled wing? I, I would imagine that the be the stuff down the bottom is the best. Let's just buy like 36 of these. Because 36 is the magic number before. Cost the same amount of money. Bestial Claw, let's buy enough to take you up to 36, so that would be uh, 21. Let's do some testing here. Hmm. 64 side quests, but those are easy. Alright. Completely forgot about the Dreadnought Knight, or the Dreadnought Ride. Um, I probably need to buy Lenora Garage stuff as well, actually. Okay. So, I think Turbojet was the best thing we could buy. It's just so goddamn expensive. Let's buy like fucking 20 of these fuckers. Um, well, if I wanted to put 15, I could buy 30. How much is that? I don't want to fuck around here, but I want to hit the balance just right. Let's buy 24 and we can put 12 in each weapon. Right. Leaves us with 7k. Right, so if I go, I'm gonna feel so annoyed if I upgrade, if I find better weapons for these guys later. Realistically, I should explore first. What do you guys think? Should we upgrade items now or should we just chill? Most of them are easy, the rest are decent. Hmm. Let's just do it. I think increased debuffing seems like a good idea. So, I have 36 bestial claws and iron shells. Let's see, if I put in half, let's say I put in 13, or oh, 18 would be half, right? 18 would be half of 36. Takes me to 1.75. Can I put in a lesser amount? No, I still have to put in the exact same amount. Are they just different? Yeah, you still have to put in all. Yeah, 36 is the magic number. Oh no, actually, that's not even enough. That's not even enough. What about if I put in like... How many of these have I got? A bomb and a wing. Uh, two. There we go. So from here, turbo jets. Half would be 12. 10k XP. Do we do that and go all in? Or do we fucking power it? Nah, dude. I think we just do 12. I'm happy with 12. Okay, so we go from level 2 up to level 10, gain a fucking shit ton of magic damage, a shit ton of strength. Okay, cool. I think we upgrade Sax's guns as well. Which means I am going to need to put in my bestial claws. Let's see if I can do anything better with this. Like, if I put in, like, 25. Oh, so yeah, the bestial claws were much better. Oh, well, actually, was his bonus already... Fuck, his bonus might have actually already been like times two. I think I fucked up. Oh, that was a mistake. I realised my mistake though, which is the most important part. Turbo jet. Let's put 12 of you bitches in. Probably not enough to gain a bunch of levels here, but I will upgrade us a little bit. Maybe like three? Do we go up to level seven with this? Yep. So we get extra strength. Uh, what's that, 12 strength? And we got six magic. Eek. Not that great. Um... Uh, they do too much damage to stay alive in chapter 11. Nah, man. Those are impossible. You pro-scions. Do you not like these? 
I uh, I like the stagger maintenance, so we're going to put some time and effort in just now. Uh, we could actually go for another upgrade if we wanted. We're kind of close. Um, I need 700 XP. There we go, there's 800 on the superconductors. Take us up to 8. Okay. I think that's good. So the only thing I need to do now is go into the Crystallarium. These guys have 21,000 XP to upgrade. This should be fucking fun. Okay, I'm ready. My body is ready. So, Saz, first of all, you guys are saying Commando. He's also only level 1 with the Commando. So, I think we're probably going to be able to level all of these guys up as much as we want. But for simplicity's sake, I would probably... Yeah, dude, I think... Oh, dude, haste is available. Synergy, yes. Let's go synergy here, guys. Look at this. So we take ourselves around. This is going to be quite expensive, but we get in frost, which adds ice attribute to targets uh, Rav, Sin, or attack. So that's like an attack buff, which is nice. So we can do ice attacks. Uh, haste is fantastic, if I'm being completely honest. We've got boon here. Extend the duration of targets existing status enhancements upon bestowing new ones. Um, adds fire attribute to the comms. Okay, so like I get this. So if you add extra buffs to someone, it extends the ones that already exist on them. That's pretty good. Uh, I think I want those, right? To make Saz synergy stuff a lot better. We also pick up a bunch of decent XPs along the way. So I'm going to go here, get 5 strength. We're going to get 50 HP, which is nice. Boon, I'm going to pick up. And I'm going to pick up end fire. And then for here, I'm going to pause because I don't know what I want to do with the rest of Saz at the moment. So rather than just go ham, I think that's all the buffs we can get on this level of synergy. Ravager, what we got? So I can get Aurora, which is wind damage, which is great. Uh, we've got Fyra here, as well as Spark Strike, as well as Renew. Revive key allies from Kale and restore the HP. Why does the Ravager do that? What? Why does he have that as the Ravager? Sure, that should be a medic skill, no? Physically attack for lightning damage. Deal fire damage to targets in range. So all of his Ravager points are looking delightful. Commando, what do we have if we go Commando Tree? It's only level 1, so it'll be really cheap to get up here. We've got Power Chain, which is nice. Um, oh, wait. Roll level here. So this is where things are getting really complicated. Boost Chain bonus when staggering. Deals heavy damage. Holy shit, there's so many options. Right, well, this is really cheap to level this up, so I'm going to go along and do some of this stuff right now. Okay. It's not super cheap, admittedly, but that's fine. Let's go here. We'll take up Power Chain. Right. Ravager. So we, we maxed them out with Synergy, right? Yeah, we got all the points, but we didn't get all the nodes. I think I want to take them around and get some of these ones. I think I want them to get Aurora for wind damage. And then all of these... Or we could just go hell into the... We could go ham salad into the commando tree. Let's give him wind damage. I think that's better. Decisions, 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 guys. Fuck. I really wanted that. Okay. EN buffs. TP techniques are available regardless of roll. So as the Scourge animation is literally a 360 no-scope. Nice. Can't remember how good each character is in mid-game. Only remember the end game after grinding for ages to get platinum ingots. Alright, we're very close to getting these buffs for our, our characters, which is great. Um, I think as soon as I get round here, guys, like what I'll do is I'll pick up Fyra. I'll go around and I'll pick up Spark Strike. And then I'll pick up Renew and I'll stop. And then we'll go back to Commando. And just fucking power level commando and get some of this shit. Because this looks really nasty. It looks really nasty. Jeopardize. Yeah, see that shit? That would be so good. Okay, so Saz for the moment, he has so many options. We're really starting to develop the tree. And it's becoming really kind of crazy and hectic. But that's cool. Um, okay, Vanille. First and foremost, I think Medic and Saboteur deserve to be, get some love first and foremost, but and if there's only two people in the party, Ravager buffs are actually so insane right now. Just for double fights like Blizzard, Watera, I would love all that, but to go for that immediately with, with Fenil seems kind of gross. 
I mean, she gets HP and magic going that way, but I could take her around. I could take her around and give her some magic damage. She does a lot of magic damage as well, which is why it's like nice to go that way. I think I focus on medic first, though. See, I feel like <coughs> renews there. What's all the way over here? Raise, revive an ally from KO. But what's the difference between that and renew? <coughs> what? Wait, what? Revive allies from KO and restore HP. And then there's what is this? Revives an ally from. Why? Why is this further in the tree? Revives an ally from KO and gives them HP. And this is just revive. Why? Why is this? Revive allies from KO. What? Raises a medic skill, renew as a TP skill. Oh, I understand. I understand. Okay, so you can use TP. So anybody can use it. Is that right? Or, well, Vanille should be able to use it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I did not realize that. Okay, that makes a bit, that, that makes a bit more sense. Okay, honestly, Vanille's immediate medic tree looks fucking gash. It looks so shit. Um... In fact, if you take her all the way along here, it looks terrible. She's getting strength for most of these parts. Renew is for the whole party. And what one is the renew? Renew is arguably the most useful TP. So renew is the one that is the TP usage. So the one that we're on track to get first. Dude, I don't know if I even want to go down that direction. What's How's Saboteur looking? And Peril reduces the target's elemental resistance and deal magic damage. That seems good. So, yeah, accessory slot for Vanille, which would be nice. Give her a bit more HP or something. And then this looks yeah. Oh my god. Dispel removes target's most recent status enhancement and deals magic damage. Um, That could be good on certain bosses that buff themselves immediately. I'll sit over here so you guys can see easier. Right, let's just start putting points in here. We're going to be here all week. We'll take in Peril. Strength is ugly for Vanille, but oh, I mean, what, what can you do? Bunch of HP here. Six magic is is great. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. I mean as well take that. Uh, accessory slot. Why would we not want that? That's great. Uh, up to here. We've got a lot of magic along the way. Do we take her to dispel and then just call it quits? I think we take her to the dispel and call it quits, alright. So six magic plus six magic is obviously insane. Five strength. HP, magic, into the spell, and I think we chill here. I could, I'm tempted to go for the next magic part, point, but um, what if I need it? No, I did fuck it. We'll take six magic here. That's strength. We don't really care about strength in vanilla, for the most part. If we have an extra XP later, we can totally pick that up. But okay, so Saboteur's chilling for the time being. He looks like he's fine. Um, again, the medic tree is so gross. Like it just looks so gross to go all the way around here. Just to try and get to renew. It does not look nice at all. I'm kind of tempted to just go Ravager, honestly. Doesn't seem like a smart play, but look at this. We get magic, magic, and a HP. And a HP and a magic. Oh, that's strength. Never mind. But still, I think taking her this way is better. There's Blizzard. So we can take her in a Watera. And I think we stop here. I think we stop here and this is where we start doing medic. So we got a bunch of buffs. Magic is nice. We're gonna end up falling short here, but it's okay. Okay. We can't get to renew, but we're very close. We're very close. Okay, not bad guys, that was a massive amount of XP to spend and I'm kind of pleased with the how that's turned out for the most part. Vanille and Saz are much, much stronger now than they were the last time we played with them, so I'm delighted with that. Let's just go ahead and save over. Uh, sure, let's save over that one, fuck it. Alright. Yeah, I hate how you cannot choose which stats to increase for the characters in the Crystallarium. I like Vanille and Hope. Um, like Vanille and Hope need no strength. You can't intend to, if only the game told you that. Yeah, more HP is always good. Yeah, I am scared of certain bosses just one shot in my party. So, uh, have we got any items lying about here that I could potentially collect? No, we've came in this way. All right, let's just explore, guys. What time is it? Is it time for lunch? Oh my god, it's quarter past three. Fuck. Um, 
Yikes. Hey, Joy, you're staying Nautilus. That sounded oddly. That sounded oddly sexualized. Is there an item around here? What is this dead end? Should you or your child feel unwell? Okay. Dude, is there any items in this area? I feel like I'm like exploring it to make sure I don't miss anything, but the frame right here is pretty laggy. Like, pretty laggy. Holy yumpja. Mm, you can't even go that way. Okay, no items, as far as I'm aware. It offers more benefits than strength and mad, honestly. He was talking about the second Final Fantasy games. Nice, uh, I really should eat something. I didn't realize how late it was in the day. Not a lot of security here. Yeah, for these people, the sea panic must still seem like a world away. Huh. Huh? Oh, hey. Looks like they're putting idolins on parade. We're starting soon. What do you say? Go check it out. Sure. This is why Saz really wanted to come here. Finally found him. Hostages? They should just blow him away with the Lassie. They're all infected by Pulse or something by now, anyway. Well, it's a bit rude. The parade's about to start. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought Saz would have a more grown-up reaction to that, but he just does not give a fuck, dude. That's our friends getting shot at and attacked on camera, potentially kidnapped and incarcerated. Better check out how the fucking electric light parade's going. Am I right, fam? What the fuck? Sass, hello? Yeah, I, I, like, I'm all for taking a break and resting up in between your adventure because you need to catch your breath back, but really? Like, really? And he doesn't even bother to ask Vanille when Vanille's like, It's her! It's Fang! Saz is just like, yeah, bitch, whatever. Who cares? Right, guys, I think this is a good place to kind of stop and, and grab a munch real quick. I'm just going to go and grab, like, a bit of fruit and something small. We'll be back in two seconds. Uh, I've just realised I haven't eaten today. I've been lying for, like, four and a half hours, which is my bad. I'll leave you guys in the general hubbub of the area. You can hang out with Sazzy Boy here. There you go. That's a nice picturesque kind of background. Just you guys. Oh, dude, the fucking camera is so back to front in this game. There we go. Perfect. Alright. I'll be back in a bit. I mean, what can Saz do from all the way in Nautilus? I mean, why is he in Nautilus? Do we even know why they came here? Is it to, to find his son? Fair enough, he can't, he can't do anything from here, but he could at least try and make an effort, right? Like, shouldn't he plan their next move, maybe? I don't know. I'll be right back, guys. He didn't even react, though. Even if he, even if he wanted to do something, but he can't do anything, he was just like, ah, oh, well, fuck him. Fuck them, they're under attack! Screw those guys! He didn't even give a shit.
Are you feeling? You feeling about? Maybe get a wee bit in a minute, I. I'm alright just now, thanks. Alright, gang. What's up? What a miss. Oh, hey, Riley, what's up, dude? Sorry about the hold up, gang. We back. What's up, everyone? Everyone, let's start going crazy when Jack is not in the room. No. Bad, Riley. Not like that at all. <laughs> I don't even want to see what that sounds like. Alright, here we go. Let me just uh, have a little bit of snackage here, guys. I've got some chicken, I've got some. I've got a fruit. I've got some bread and some crisps, and a yogurt as well actually, I've got quite a lot. You guys alright if I have a little nibble? It's not really a good time of the day to be eating, but we're here now, fuck it. Got some prawn cocktail crisps. Shout outs to Fabzy, the other lover of the prawn cocktail. Who else likes prawn cocktail? Have we talked about this before? I cannot remember. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Alright. Look at you guys. As soon as I disappear, causing mischief. What he is like. Hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering if I want to push through and watch cutscenes. Hmm. If I, if I go into the next area, yeah, and there's a lot of cutscenes, it's perfect for me having a munch. But if I go in and there's no cutscenes, I'm going to feel like a walloper. Well, we'll do it and see. Parade, a pageant commemorating the war between Cocoon and Pulse. The show is starting. Look. Hell yeah. Comes the attack from Pulse. With trusty blade and Falsy's aid, I will defend Cocoon. Ragnarok! 
Get fucked. Sometimes I had to wonder mm -hmm. could our deaths have brought back peace? Mm. Mm hmm. What an epic cutscene. That was great. Please. I know Saz is just trying to make best of this of like a bad situation in that guys. I don't really know if I get the whole relationship between Saz and Vinny. It's, it's rather bizarre. So this is the city of dreams. <laughs> Apparently. Hmm. So this is kind of like your theme park amusement part of the game. Again, not quite as spectacular as like the gold saucer maybe, but it's really cool. That parade cutscene is insane. So much effort put in. Boring chapter, but good for the plot. All right, excellent. Probably good for when we're munching then, right? Let's uh, have a quick peek around, guys. Um... I don't know if there's anything that we can collect here. I don't know if there's any chests or like items that we can pick up. I'll try and keep an eye out, but I don't think there is, right? Should I just advance? That'll give me a chance to eat my yogurt. <laughs> this place is huge! It's better than Gold Saucer if they allowed you to play the games. Guess you couldn't. Maybe that's what they intended originally, but then they couldn't, like they couldn't develop it or whatever. It's a huge amusement park built by the Sanctum. Bet they never expected to see visitors. So, is this place special? I promised Dodge. I'm gonna bring him someday. Hope I can at least tell him about it. You'll get the chance. That'd be even worse. Maybe. Hey Dash. Hey Dash, remember that time I told you that I was going to take you to the best theme park in the world? Yeah. I just went there by myself because, you know, fuck it. It's really, really fucking good. So sorry that you missed that. You know, but now that you're a foul C, fucking Lucy or whatever, dude. I guess I just took a, I took some random 16 year old bird. It was hot. Do you know where they're keeping it? High five, Dad. Can I come with you? <laughs> sure. More the merrier. What about you? You got someone special out there? Special? No. <laughs> Guys. Really? Now that is kind of sad. Yeah. Hey, I'm kidding. I didn't mean to uh, upset you. Uh-oh, when you the turtle. Well, I'm just fine, thank you. I wanted to tell him everything, but I couldn't. Not until the time is right. I got you. Okay, so... Um, I guess from... Yeah, I don't know. This is where I think that, like, you know, Saz's agenda the whole time was actually just to come to the theme park, guys. It wasn't actually to save his child. Bring the mic in here a little bit. Yeah, I don't think that, um, 
I don't think that Saz's main agenda this whole time was to actually like save his son or save Cocoon or that. He just actually wanted to come here because he's like, he was all he's always wanted to come here, but he's never had the opportunity. And now that opportunity has arrived, he's like, fuck it, I'm not missing out on this shit, dude. Again, like maybe his focus is actually just to take Vanille on the teacups. Maybe as soon as they get on the teacups, they get like mid spin, dude. Both of them just pew, crystallized. You can never actually know. Oh my God, is that a Mareep? Oh, I will, and so will Vanille. I'm here to complete a focus, bitch. So I can, I can go that way. There's always new stuff to try. All right, so we can go to the main place, or we can we can board that little that little cart there. Let me just save over this. What happens if we board the cart first? Where does that take us? Board the uh, the not the not a lift for not the station. I don't think so, right? Do we where do we go here, guys? Do we go to the main? Back to work I guess we go here first, right? For the Nautilus Park. Oh hell yeah! So maybe you can just completely skip this part of the game. I don't know. Probably not if there's character development though. Chocobos. Hell yeah. Oh, I thought I smelled something. That's Chocobo, isn't it? <laughs> Vanilla implying that the Chocobos are fucking rancid. You get tired? Shut up. Right, let's go. Welcome to Naru. Welcome to my... Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Somebody's excited. Yeah. Hey, you can make some new friends. Dodge is crazy about chocobos. <laughs> he really wanted to come here. But fuck him. Let's look around. Fuck and Dodge. And in we go. We are here for the party. I feel like he just keeps rubbing it in. At least like Dodge would have really loved this. Sucks he's not here. Hey, let's get drunk. Oh. I'm only kidding by the way, obviously, guys. Don't don't get upset. Uh, the entities. Oh, here we go, dude. I fucking knew it. First secret item. Phoenix is down. Oh, great. Work, work. Welcome to Nautilus and Sweet Dreams. Dude, am I getting roofied here? Hello? Was that just it? Just the one chest with a phoenix down in it? Oh, her voice sounded familiar, dude. Not open to the public. So they've just got a little attendant and a chocobo guard in the entrance. Alright. Work. Kind of ruining my immersion here, Saz. Oh, Vanille loves the stench. The smell of the chocobo dung reminded me of my home. The stables. The stables of Pulse. The chocobo chick has taken a wing. Find where the fugitive fledgling is hiding. It could not have gone far yet. Okay. Ready, go. Um, chocobo, 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 chocobo. Did I got a clue? Am I just supposed to run in here? Obviously, we're going down this path in a minute. Did I just run down the path? There's nothing else to explore here, right? Meh. Examine. Oh, there he is. Uh, 
Alright, I guess we're going down the path. No. Oh no, we're not going that way. So he must have hid somewhere else. Over here? Oh, you can push the sheep out of the way. You guys got it? You guys got my, my chocobo? He's sitting under its ass. What the fuck? The sheep? Not the chocobo, not the sheep. Not the edge here. And the fountain? Nope. Not in the sheep again, is it? That would be fucking weird. Oh, chocobo. Chocobo, buddy. It's gotta be over here, right? Somewhere here. Yellower than a banana. Yellower than a banana. Oh, there he is. I found them. He's so small. Oh, can you actually see what he's flying off to if you actually pay attention? I saw him fly over here. Oh, right. Okay, I see. You just have to watch where he's going. It makes sense so obvious when I fucking say it like that. Over here somewhere? Up the tree? He definitely flew over here. There's literally a song about finding them. As I'm looking about for the chocobo. Where is he? Is he on top of the stall? It's gotta be interacting with the stall somewhere, right? Hey, look at that. This one flew the coop. This one flew this the coop. One flew the coop. This one flew the coop. Chocobo, this where are you? Where are you, little bastard? Do you know where he is? Tell me, fam. Maybe he's not. Vanil, have you saw the chocobo? He's not over here, right? Dude, I saw him fly directly over here. Yes, one flew the coop. I guess one flew the coop. Chocobo, chocobo, chocobo. Chocobo, chocobo. Chocobo, chocobo. Is he up the tree? What the fuck? Guess one flew the coop. Dude, what the fuck? Where did this one actually go? Do I have to like look up for it, maybe? The frame rate is really laggy, so it's like it takes a while for the, the, the kind of visuals to settle. I know you can't really see that on YouTube or Twitch, but like look at that. Yes, one flew the coop. <laughs> I guess one flew the coop. Dude, what the fuck? Where's- Oh, god damn it. I didn't even notice this. My bad, guys. My bad. <laughs> you guys talking about my IQ? Guys, don't even at me, dude. I'm the best chocobo finder. Oh. Guess one flew the coup. Alright, what are we getting on our freebie? Our freebie chest. What are we getting? Summon? Chocobo? Star Pendant. Is there more to look for? I guess one flew the coop. Just one more beam, and I will be free. Alright. Maybe. It'll uh, do better. Part of the gang already. Always good to be among friends. The fun times are double, and your worries build 
far away. And nothing ever seems as scary when you have someone to share it with. Yeah. Still number one, of course. Of course. <sighs> Thanks for the help. Mm -hmm. Now when I see Dodge, I can tell him about the Chocobos. Hey. He's being held by the military. Probably being tortured right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The probably pulling his little toes off. They're running tests. They're trying to figure out his focus. I'm turning myself in. Huh? I know they execute the sea, but hey, they're not total monsters. They'll listen to a final request. They'll have to. Before the end, I want to talk to Dodge one last time. I want to tell him about these chocobos. I want to tell him about everything I've seen. But wait! Sass! Listen, I don't want you to worry. You're not part of this. You'll have plenty of time to split before I surrender. <sighs> That's not what I meant! I'm sorry, Vanille. Ah, <sighs> I'm just... I'm tired of all this running. But... You can't! What about Dodge? Huh? It's a lessee because of someone from Pulse. You can't give up without getting revenge. Vanil. I know who it is. I know who's responsible for the accident. The accident at Uriday. Then tell me. The lessee who ruined your life was this guy. <gasps> Oh my god, it was the, the chocobo attack. Soldiers! Where'd they come from? I thought he was gonna turn himself in. Guess that was before he found out the news though. Uh oh. Did you see that background render in there? That was a bit weird. No place left to run. Nowhere to run, na 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 na. I don't know what's going on, but sad face. What's up, Ryan? We're in the middle of a theme park. We're about to kick some soldier booty. <gasps> Wait, I can hear. A, I can hear an item. Can I hear an item? An item? I feel like I can hear an item. Maybe it's just the save machine. Look at these soldiers doing a fantastic job of apprehending me. Look at them doing an absolutely stellar job of arresting this wanted criminal. Just uh, gonna walk right round past you boys. Don't mind me. <laughs> what a bunch of dumbasses, dude. <laughs> oh man, I could have totally snuck away from those guys. All right, let's try our new uh, our new weapons and shit. Let me pop over and hit this. See how we get on. Dude, Sass has the best battle animation. Watch this blitz, dude. Watch the watch the blitz. Pew, 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 pew. Mana drive barrier. I'm gonna get another blitz off here, and then we're gonna go into heal mode. I appreciate it. Pew pew! There we go. Be careful. Die! Yeah, I've got these guys on my radar. We're good. Pew, pew, pew. Find a guy who shoots like Saz, dude. You'll be fine. Oh, did you see that manic smile? Two stars. Two stars game? Hello? We must just suck. Alright. See how we go on here. This this fight may actually genuinely be awkward. Oh wait, we got preemptive strike, hello? How is that even a thing? Alright, I guess we just take out the gunners. Can we just attack anyone? There we go, there's the stagger. Trying to keep this guy fucking. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's try some of our new. Uh, 
Let's try some of our new abilities here on the Orion. So we speed up ourselves. That is so nice, dude. Oh, haste in this game, though. Oh, my goodness. Touch me. We give ourselves frost damage. Is he weak to frost? He is weak to frost. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Maybe just kick the shit out of this, right? We should destroy this. Like, actually destroy it. Look how fast this dying, man. This is great. The the fucking synergy saboteur combo is actually so dank. Woo! He's dead. Maybe he's gonna kill Vanille first, but no, we got him. Um You worry too much about the battle ratings, they're not as important. I thought that the battle ratings determine the drops that you got. Is that not what you guys told me earlier on in the playthrough? You guys said that the five stars determines how much XP you get and also the drop rate. Is that not right? Other than the fucking, other than the uh, the boss fights. Oh, I've just realised as well. Haste to make boners go up like a rocket. Excuse me. Um, there's a superconductor. We always get superconductors from these guys. Feels good, man. We got some equipment in the last area, and Vanille also has an equipment slot. Um, let me have a look here. Star pendant, and uh, that's just poison resistance. Auto protect. Slightly extends the duration in which enemies remain staggered. Uh, oh no, cast protect at the start of the battle. That's fucking awesome. What else have I got here? Is that it? Spark ring. Critical shell. Resist, resist. Critical veil, resist, resist. Improved potions. Dude, honestly, auto protect sounds great. Um, I'm going to put that on. Uh, what has Vanille actually got on her right now? Tungsten bango. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this magic off of Saz. And I'm gonna give him like lightning protection, maybe? We've got a better one than that though, right? Spark ring. Resist poison 30%, improve potions, improve deprotect, and lightning 25%. Metal armband, what's that again? Uh deprotect curse poison. Yeah, what about if I give that over to Vanille then and give her like improved magic? Um, it's not as good as our other magic upgrade, but that should make Vanille pretty good. She's got extra HP because she's squishy, and now we've got auto protect for Saz, which is nice. And then he can also resist lightning against some of the shock attacks. Not bad. What the hell are you guys? Are you war enemies? Yous are new. We're gonna Libra. Zwerg Metroid. Weak to fire. I thought that was going to be the case. Oh, you're super weak. Ratings is your TP gain. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. TP gain doesn't matter. You literally do two to three fights and gain just as much or even more. Drops are fixed unless you increase drops with a uh, collector's catalogue. CP gain is also fixed unless you use the growth egg. <coughs> I see. Which is which you get way later. Okay. Right. All with that in mind then, let's just push on. Got a little item up here, that's cool. We are looking for some better kind of equipment for Saz, to be honest. I feel like Saz is, um... He's kind of got a half ass set of buffs on him right now. I mean, the auto-protect is nice. The auto-shield, that gives him, like, extra defense. Really, really nice pick up there. But his other... His other piece of equipment is kind of jank. Okay. Uh, why did that one enemy give me 123 XP? Hello? That guy was so easy to kill. Maybe we're just at the stage where we're getting that much. Spica Defenders. Oh shit, son. So, these give us Stagger Maintenance. What do the new ones give us? Augment Maintenance. Slightly extends the duration of offensive buffs. So, these are basically the equivalent of your... So the stagger maintenance is your ravager, whereas this is your synerger, your syner synergist weapons. So if you want Saz to be your synergist, hmm, how much stats do we lose? Not not that much to be honest. We lose a tiny bit of magic, and we lose about thirty six damage. Huh. It depends what you're going to use this guy for. Hey Ollie, what's up? Welcome. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, hey, it's one of my favourite grind spots. And hiya, Cherry, how are you? I dislike knowledge for grinding. Okay, well, just shit on that then. <laughs> Welcome, Ollie. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How's things? I mean, did that little enemy there that we just fought against actually give us, like, an absurd amount of XP? Like, how much did I get from fighting these guys? These troopers are new, I think. Um... Just, uh, just do a command a minute. Uh, yeah, weakness to fire. I think Blitz would be good to hear, Saz. I don't know why the auto prompt didn't queue that up. I want to be careful here. Let's just go into commander mode for a second. Kill these guys slowly but surely. Hmm. How you doing, Ollie? You managed to get through two of your three night shifts, man. How's things? You doing alright? Congrats, bud. You're getting there. You're getting there, Ollie. Welcome to the stream. Doing good, Ollie. What about you? Oh shit, how much? I forgot to check how much XP I got for that fight. Fuck. Um, what's up here? I'm gonna run back a little bit and try and get some of these enemies behind me to respawn because some of them have. See this little guy here that gave me like he was an easy fight and he gave me like 120, 23 XP. That's actually kind of kind of good. Preemptive strike. I like fighting against the Orion. Um, because he's obviously got the chance to give us the good drop. Let's kill the uh, the corpse gunner first here. We gotta be careful in this fight, to be honest. Dude, that fucking blitz is actually insane. Nice. Okay. Let's go, uh... Yeah, no, dude, fuck it, let's go. Oh, we lost our fucking... God damn it. Let's go Synager Sabotage, sabotage person. Synager and Saboteur. Words. I'm right, chat. Alright, now we just kick the shit out of this thing. She's trying to get debuffs off on him, but it's really not happening. Can you stop killing my vanilla, please? Alright, kick the shit out of him, go. These are both hasted. This should be an absolute slaughter. An absolute ass spanking. Yeah, that's what I thought. Didn't get the buff off on Vanille though, to do extra damage, which is a bit of a shame. See ya. Good. I'm a bit miffed. Uh, I'm okay, a bit miffed with Pokemon Home, but I'll live just turning it on before I head off to work at 4.45. Okay. Why is why is Pokemon Home got your why is Pokemon Home got you down, Ollie? Saz's Blitz is really strong against big, oppon uh, big opponents, even single target. Yeah, dude, I'm feeling it, man. It, it seems really strong. There's another superconductor for our troubles. That's fucking top notch. Uh, we could run back into that swarm of enemies back there. How do I get that guy to spawn behind me again? There you go. That's him actually recovered. Let's do one more superconductor fight. It'd be really cool if I if I could actually just um No that matters for this fight. We're so close to being able to sneak attack these guys, but the fact that they run forward as you enter the area is a bit unfortunate. Uh, let's take out the gunners again. Yeah, here's the blitz, dude. Look how much damage it does! How does that make any sense? Dude, I fucking love that, dude. Even if we go um I guess if they're not together, it doesn't seem as strong, but still pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna do this again. The haste ability is really nice. Like, that just makes your whole fucking life better. Like, we almost haste too fast. It's actually insane. Didn't get the debuff on this guy, which is a bit of a pain. Heal up a little bit. Alright. Hmm. Thinking about it. Um, yeah, thanks, Shaq. Last night was uh, I was cracking open so many cartons and pouring their contents into a tub. Very good for getting out any repressed anger. <laughs> oh, man. 
I think as long as you see your work is soothing all eight, then I'm happy, man. Where did the repressed anger come from? Was that, um, that wasn't Pokemon Go, was it? Or uh, not Pokemon Go, Pokemon Home. Hmm. Thinking about it, by this point in the game, you'll have met uh, Jai, Jill, Nabat. She shares the same voice actor as Lulu from Final Fantasy X. Well, there you go. Only 120 XP points for this fight, which is kind of wang. Potion and a Phoenix down, that sucks. Fuck. It's this little guy here. See the dude that defends this chest? I need him to respawn, man. He gave me so much XP for being able to kill him so fast. Mm -hmm. Blitz excels mostly in group fights, so fighting four of... Yeah, yeah, dude, look, check it out, right? For anybody that wants to... Anybody who's skeptical, watch this. Dude, that, dude, that would have done that much damage to, like, all the enemies in this fight, man. It's actually insane. When they're standing together... Oh, that's unfortunate, though. You really do have to get them kind of together like this. Oh, value. Dude, I'm just going to blitz over and over again. Oh, they're just dead. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. XP wise, how much is this? 200. Look at that, dude. 300 XP, dude. Such an easy fight. Why do we only get 100 from the fucking the Orion fight, but this gives me 300? Must be because there's like a ton of fucking soldiers in the fight or some shit. If I can make these guys respawn really quickly, then this is a banger spot to grind. There's another item over there as well. Dude, I actually think this would be alright. I, I, I see what you're talking about, Ollie. Like, I feel like this place isn't bad at all. Um, maybe, maybe, Chet, if you've been grinding out in Hope's home, you probably don't need to grind here, but like, Saz makes this so easy. He makes this so easy, and we don't even have a physical build on him. We've got his magic buffed at the moment, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and sa Synergy Saboteur here. We're going to lose any stagger we had in this guy, which is a bit of a bummer. But it's I. Oh wait, actually, never mind. It looks like we maintained it. What the fuck? Get a bit of a heal off here. Go straight in a slash and burn. Um, I thought that was a joke, Jack. I felt so- if I just- it just felt so violent, but I was stuck doing that for 10 hours. Jesus. It sounds brain numb and ollie. You gotta just take it easy, dude, and uh, I, I guess find a way to pass the time. I don't, I don't know. You're kind of stuck in a spot, right? Are you? Um, quick question, Ollie. When you're doing the when you're doing the jobs over and over, do they allow you to have like a like a set of iPod headphones in, or like can you listen to anything while you're doing it? Like, do people have radio? Four hundred and sixty-one points. Fucking mummy, daddy, what the hell? Four hundred and sixty-one points, and the potential chance for a superconductor. I'll take it. Not exactly what I wanted, but... Um, you see Jill a few times before you get here, but you only meet around the end of the chapter. I assume you just wanted to be grinding the spot of uh, for later chapters, though. I prefer the next one or the previous one. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you have to hold the cartons in each hand by their tops, smack them on the edge of the container with all your force and empty the contents, and then throw them in a bin and grab another two. Yikes. So it's quite tiring then, I guess. Sounds tiring. Alright, boss, let's go. Hmm. Are you are you allowed any any audio, Ollie, no? Dude, this guy just dies. Right? We don't have the haste on him. But I don't think it matters. He just did. When you go from being hasted to non-hasted, you feel so slow. <laughs> Look at Vanille's damage, man. She's slapping. Kill him. Easy mode, boys. Give me the super conductor. Give me it. Give me it now. 77 XP and no spoils. Well, suck a dick. Mm -hmm. Now we have to wear earplugs due to the noise. Oh, shit. Yeah. I haven't thought about earphones, but I dare say they're not allowed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I feel you. I feel you. Hmm... Dude, if I can make these enemies spawn behind me, I am loving life. Let's save our game here. If I can jog my little ass over here. That was weird. That was so slow to respond to my controller commands. We, how much do we get for this? We could definitely get a sneak attack on these boys, right? 
the wolf! Come on, man, really? <laughs> Maybe I'm running too fast, I don't know. Use Blitz, though. Blitz should be insane here, right? Ooh. Again, again. Mm hmm Go. These guys take a little bit extra damage. Is it these guys that's given the best XP, maybe? Saz actually changed his, his type there mid-auto combat. That's weird. How much XP? What? What? For that fight? 640? That's like half- that, that's that's more than- that's more than half of what the XP we got from the last boss fight. And think how long that took me, like 10-15 minutes? What? That's like one node every time- oh, a healer staff. Oh, I've just went and upgraded all of these fucking items as well. Uh, equipment, Vanille, what is that looking like? Belladonna Wand is obviously increased buffs. Healer Staffs is just straight up in pure cure. Uh, slightly enhances the restorative effects of cure spells, so you get more HP back. Hmm, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's better. Healer Staff seems like it's alright, but surely just straight up buffs all the time is, is good too. Yeah, if you consider like every time we do that fight, it's like a free node. You do it five times, you get five nodes on the on the skill tree. That's actually nuts. The only thing is, look, we're now running into a problem where these enemies don't respawn, so we do have to jog back quite far, which is to be considered. See this guy here? He gives you 130 for just killing this guy, which is better than the Orion fight that's down the hill. Now, obviously, these guys don't seem to drop very good items. Apparently, they drop a smooth hide. Sounds like some sort of a. Uh... <laughs> natural, natural upgrade item. I just keep occupied by playing Final Fantasy 13 and Persona 4 and 5 soundtracks in my mind, says Ollie. That's the way you go, dude. That's, that's how you gotta do it, dude. Sounds pretty, it sounds pretty hardcore, Ollie. <clears throat> you just gotta try and, I guess, find a way to like meditate through the shift. Just think of things, get lost in your brain. I used to have to do that when I was working at McDonald's, because in McDonald's, obviously, I would just stand at the at the bun machine for like, you know, potentially like eight hours plus. Sometimes, if you're on fries the whole shift, you can spend the whole day just literally every single. Imagine this guy's right. Imagine how many customers go through on a Saturday, right? Imagine being this guy. So if you think about like your local McDonald's and think about like peak time, which would be like five p.m. on a Saturday, maybe five six p.m. on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The weekends are generally popping, right? Saturdays are always insane. If you imagine that every single customer comes through the driveway and the restaurant needs fries with their meal for the most part, right? Some people come in and order like a fruit bag or just a coffee or a burger or something, but think about how many people order fries. Normally it's just one person through the busy period just literally frying up every single set of fries for the, every single person that buys something from McDonald's. Some people just have to do that for like six hours sometimes. They'll take a break and then they'll be back on fries. And it's like kind of awkward because if you're good at it, they'll keep you on it, you know? If you're efficient and fast and you don't put on too much fries and you're quite, you're fairly snappy, they're going to make you do it all the time. So it's like one of these jobs that you have to kind of fake being shit at or just literally be shite. And then that way they'll take you off it. Uh, I don't think I want to do the Orion fight, fuck that. Let's just fight these guys. This is the big XP. These fights up here, these are crazy. What's up, bitches? You gain loads of CP, meaning you know how difficult to the next chapter is gonna be. Lol. Yeah, I get you. I get you, Chew. Cherry, sorry. Nothing like humming your favorite game tunes. Best thing is the machine noise drowns out your voice, so you can totally sing. Life will change. Nice. <laughs> I like that, Ollie. It must be, dude. It must be brain numbing, Ollie. I don't know, man. You gotta, f you gotta try and find a way to think of the money, dude. If you do 12 times three for this weekend, times it by your hourly rate, that's probably a decent amount of money, man. I know when you're just starting the shift it can be hard, but when your fucking bank account fills, dude, you'll be feeling it, man. You'll be feeling it. 12, I mean, that's 36 hours of work in the space of three days. It's an absurd amount of time to be doing that, but, dude, if you if you do that for two weeks, your, your paycheck's gonna look decent, man. That's the only way I got through my McDonald's shifts. I know the world doesn't revolve just around money, but money helps, right? It's not noisy at my work, that's why I keep uh, I keep it to humming, says Cherry. 
Wait, Cherry, you tell me you're not the type of dude to just belt out life will change in the center of your workplace? That could be quite, uh... That could be quite soothing. How are you getting on with your colleagues, Ollie? Is, are they being any more chatty recently or do they just keep to themselves? It sounds like it's the type of job where there's like minimal human interaction. That's times where I would kind of envy a job like that, you know? If it's through the night, normally people are quite chill and quiet and just keeping to themselves. I always thought about like a night shift stocking shelves in a supermarket might be okay, but um, I don't know. You see that sometimes I used to go into my Tesco's quite late, you know? And I would get like uh, maybe some sandwiches or something, just grab a bunch of snacks for like playing games or chilling or whatever. And uh, you would see the guys coming in with their night shifts and they would just put their headphones in and just stack shelves for like three or four hours and then go home. I actually think that job would be alright, as long as you're allowed to listen to music or a podcast. Dude, I could easily do that. If I do that job for like a month and then I know where I'm going and I know what I'm doing, give me like a podcast, I could get through those shifts, no bother. It's easier said than done, obviously, but I think any job that lets you kind of just do your own thing would be alright. That's how I keep going, my mind, keeping my mind occupied, my body on the set task and my eyes away from the nearest clock. Yeah, oh dude, you can't... You can't watch the clock, Ollie. No, no, no. You got the right idea about that one. You can't. You can't watch the clock. Watching the clock is death. Uh, Cause sometimes, I mean, when it's busy, I mean, if you're doing like a, a manual labor job, like a factory, right? That's just the same speed. Cause you're just on a production line, right? Nothing speeds up or goes down. It means everyone's kind of consistent, right? But like in McDonald's, you would have really quiet periods and then you would have really like hype periods where it would get suddenly like really busy and you would go from having no cars in the drive through to having 12 cars in the drive through It's a lot of food that needs prepared like pronto, right? Um, sometimes I would look at the clock and I would think, dude, I've been here for three hours and you check it out and you've been there for like 50 minutes, dude. Or an hour and 10 minutes. But then sometimes you check the clock thinking, oh, dude, this is, uh, dude, I've been here for about like, I don't know, two hours? And you're actually like, you know, four hours in. Those are some good times. If you're doing the type of job though where it's just like you need to get your shit done by the end of your shift, then I don't know, it's up to you how that how that shit goes. Mm. Yeah, that's how I keep going, keeping my mind occupied. Um it's not my body on the set task and the eyes away from the clock. Aside from the breaks when I have to keep an eye on the time. Well, no, my colleagues have their way of in making you feel like a mental patient if they see you singing out loud for no reason. Dude, where's the where's the fucking love for the, the tunes? I guess it just depends on the environment, honestly. I was talking about this yesterday. I've worked with some kind of boring people, guys. Sometimes that happens. You just gotta fucking make do. I don't want to die to these guys, so I gotta be really careful. Or I'm gonna lose a lot of love. Heal me, Vanille, please. Wait, what did I just go on to? Joe Caston? Double Ravager? Oops. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I'm just there for the good pay and the easy work, not because my colleagues are nice. I mean, Cherry, that's also a pretty good response, dude. Like, some people can just keep their head down and they're like, well, I'm not in my work to make friends, I'm here to make a living, dude. If I can just get on with my shit, dude, that's... I, I respect that a lot. Like, I respect that. The clock is shite, I hate how they're everywhere in my workplace and all of them are in it. I say, oh no, dude. <gasps> oh, you can't. There are quite a few people saying hello during lunch breaks. Uh, lunch breaks, sorry, starting to get to know people's names, keeping the people I'm working with spirited, and just generally being me, working hard and being kind. Nice, Ollie. That sounds like a good, a good place to be in, man. I, I normally find that like people, um, like kindness and like general politeness is definitely like, it's quite. Um, what's the fucking word I'm looking for? Like normally, if you're kind to people, you get it reflected back to you, right? It's quite good. You gotta try and stay positive. <clears throat> Let me drop a save file here and we'll run back through and do some more fights. I don't think I need to be doing this, but it's uh, definitely not a waste of time. So, I think I'm going crazy, says Sushi. Okay, continue. What do you mean going crazy? Weren't you always crazy, Sushi? Kidding. 
Sushi, have you overcome your fear of being able to wash your face yet? Talk to me. What's happening? Straight this little guy. You mean you weren't already? Ah, uh, see, me and Ollie were on the same wavelength, dude. See, Ollie, I think I get the whole earplug thing if you're working with machinery, right? You gotta look after your health and stuff. But it'd be cool if you could, like, hang out with us or something, like, during. Not that we stream at midnight, actually, now that I think about it, but, like, any kind of stream or, like, YouTube commentary or something like that would be cool. Again, podcasts, music albums. Obviously, if you're working right next to something super loud, though, you gotta do your thing with protective, protective gear. Puddles keeps randomly appearing in my Sims bathroom. Uh, that means that your toilet or your sink is clogged. Or your, uh, if your if your sink or your bath is not clogged, it's normally the shower, right? It means that your sim is like really lazy. It's to do with the sim that's using the shower. I've triple checked. Nothing is fucked. It's one of your sims, sushi. One of your sims has like a really low stats point like one of your sims must have like a really low like cleanliness level you should make other sims use the bathroom and see if they leave a puddle and if they do then maybe there's something weird going on but if they don't it's the sim that's the problem that would be my advice it even happens when everyone's at work all right now this is getting weird <laughs> all right never mind ignore all my advice you, you must just have a, a toilet ghost I think that some, uh, something is broken, man. Your sims are pissing on the floor. Dude, I don't even understand. Do you have ghosts? Dude, why are we attacking these guys and not the soldiers? I should have blitzed these guys. Dude, I am loving fucking Saz's damage, man. Holy shit. Those guys are almost dead. We are getting hella strong, man. Get those buffs out of here. Alright, drop me a wee fucking... There we go. Let's go double ravage. We actually managed to stagger this guy. Oh no. Kill his ass. Okay, good. Uh, can we get a superconductor, please? That would be awesome. Nope. Alright, back through we go. I think we'll move on after this grind, guys. Like, after we fight the uh, enemies this time. I'll, I'll move on. I won't stay here for much longer. I'll spend our XP on Saz and Vanille, and then we'll uh, we'll just continue on, okay? I do not. The Sim Poltergeist. Hire a maid, if possible. Yeah, I used to love... I, I used to think that the maid in The Sims 2 and 1 was, like, the most broken feature in the game. Like, because the maid would turn up, and she would be, like, $60, but she would fix so much of your shit. I kind of wish that, like... You know... Because she would just clean your shit until it was completely done, and then leave, right? I used to think that the maid was like a busted feature. Same with the gardener, when you actually get plants. The gardener would turn up maybe like $50 or some shit. He would just like literally do all your work for you. Okay, decent XP here. I'm not gonna fight the uh, the one in the background, just this one here. Wait, where did that fucking move go, Saz? You shot that one into the abyss, mate. What the fuck was that effort? What was that effort, dude? There we go, that's better. Uh, can we kill that guy, please? Pew, 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 pew. Uh, I think I need... 
I need you to heal yourself, please. Alright. Synergy buffs. Haste. And haste. Alright. Let's go. I'll just play this nice and slow and chill. I don't think we're likely to actually stagger this guy, but I guess we'll try it. Maybe we're just better doing commando, I don't know. Oh, he's almost dead. Get him, boys. Good view. Nice. Good, 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 good. Is the TV leaking? Cindy! The TV's leaking! Hey, superconductor, give me that shit. How many of those did we actually pick up? Uh, curiosity. I don't think we've got that many, but... Uh, superconductor. we got three. Not insane, but not bad. Alright, last fight, guys. We'll move on after this, okay? I'll do, I'll do this fight... Take all the XP in, and then we'll chill. This fight is so fucking free, it's unreal. Like, I don't know why they give you so much XP from this particular enemy, but with Saz's fucking guns, man, it's actually insane. Maybe, maybe the, these guys are expected to do a lot of damage, I don't know. Oh, so free, dude. Why this fight gives you so much, I have no idea. 640. Oof. Three turn le leather as well. That's pretty good. Dude, honestly, I'm kind of tempted to stay, man. That, the, the XP you get is bonkers good. Alright, let's spend some of this. Saz, I don't even know what we were doing with you, mate. We stopped you there. What were we going to do? Was it that? Oh yeah, fire up. We're going for fire up. And maybe around to Spark Strike as well. Yeah. Strength is plus seven is good. Cool. Renew. Sure. Just got it in time. Okay. What else do we have? Synergist? We're going for anything here? Just a ton of HP. Okay. So anything Saz gets now is for bonus stats. He's got most of his abilities, which is great. Uh, Vanille. Glad you got the reference, Jack. I feel like we just need to binge watch the scary movies. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Scary movies are the, uh, are pretty chill. I like that. Uh, okay, we'll go for Renew with Vanille. Pick that up. Um, what have we got over here? Oh yeah, we were going for a raise. Do we want to do that? What other saboteur skills have we got? Strength. Is that strength as well? Why did, why did they keep offering video strength? Feels kind of weird. Alright, we could get a rent to Blizzard as well, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Or do we want to go for a raise? Well, we've got a lot of Phoenix down. This gives her magic and shit. I think we go for a Blizzard, honestly. I feel like that's an insane option. It's going to take us a while to get there, but we could at least try it. Alright, we're close. Big buffs for Vinyl, which is nice. This magic plus four would be nice as an extra node, but we can't afford it right now. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to do like another lap and just fucking fight. Like if I could get these, see these enemies that are really close, if I could get them to like respawn faster, like this spot here, that's like such a fucking such an offer. Well, if the Metroids do get some hits uh, on you, they can hurt, especially in the fight against five of them. Imagine five times eight damage is kind of devastating with only one K. Yeah, no, sure, I feel that. Um, how do I make you respawn, friend? Is that enough to make you... No. I gotta go further. We have to go back to the island. Maybe if I come down here, maybe? If I come down and fight this guy. 
Would that be enough? I mean, as well, do this guy. It takes a little while to kill. Watching the scary movies with the Wolfpack lol. I can imagine everyone what, hey, commentating on everything. Or commenting, yeah. We need to do a movie night at some point. I think we could arrange that. Maybe on a day of the week where like people can be arsed. That would be fun. Uh, Alright. Have you respawned yet? Probably not, because the enemies here haven't respawned. Could you be here? Oh, they have. Alright, nice. So I just need to go down and touch that enemy and then come back. I, I probably don't even have to fight the one at the bottom. Hmm. The running backwards and forwards is a bit tedious, though. Okay. I'm actually just going to cancel this tube. Let's just do blitz over and over. What the fuck, dude? That's not what I want. I guess I'll have to ask about how much damage they would put, right? Vanille might actually die here. Just kidding. Yeah. His blitz is like a kind of... It's a wide cone, but if they're separated, it's kind of shit. Okay, the 648 CP is beautiful. Let's go. That'd be good. I can't imagine it. Yeah, we'd all know the references and quote them in real time. Hell yeah. Alright. Maybe if I come to like here, they respawn? I need to figure out where like the, the, the pass point is. Alright, I'm gonna go down, fight that guy, come back, do one more fight and then leave, okay? So as, as splits is good in a single target or groups, not small targets or separated enemies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, buddy. We're getting 700 uh, CP for, like, fighting these two groups. Like, this guy on his own gives us quite a lot, which is kind of ridiculous. There we go. Ridiculous. We're doing a lot of stopping and grinding. We probably don't even need to do this if I'm being completely honest, but it's kind of part of the game. Like, I, I kind of enjoy it. Like, I know a lot of players would just avoid this because it's not necessary. I think Vincent was here earlier and he was like, you know, when I uh, when I play this game, I don't need to stop and grind. Fair enough. I don't remember stopping and grinding a lot when I first played this game either when I was younger, but it feels nice to do it. I don't know why. Um... There we go, we just killed three enemies with one attack there. Oh, he missed that completely though. Yikes. Get him. Get him, Vanille, please. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Smooth hide too. Got a lot of smooth hides. Alright, how much did we get back there? 1500. Is that enough to get Vanille to her next thing? Probably not, in all honesty, but I'll check anyway. Because she was close to getting her, uh, her new ability. Wait, did I imagine? Did I imagine coming around here? I thought I... Wait, what was I doing with her? What was I trying... Oh, yeah, I was trying to get to... <gasps> Dude, did I fuck up? Was I in the wrong role and I came all the way around to here? Ravager. Oh no, it was Blizzard. Yeah, you Blizzara. Let's take that. Almost there, Blizzara. Yikes. So close. Saz. Dude, I'm not even going to bother with this right now. Just leave him as he is. He's probably going to be way stronger than he's supposed to be at this point anyway, because of all the grinding we've been doing. Okay, we'll save. I could technically take Vanille back around one more loop, but I don't think it's important. There might be a boss here, though. Blizzard might help with the boss. Oh, I'm contradicting myself. 
one one more fight should do the trick, I think. Should give her enough. Alright. I'll fight little Jimmy here. How have we been live for five and a half hours today? I feel like we've only just started. It's really bizarre. Time flies, guys. Time flies. Do we get any decent... We'll fight these two guys as well, actually, because I think this gives us like 200, 300. Oh, and the preemptive strike. If only there was another group of these guys here, that would have been sick. Should have maybe filtered this in my attack pattern because look, yeah, 256 is not bad. All right, one last time. Oh, these guys have respawned also. Whoops, I guess I went too far. Mm -hmm. Starting a chapter at higher levels is always fun. Yeah, I agree. And it makes sense to grind against these guys because of how like how good Saz is at this combat, right? Like look how much he can get off just fucking that was a bad example, but he can do so much work here. Like when these guys are grouped, it's so insane. Alright. Pew pew pew. Alright, what is this? This one isn't as good. This is like 500 XP or something. 298, oh god. That really does suck. Um, these guys have an Orion in it, but yeah, dude, fuck it. Let's just do it. All our other characters will benefit from this as well to a certain degree, so fuck it. Pew pew! I could have been a lot better. I kind of wish they never got as close. Yeah, that's right. You just, you just walk in front of all this damage. Ryan, buddy, would you want to give me like a superconductor or any shit? That that would be cool. Just if you want to, like, I'm not I'm not gonna pressure you. We've debuffed this guy's armor, so I probably don't want Saz doing magic damage. Probably when I'm doing this shit. Mate, hey, Really got him staggered though. Oh dear. He did. Cool. And superconductor. And superconductor. And a smooth height. Feels bad. Alright, not bad, Maggie, not bad. Mm-hmm. I do not remember what the Midnight Reaper is weak to, says Cherry. <gasps> the Midnight who? Dad? Good news folks, I get to hang out a little longer. My brother's giving me a lift to work, so I'll be up here till half five. That's awesome. Nice one, Ollie. That's a plus. Nice, dude. Is that brother Jack that's helping you out, Ollie? Yay! Ha! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright. There we go. There's the XP, the turn leather, yada yada yada. Alright, let's get the fuck out of Dodge, dude. We've been in this this spot for quite some time. Probably way, way unnecessarily, but the good news is Vanille should have enough XP to get to our next point now, which I really want. So that'll be in the Ravager roll. We'll give her Blizzara. What else do we want to do here while we're in this spot? Let me pick up something else. Any kind of magic would be good. Yeah, like magic four. There we go, that'll do. Anything that makes her a bit more durable would be cool. Saz, how much have you got? 3,000? Yeah, this is worth our time, I think, to stop. Just quite quickly buff this. Commando, you're still only level one, mate. I just realized. 
What did we decide we were going to do? Scourge. Deal heavy damage with an attack to target to recover from stagger. About to recover from stagger. Oh, okay. Jeopardize. Boost chain bonus of stagger target upon attacking. That seems insane. Ravager. A lot of HP being missed here, and I don't know if it's bad to neglect those. Ravager seems fine for now. Synergist, what we got. Magic is okay. HP, HP, HP. All of the HP. We could give him 100 HP here, which actually might not be bad. Followed by 7 strength. Yeah, dude, honestly, I think that's fine. Pretty good deal. 970 to get to that. I think all of them on this level are going to be 970, is that right? I don't know if actually giving him a level up in Commando makes him stronger, does it? 1000 to get to that. Does get, giving him a roll level actually do anything for him? Does it buff his stats or anything? Missing 25 HP and 30 HP, so that's 50 HP, so he's a little bit weak there. A ton of HP up in this way as well. Magic and then 15 HP. 15 HP sucks. I mean, 15 HP for how much? 970 XP? Nah, fam, nah. No, thank you. Alright, well, he's got 400. I guess we just hang on to it. Um, yay. Is it storming at your place? There is at the moment uh, a storm going on here. Yeah, it's really windy outside, Chewy. Or, I keep saying Chewy, but it's because I've got a mate called Chewy and it looks like C when I see you talking. Um, yeah, Cherry. There is a storm. It's been windy all day, actually. My window's over in that direction. The whole time I'm talking to you guys, or can hear outside is. Mm -hmm. Get Scourge. Scourge is great at the, uh, the last second of Stagger. Yeah. Roll level increases the roll bonus they give. Shit. Maybe I should have leveled up way sooner then. I probably should have picked up this. Yikes. It's too expensive to get just now, unless I do like another run, like run around, but I don't know if I can be asked doing that. Do I want to do one more lap? Dude, I'm getting caught in this cycle of never ending fucking XP grinding. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this would make me want to vomit. Hopefully the VOD watchers can skip ahead. You guys who are here with me live though, you guys gotta endure the pain, I'm really sorry. Alright. Yeah, here too says skill. Windy all day, but a downpour uh, just now. Everyone's a storm. Every time a storm comes along, they make it out like the world will end. <laughs> Stupid skill, right? Like last week, Storm Sierra was a bit windy. I mean, the thing is, guys, just because it's not windy, like, it might be windy where you guys are, but just because it's a little bit windy doesn't mean that other parts of the planet, like, or other parts of the continent, for example, aren't getting it really bad. So, you know, they might say, oh, Stormy, like, Storm Sierra or whatever, and you guys see a bit of, like, I don't know, maybe a bin falls over. But then someone else is someone else might end up with a tree falling through the roof or something, you know? That's probably why. It's kinda of bare I think I know what you guys mean, like sometimes the press overhypes things just for a bit of excitement and a bit of news, you know, a bit of drama. Sure that happens, but then you gotta take into consideration that it's not just you, it's It's like where people are like, oh snowstorms and then a bit of snow lands and you're like, oh everybody made a big deal. But then somewhere down in England, you know, people are like snowed in or whatever. It just depends. I ended up walking through the damp, windy, wet and cold this morning. Got my clothes uh, in the washer and myself a bath as soon as I got in. Hey, Ollie, I bet that was chill as fuck, dude. Did I tell you guys what happened the last time I tried to have a bath here in my new flat? I say new flat, but here in my flat. The bath half filled with, wa with hot water and then, like, the hot water ran out in my boiler and I ended up just getting freezing cold water. So I, I was sitting in the bath at this point. You know, because sometimes you can run a bath and sit in it as it heats up. That's quite a nice feeling. But then I fucking... Dude, the hot water ran out, so it like half filled and then I'm just sitting in a fucking tub of half cold, half warm water. I had to get a towel, I was so annoyed. It was depressing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I still haven't found most of my garden to Sereni. My fence is missing in action. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Just because, you know, they might highlight a local storm. And just because you guys don't have a bad doesn't mean that someone else hasn't got a bad. <laughs> yeah. Survival tips, Enzo. There you go. Genius. Alright. 
There you go. There you go. Mrs. Wolfie suggested heating up the kettle, didn't she? Oh wait, I have told this story, god damn it. Now I just feel embarrassed. <laughs> now I just feel embarrassed. Yes, she did indeed, yes. Damn it. I got excited there because I was like, oh dude, Ollie is the only person I know that takes baths. Other than myself. This is my moment to share this one story. Yikes, dude. <laughs> If I go into the garden now, I'll have to talk to the neighbours if they're out there. The struggle is real! Oh, come on, Serenity, it can't be that bad. Do you not get on with your neighbours, Serenity? Is it just awkward? I've always lived in an, a, like an area or part of town where I kind of get on okay with my neighbours. Not always, but for the most part, it's fine. I remember the bath story. It's a sad one. I'm never going to take a bath ever again in this flat. I'm never ever going to take a bath ever again. Showers only. I was so disappointed. We have actually had the hot water run out on us before, like a couple of times. Um, first when we moved in and we didn't really consider that was a thing. It must just be to do with the size of the boiler. I think we have an old fashioned slow fucking ass boiler that takes ages to fill or some shit. I didn't even know, like, I don't know how boi boilers typically work, but um, there's a strong possibility that, uh, oh my god, Daniel, please don't die. Yeah, kind of sucks. It's fine, Jack. Good to know that we sh we know the same story. <laughs> oh no! Well, why do people like to live in places with such? No, no, I don't think that's how it works, though. I feel sorry for you, Serenity. Though, why do people like to live in places with such bad storms? I mean, there's so many answers to that question, right? One, I don't think people choose to live in like stormy areas. Two, you might have been born there and you like living there. There's maybe only a storm, like, fucking once a year. It's not really enough to make you, like, move away from all your friends and family, right? And and plus, even if you moved away, like, you'd have to go pretty substantially far to get away from wherever it is that you're living, right? Let's say you have, like, maybe you live in a hurricane country. Would you really, like, maybe there's a hurricane comes through, like, once a fucking year or something. Would you really get up and move to a different country or state just to avoid that? Some people might. I'm not saying they won't, but that's probably an answer to that question, right? Why do people live? That's like saying, like, why do people live next to tsunami attacks? Like, you know, like, I don't think people who live there just, like, are, I don't think they have a choice. It kind of just happens, right? Fuck's sake, guys. Why did you just live next to that volcano when it erupted? What is, what is fucking playing at? I'm awkward. My neighbors are lovely. All right, that's good, though. Mm-hmm. Not awkward as far as I see. Global warming, says Jesse. Nice neighborhood, I guess. Jack, if my half my garden goes up in the air, I mean, uh, one time a year is enough for me to say goodbye to everyone. And yet, Cherry, you've told me that you stay in this. You've stayed in the same place your whole life. Do you think if there was an earthquake near you, Cherry, you would move to like a different country? Why do people live in places where the air hurts their face? <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. You guys are funny sometimes, but I see your point. You know, I think some people are just stuck sometimes and it's it's hard to move, you know. Uh, right, I don't know where I want to go with Saz next. So many things I could do. Let's take him along the commando tree. Alright. Vanille, you've got 2k. May as well pick, you, pick up some stats for you. Uh, medic. Medic. I think we go this way. What is that? That's strength. Oh god. Putting points into vinyl to get strength, it feels so gross. I guess it does kind of slightly help her out a little bit, but... Okay, the good news is, guys, I can finally move on. Um, I am so sorry that that took so fucking long. But I was kind of enjoying just kicking it back and chatting to you guys. Right, here we go. Boss fight? Oh my god, is that Archer? Is that Archer, leader of the Gorgonites? 
All right, here we go, guys. We are going to go straight into debuff mode and get haste on us ASAP. Saboteur Synergist, let's do it. Haste. Nerve gas. Oh, there's the poison. Okay, if you wouldn't mind buffing me again, Daniel, that would be insane. Right, can I get rid of that? I think Vanille should be able to debuff me, right, from the poison. There we go. Right, cool. Ravager, Ravager, let's go. I haven't actually used Libra on this guy. No, I'm gonna lose my buff, dude. Oh, you fucker. That's ape say, dude. The good news is we are actually staggering this thing really fast. That's what you get for being greedy, I guess. Alright, here we go. Alright, stagger him, stagger him, Vanille. Get his ass. Okay. What the fuck was that? Did he just shoot fire out of his ass? A fairly straightforward boss so far. I'm waiting on him to do his like second phase or some shit. He's such a weird looking fucker, isn't he? The haste is actually allowing us to kick the shit out of this guy, though. Maybe double Ravager would have been better here, I don't know. May have allowed us to do more damage. I was gonna say, he's not shot me back in so long. Like, uh, release arm restraints, I don't know what that means. Can we actually um, double ravage this guy really quick? There we go, staggered him again. We've lost our buffs though. Okay. Haste is obviously insane. We want to haste ourselves again. And go back and command the ravager. Oh my god. I took my eyes off for fucking one second. Okay. Um, we flooded once. Once, I mean back in 1953, so a lot of people died, but that's beside the point. A large part of the Netherlands is below sea level. Our last bad storm was in 1987. It's still known as the, Sor the Storm of 87. Earthquakes don't occur where I live, um, with the exception of tiny ones, but yeah, half my village disappeared as of move. I mean, we're not talking about half villages disappearing, no, we're just talking about, like, bad winds, right? But, like, I get where you, I get where you guys are coming from. But we are masters in holding uh, Atter, but back so it shouldn't occur again anytime soon. Is that nature? Wait, Atter? I missed that. I missed the panel that. Sorry, guys. Which is why I get annoyed at climate all right, uh, alarmists, to be honest. I've almost killed this thing. Kill his ass. Nice. Okay. Oh, I was owning that look. Believe me, the Wicked Witch of the West was hella jelly. Nice. Um, wait, did I miss? Let me have a look. What's, what am I missing in the chat here? Well, I was told I'd save them from the Wicked Witch of the East. Uh, then I had to go on a quest to find some wizard in Emerald City. Killed another witch, befriended some randos and went home. I went by the name of Dorothy and lived in Kansas at the time. Honestly, if a storm lifts up your house and end up surrounded by munchkins, you know it was a bad storm. Um, you know it when you found your people, says Serenity. Ollie wearing a red high heels and calling yourself Dorothy is a lifestyle choice. The mother load. Oh my god, is that a cheat for The Sims? Got him. We got him. He died. Nice suit. Alright, three stars for that fight though. Feels bad.
found you. Huh? <laughs> that face. I ain't just. I ain't your daddy boy. Daddy got you. Dodge. Why are you here? Because you promised. <laughs> but how did you get here? <laughs> Sorry, that was a really funny picture. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, they must have figured it out. Look at that face. <laughs> Poor Dodge. Dodge spends his whole life waiting to go to Chocobo Land with his dad. He finally fucking gets there, dude. And just straight in a crystal mode, dude. Feels bad, man. It seems that was your son's focus. Dodge fulfilled it admirably and served Cocoon in the process. You should be proud of him. Mr. Cat's right. Dodge was a great help. He could sense power of Paul's origin. Her voice is very quiet. Words can't express our gratitude. The data he provided on enemy list C was invaluable. And speaking of gratitude. Enhance the surveillance series? footage from the energy Anything plant. Come back? Those are the pulseless sea behind what happened. Got close to a cocoon without seeing. The picture's a I little grainy, but I'm sure you recognize that one. You've spent anything. so much time together. Fang, let's go. What's our focus even matter? What's it matter? You want to be a monster? I just... Uh... Keep your chin up. We know the path that matters. What? We are enemies of Cocoon. Know what I say? Play the part and raise some hell. Might jumpstart our memories. What? <laughs> the foul sea. Let's smash it. Fucking dash. Just turns up whatever he wants. In fairness, why the fuck did Saz leave his child that day? Like, how does that make any sense? If you've got one son and you're there by yourselves, how do you lose your son? In a fucking power plant. But did he go for a dump? Right, Dash, just wait for the hand wait by the hand dryers, buddy. No, Daddy, fuck you. Why is she so quiet? Sorry mate, I can't hear you. Can you turn that off? Dude, there's no way, like, there's no way Saz can actually hold Vanille responsible for what happened, right? That would be the most ridiculous fucking thing ever. That would be the most, like, jank-ass fucking... 
Like, if Saz turns up and tries to- I don't think he will, right? But if, like, Saz turns up and tries to kill Vanilla, it's the most fucking bogus fucking thing ever. Because, like I said, if Saz goes with his son to the power plant, first of all, you shouldn't be letting your fucking son go that day, right? That's your mistake to make. And if Vanille's, like, inadvertently caused the fucking, her, like, her planned, planned attack on the foul sea, that, that, that obviously inspired Dash to, like, become a Lassie, like, it wasn't even Vanille that said, let's do that. She didn't say, let's attack the foul sea and make this little boy a Lassie. She was just there. It was Fang that said, let's do it. V Vanille was just there. I don't think he can hold her responsible at all. And if he does, it's kind of bullshit. As much as I love Saz and... You know, as much as fucking Vanille sounds like a squeaky sex chicken, like, I, I don't really... I don't really know how he could try and hold her responsible. It doesn't make any sense. So he better behave himself in this fucking cutscene. Or I'm gonna be mad. Oh, is that Lulu's voice actor? You are cold-blooded. So people would trust you, using them as shields. How many you gotta drag down with you? I'm... A coward and a killer. The people you use don't get to live. Why should you? <laughs> Everything was like tripping out. I shouldn't have living with guilt. I shouldn't have taken that acid. Then die with it. To everyone on Cocoon, evil. Shoot me for your son. Don't you even? You think you die, and that's that? Mm -hmm. You think you die, and everything will be sugar and rainbows? Then what can I do? What do you want from me? If I can't live or die, what do you want me to do? Don't ask me. You figure it out. I don't know! <laughs> Neither do I. And it's over. There's nothing to do. Shooting you won't help. Drops the gun, it, sh it goes off and shoots her in the head. That was dangerous. Is the safety on? Oh my. Saz, is that you? Oh boy. I need those ears, please. Okay, fine. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> Imagine shooting off a pistol next to someone's eardrum. Jesus. All right, here we go, guys. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a joke, but it's true. Okay, we're gonna go Synergy Saboteur here. Alright, we gotta buff ourselves big time. Haste on Vanille, obviously very important. Any more buffs on ourselves would be great here. Right, I gotta get in a, some sort of healing mode ASAP. How long do I have? 16 seconds? Really? I gotta ravage this guy? 
Oh no, it's not. It's 152 seconds. Oh wait, do I, do I need to... Um, I probably need to Libra this guy, right? Uh, techniques, Libra. Uh, let's go on a Commando Medic here. Neo's kind of getting slapped. Oof. Yeah, any heals would be awesome. Okay, Commander Ravager, let's go. He is loving, he's loving pecking on Vanille right now. I might be greeting a little bit here. We only got him halfway. I think we're doing all right. What's he weak to? Nothing. Valkyrie side. I think she did. She dodge that. What the fuck? All right. That's putting the gist all bar up is quite a lot, so if we just uh I think we just have to ravage him. Satanial Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Let's go for another round of that. Can we get damage off here, Vanille? Yeah, that was pretty good. Alright, we'll go back into commando medic mode for a second. Don't want Vanille to actually die on me, despite all of the memes. Okay, this is gonna be quite close. We gotta really keep up our damage here or we're gonna run out of time. I've got a minute left. Although right now it's looking okay. Our haste has just run out. I'm gonna recast that, I think. Right, there we go. Can you put that back on yourself? And frost. No, 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 no. Haste, haste, haste. Okay, I'm gonna go double Ravager here. We've almost got him. There we go. Alright. Done. Sorry I was uh, at, the si at the side of the screen there, guys. Apologies. I was probably blocking a lot of the HUD in my decisions. That's right. Let's do it. All right, done. Not bad. Plenty of time left. Uh, we get zero XP, uh, but we get a burn. Uh, is that Brunhilder? Idolon? Brun Brunhilda, and we gained an ATB segment, which is excellent. That means double haste at the start of every fight. I think. Really, really good. Okay. I wish they would stop doing this. Do you guys disagree? Do you think that he should be doing this? Do you think that this is okay for him to do this? Or do you think this is absolutely mad? like his you don't forget enough is enough so fucking dramatic dude all right well, that's it. Saz is dead. We just got his idol on, but obviously he's dead now, so that was a complete waste of time. Never comes back. We never see him again. He's dead. Obviously. Kappa Kappa. Look at this cow. Who's this? Vanille. Oh, that's Saz in his coffin. She's in the robes again.
for every task, there's a perfect tool. Mm. Like scrubbing a toilet. Got it. All of Cocoon was against us. With us dead, they were sure everything would go back. Back to the way it was before. Alright. Roxas1207. Who is that girl? Wow. Another another Roxas joins. We have a Roxas in our community, but here's another one. Roxas1207. What's up? That girl is like a commander in the army, I guess. She's like one of the high ups and she's... I don't know if our motives are good or not. She seems very kind of arrogant and sneery, so we're naturally opposed to, you know, we're, we're naturally going to dislike her. I don't know if her motives are pure or not, but she's a bit of a bitch. She kind of laughs about our friends killing each other and things like that, which is a bit gross. But uh, yeah, she's an antagonist. We don't really like her. All right, sexy cutscene time. He's a biggie. The Lindblom Sanctum Guardian Corps. an opportunity. In a display of unwavering dedication to duty, the Primarch himself has boarded the Palamecia and focused his personal attention on resolving the Pulse Crisis. They're baiting us, trying to draw us out. Bait, huh? Yeah, that's right. Here are your friends. Come and get them. Well, if they're daring us to mount a rescue, I'll take that. <laughs> Final Fantasy Nine, is that oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, bets are on the table. We leave when you're ready. Oh my god. The one our soldier's back. Bucky, come back. Where are you going? You'll find out how big the Palamecia really is, lol. Instrument of Wrath. Alright, new merchandise available with the young lightning here. Uh, have we got any items kicking about in here? Anything worth our time? What do you guys think? Should we, uh, let's have a check out the new merchandise for sure. I can also upgrade lightning here a little bit as well. What options do we have? We've got something more in the outfitters. It's probably just the new weapons we've found, right? Oh, titanium bangle. That's new. Magician's mark, shaman's mark we can now buy as well, which is nice. Glass orb level one. Resist slow, 30%. Oh, cool. We don't have any of these, but they're quite expensive. All right, interesting. Uh, the muddler load. Oh, so this is for upgrading your weapons, right? An, aggr uh, an aggregate of nickel sulfide functions as a transformative catalyst. These are all expensive weapons or items, though. Lenora's garage, what can we buy in here? We've got crankshaft. <laughs> Ring joint. Guys, how often do you find yourself picking up some crankshafts? Do you enjoy those? It's quite a personal question, if I'm being honest. Don't answer that. Right, what else? Lastly, Unicorn Market, we can now buy a mallet. Removes fog from one ally. Painkiller removes pain from one ally. Let's buy a couple of these. Let's buy five. Five painkillers and five mallets. I don't know how a mallet is supposed to remove fog. <laughs> how does a mallet remove fog? Maybe just slap them in the fucking head? Painkiller taking away pain makes sense, but a mallet with fog? Hmm. Okay, right. Well, that's cool. We can save our game in a second. Let's just push on because I feel like we're going to get... Oh my god, Lightning has 22,000 XP. <laughs> We've not played this hard in quite some time, obviously. Can we level you up a little bit, Lightning? We can. You've got so much shit available. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, fuck it, let's go. Commando, we'll take you. 
We'll take you. We'll take blind side. Strength 12 is an absolute must pick up, so I'm going to grab that. Magic, magic and HP. Do we want to pick up this HP? Probably not for the time being. I think we want to get round to Scourge. That seems OP. We can always come back and pick up the rest of this shit in a while. All of these nodes are costing a lot of fucking XP to get to, guys, so forgive me. We can go to the roll level if we want to. For the buff. Let's do it. You guys said that this is worth its time, so... We'll go ahead and fuck that in there. Ravager, what can you do for me, Lightning? Where are you? Okay, we got you to the end. So, yeah, Aero we definitely want. And give Lightning some wind damage, that's cool. Strength plus 5, there's 9 strength here also. We would take her around to Watera, I think that's a good idea. I don't see myself prioritising Medic on Lightning, so although there might be some moves that we want to pick, hard to pick up, we will actually just naturally go around here. Tempted to go for this. Tempted to go for this, but I'm not sure. Um, let's just go around and get Watera here. Then I think we pick up the strength, or we could do HP and then strength. I don't want her to be too. I don't want her to be too squishy. Or we could just go for the roll level again. Medic. What have we got? Strength plus eight. Holy fucking shit! We've got raise here. Renew is available as well. Oh my god, dude! Why does the medic tree give me plus eight strength? I'm gonna take that shit, dude. I I'm scared that I'm kind of committing too much towards like. I'm kind of committing too much towards fucking damage and not HP. And I feel like if I negate HP, I might end up up the creek. Uh, which would be kind of troublesome. It's just that the HP nodes seem so rubbish, you know? Like 20 HP for a thousand points. It just seems so shit. 30 HP. It's a little bit better. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna I'm a pick that up. Don't judge me. Okay, we just spent all of our XP with Lightning there. That was pretty expensive, not gonna lie. Okay. Um, I have to go, but have an amazing stream, Roxas. Thanks for hanging out. Um, sorry I didn't get to interact with you more. And if you're already gone, then you won't know this, but we love you. Welcome to the community. Fog does stop you from using magic. Does uh, something like silence. Okay, okay. Pain stops you from using physical attacks. I don't understand why this game was slated so much. It seems okay to me. I may not have gotten far with it, but that's not uh, that's on me, not the game. I don't see much to dislike. So what are you? What are they all talking about? I th I don't know. I think that when this game first came out, I got heavily criticised. But um, for me personally, it's actually been quite enjoyable. Uh, all the characters look beautiful. The cutscenes look beautiful. I think it was just the kind of the plot was a bit foggy. Um, back in the day, it is a bit weird. They throw a lot of the. I think sometimes that Japan does sometimes when they make content and they make games and media, they seem to have this fucking wild addiction for like naming shit like after one another. Like they'll give two things very similar names, and then they get confused. They get upset when people get confused. You know, like there's there's Falsy, Lucy, and Seath are all three different things in this game. I don't know. Maybe there's a theme where they're trying to keep it consistent because they're all related to monsters, but like, I don't know why they would do that, you know? There's Pulse, there's Grand Pulse. Why? I know it's like one part's a subcategory of another part, which makes sense, but it's like, sometimes Japan's got a weird boner for naming things like the same, and I think that leads to confusion sometimes. It's a bit bizarre. I'm trying to think of like other examples on the spot, but it's really not happening. Um, there was a game we played recently. Was it Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, Kingdom Hearts is terrible for doing this. Where they just, like, one one character will have, like, four different names. Like, why? And then you'll get another character who shares a character's name with someone else. It's like, why would you do that? Just give them completely different names. And it won't, it'll, you'll be able to avoid confusion, you know? But, um, it's by the by. I don't know. I also think this game is kind of, it does kind of feel like a, like you're on rails the whole game. And maybe that's why it gets kind of slated. Final Fantasy is, you know, you kind of want to talk to NPCs and explore environments, whereas this game's just like, you know, you're on a path, you follow the path, you fight an enemy, you get to the next part, you fight an enemy, you get to the next part, you get a boss, you get a new item, you get an upgrade, you spend your points, you buy items, you move on. It's just the same, same, same. Maybe that's one of the other problems, but I found that the music is fantastic in this game. The characters, I kind of like a little bit better this time playing it through it again. Um, and the gameplay feels fun for me, but maybe that's not for everyone. I don't know. That would that would be probably my understanding. Mm-hmm. 
usually most FF fans shit on the game because they the game isn't like seven or ten or nine. But still, the third best sold game of the franchise. Mm -hmm. It's very different from preceding games. Pulse and Grand Pulse is the same. Yeah, exactly. So why would they give it two different fucking names? That's what I'm saying. Like why why bother? This is this is exactly where the confusion arises. Basically, yeah, cherry cherry spot in the money. People still call it lightning female cloud, and that's why I want to say, oh yeah, does Cloud have a sister? <laughs> Wait, oh, come on, Ollie. Wait, does Cloud have a sister? I've got you there, haters. Cloud doesn't have a sister. Has he been chosen by a goddess to become her champion? Is Cloud and Lightning can't just be their own characters? I think. There is a strong, you can definitely see though, Ollie, where people are coming from with that argument, right? Lightning is very cloud-like. I said that at the start of the playthrough, because I, I do believe that's the case. I think they took the character from Final Fantasy VII being cloud, and because Final Fantasy VII was really popular, I think they wanted to make another cloud, but just a female version. Lightning is very like cloud, isn't she? She's like, she's very powerful, she's an ex-soldier, she doesn't talk to anyone, She's very, intro like, not introverted, but she's very, she just doesn't want to befriend anyone. She believes in her own, abil in her own abilities. She's very confident. She, she realises that eventually she's being controlled and things like that, and then she eventually realises she's got to fight for herself. There's a lot of parallels between her and Cloud, you know? I mean, fucking hell. L look at the names. Cloud is called Cloud and Lightning is Lightning. Lightning comes from a Cloud. I don't know what more I can say, but the, obviously there are differences, but in terms of their, you know, if you make them two silhouettes and talk about who they are and what their motives are, they are kind of similar, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't help that 13 is made with topping 7 in mind. There are many similarities between Cloud and Light, but that's more in the start. Light, by the end, does become her own character. True. That's the problem with the fandom, not the game. Plus, Caius was made uh, with being better than Sephiroth in mind. Angsty Lone Wolf protagonists are very overrated, says Sushi. But sexy as fuck, am I right? I mean, what? Did I say that out loud? Okay. I think that's enough of that. It's good to talk about it, guys. I feel like I always try and be kind of like... Dude, it, even if people were to say that Cl Lightning's very like Cloud, I don't even think that's a bad thing. Cloud's quite likeable. He's quite badass. I think Lightning's badass. I would say they're both moody bastards in, at times and they both need, like, wake-up calls, you know? But that's like part of their development. That's what kind of makes us like them in the end. You know, you kind of have to go through that roller coaster of this character's an arsehole. I like this character. I dislike this character. And then eventually you're like, oh, they're better now. They learn to be friends with everybody and that they can trust other people. It's always the same. Um, I'm going to save my game here again. Now that I've done all that. Pew. All right, well, we get, uh, will we move on a little bit. There's snow. What's up, dude? Can I talk to you? Thanks for that. This time. <laughs> to me, strategy. Thanks for that, Snow. I could talk to all these guys. Is there more here? Yeah, there's hope and shit. Honestly, I can't be fucked, dude. This part of the game... I'll talk to Fang because she's a babe. Um, these voices are slightly quieter than the rest of the game audio, which is kind of weird. I don't know if the balance is pretty good there. Alright, we can talk to that guy to advance. Is there any items here? I don't think so. Alright, Palumpo almost up. I can't do anybody. Oh, I can do the Crystallium for the other guys as well. I really should, but it's going to take a while. Do you guys want to do that? I'm scared that I go straight from here into a boss fight. I can't remember. Oh, fuck. Right, sure. Let's do Hope real quick. Let's do him. Okay, Synergist. Hope, let's go. Um, boom. Straight in there. Veil. He's also got Boon. Extended duration of the targets. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty good. Ish. I mean, it's not crucial, but it's alright. Bunch of magic over here for hope, which is nice. Yeah, honestly, we'll just take this. We're getting magic and a magic into a new ability. I mean, why not? And it's a passive ability as well, which is great. Let's give hope some HP. I normally don't do this, but we'll give him the 30 HP there just in case. Alright. Mm, Ravager, what have you got for me here? Blizzara, yes, gimme. Free upgrade is nice. Double strength, not so exciting. I've got Overwhelm here. Bonus chain, bonus for attacking uh, attacks of the ally, the same target. Cool. Really good for when we get double Ravager on the go. Let's have a look at his medic, because I feel like I should prioritize that. Alright, fuck it. Give me the fucking magic. Keep me up here. 
Strength and a magic and a magic and a HP and to renew. Mm, this is not too appealing, if I'm being completely honest. I'm gonna go for synergy. Fuck it. Gonna give him the strength into the magic. All the way around. I'm gonna get you all the way around. Wait a minute, have, that, have I fucked this up? Oh, dude, I have fucked up. What am I doing? Yikes, Jack. How did. Oh, I'm not even in the fucking right tab, dude. What an absolute idiot. <laughs> Sometimes I look at myself and I think, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, strength into overwhelm, that's fine. Uh, I'm tempted to pick up this magic in the 20 HP. Let's do it. Magic. 20 HP. <coughs> Feels so gross. 3 magic and 5 magic would be nice. What else was I doing over here? Very close to being able to complete this. Two, 220 HP nodes to make him stronger. And last but not least, we could push on with the medic tree. But the medic tree is... So, oh god, it seems so gross. We could just take him round and level him up as a ravager. I'm going to take the magic here. And I'm going to take the double HP node. Just make him a little bit more tanky, because hope, God, we... Our boy here, he's uh, very squishy. How much do I need to get this? A thousand and, uh, and eighty points. What about this? A thousand? Is it all a thousand and eighty? One thousand and eighty! Yeah, it is. Fuck. Alright, tons and tons of HP, and then Renew's waiting on us as well. If we got this, we could potentially sell our Phoenix Downs. And make a fucking shit ton of money. Alright, hope you're done for the time being. Fang, my lady. Fang, fang, fangaroo, what are we gonna do with you? Alright, uh, saboteur, first of all. The spell seems good, let's pick that up. Um, we've got curse lowers, the odds of interrupting and avoiding interruptions. I see that, doesn't seem that great. Interruption prone and deal magic damage. Do we really want that though? Ugh, I mean, maybe. Fuck it. We'll take the strength, we'll take the HP, and we'll take the curse. Let's just fucking go all in. Right, Fang's got some new abilities, which is good. Let's leave that for now, though. Commando, what can we do? We've got launch. Alright, this is all tidy. Life siphon. What does that actually... Is that like lifesteal? Recharge one ATB gauge segment upon slaying a target. See, that's actually pretty fucking good. Not good against bosses, but... Um, deal heavy damage, about to recover. Yeah, honestly, this seems great. Magic is not super exciting, but we'll take it. We'll take this, and we'll take this, and we'll take this. And then I'm going to go at the Sentinel Tree and have a look. Steel Guard, pretty cool. Renew. Tons of strength for Fang, man, she is... Fang slaps, guys. Look at this. 6 plus 5 plus 6. Jesus. It's just a shame we have to go through the magic here to get to that. Saboteur. I think I got most of this I wanted. We could take 40 HP to make our tanky. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Sentinel roll. I feel that's where we should go. There's a lot of damage waiting for us here. Which is weird. You'd think the commando tree would... I feel like I'm kind of putting. I'm trying to spread my XP too wide, and I don't know if I want to do that. Sentinel, yeah, let's go this way. Okay, we got chill here. Fang, you're done. All right, Snow, you got 30k XP, mate. Noctis, the final, fa the 15 version of Lightning and Cloud, lol. Yeah, Noctis is also like that. Yeah. Mhm. Mm don't know why I only saw a playthrough in Noctis. I mean, Sephiroth could have totally. I mean, Sephiroth could have totally Aerith Light at that point, but it was good and weighed for Light and knocked after a little moment. Alright. You guys are doing your thing here, that's fine. Strength, what we got up here. Death Word, boost magic and physical resistance when HP is low. Yeah. Challenge, force a single enemy to attack you. Renew. Def defend will gradually recover in HP. Wait, what? 
Oh, that's pretty good. That's all right. Should we go? Should we go with the Sentinel roll with snow? I kind of want to give him more options of damage. There's Aero. Overwhelm. Really good skills to pick up. Okay, I'm gonna. This is weird, but I'm gonna just actually put some points into, the, into here. It feels super wrong, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I just like having extra abilities for magic damage because sometimes that can actually be really useful. I'll take Overwhelm here and then we're gonna hold. I don't think I want any more perks in the Ravager tree for snow, that's more than enough. Sentinel will take you up here. Strength will give you HP for sure. Strength in the Death Word is a must. Keep them alive longer, which is nice. Yeah. Okay, we definitely want Mediguard, and we will take Renew also. Do we take the double HP? I mean, I mean, it's two thousand XP for like fucking thirty HP, which seems like a, such a gross deal. Seems so gross. Commando, what have you got for me, baby? Pick up a bunch of stuff here for snow. The magic is kind of minging, but we're getting a lot of strength here, which is nice. Yeah, that one seems like a good one. Strength. See here, you get 60 HP. Seems like such a better deal. Oh, look at this. Oof. Oh, snow, man. What is this? Seems gross. All the strength. That was really good. Holy crap, we just got so much damage. Alright, so magic we do not probably want. Snow's magic is half of what his strength is. Less than half, actually. Um... Do we take HP, I think? This just seems like a good deal, so we'll go here. And a 5 strength, yeah, fuck it. We might, oh, we can't actually complete it, but roll level, we can almost get that. I don't think we should neglect these, but it's just the fact that it's like, for 10 HP, a thousand, when in actual fact I can just come around here and go like, boom, 30. <laughs> for the same price. <laughs> oh, damn. I feel like these extra nodes on the side are bait. Alright, that's our party. Substantially strong now. A lot stronger. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll just quickly save here, gang, I think. Alright, let's save. Hmm. Uh, no, let's just actually save over the last... There we go. Alright, cool. Party's looking great, guys. All that XP we farmed is actually getting put to good use, so I appreciate that. We have a lot of money still that we could spend, but I don't really fancy fucking around with that right now. You guys can't see that, but I had 6k gold. What we'll do is we will talk to this guy, see what happens, and then pick up... Uh, maybe... Yeah, no, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's push on a little bit. Just a tiny smidge. We'll watch this cutscene, and then we'll probably be wrapping things up today. gift to our rotting government. Take those Psycom guys apart. And we're supposed to take on all of them? I think the whole division's on board. I don't care how many lackeys they've got. Bring them on. Benil's in there. I'm sure she's fine. Benil's tougher than I could ever be. Hope, are you scared? Yeah, I'm terrified. But I'll be okay. Because I have you. And this guy, and Fang. <laughs> Fang's like, what the fuck? We gotta stick together. <laughs> right. Enough with the bonding. It's go time. <laughs> what do you mean, this guy? <laughs> this guy that killed my mom. <laughs> oh, that's kind of. Sorry. Okay. Random. Oh, the Pope. We didn't expect to see you here in person, Your Eminence. This crisis threatens the entirety of Cocoon, my child. You agree that standing at the fore is a leader's charge? Wholeheartedly. It also affords a splendid view of the impending execution. 
<laughs> Shut up, mate. The guy's got a boner for killing people. That's a bit fucked up. You gotta wine and dine me before you crash anything in it, my ass, mate. I don't know about, I don't know about this guy. What the fuck? Excuse him, what? Code verified. You're free to dock. That damn time. All clear. Welcome aboard. Dude, I have no idea how they make these cutscenes. Like, I have no idea how these are made. But they're actually insane when you- You know when the ship's flying past another ship and on the other ship you can see all of the bits of the- of the, like, the- the vehicle? It's actually so crazy. To think about. Alright. Sanctum Skyfleet. Here we are. So, wait, did we just land on the Code enemy? Wait, what? Why did they... Why did they let them... Why did they let them land on the ship? You know how it was like, you know how, you know how the, it showed you the intercom, right, where S Snow was like, let me land or I'll crash into your ass. Why, why did they let him land? Why didn't they just blow them out of the sky? Sorry, Jack, we're talking about Dissidia. Alright, no, you guys are fine, you guys do you. Thanks, Dean, reminiscent of Final Fantasy X's Assault. I'm off now, folks, take care, Ollie, thanks for hanging out, dude. Sup, nerds, what's up, snubs? Warm welcome, sir. I don't get why they let them land on the ship, that's a bit fucking strange. Ship is code verified. The Lucy scanned it when they entered the ship. Ah, Roger that. That makes a bit more sense. Thank you. All right. So who we got right now? We've got Lightning, Hope, and Fang. Interesting team. What are we doing right now? Ravager, Commando, Commando. Yeah, that's fine. Fuck it. Alright. Laters, bro. Hey. Nice. It's a trap! They spotted coming out of a small they got spotted coming out of a small fire. That's why the alarm went off. Yep. Serenity, that's the secret. It's always a trap. 384 points for that fight. Uh okay. About half the XP we were getting from fighting the little blue guys earlier. No spoils. Get it. Okay. Looks like they want to play. No kidding. So where to? <laughs> right up there. Ah. All right, guys. We gotta fight these bros and then save our game. I think. Is there any items behind this? No. You gotta always check for the items. Alright boys, this will be our last fight I think. Hmm. There could be an elevator a little bit ahead bringing you back here, that way you can farm grade money and CP. Do be aware that enemies here can be tough. Roger that. Alright. Yeah, these enemies are actually quite beefy, they're not taking a lot of damage. Kinda surprised at that actually. I don't feel like in a multi-enemy fight it's good to like do buffs and shit, but I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not taking these guys seriously enough. Let's do uh, some sentinel shit here until so we get some heal. Lightning can do our thing, fucking people up. Oh, we'll be able to see the the guard, the thing changing here. Like, you see that when she attacks, the bar does actually go up a little bit, which gives her a free attack. It means she can get in more. Yeah. Yeah, actually, kind of lets her go faster. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's go, Sentinel Ravager. 
I think Hope will be okay. Last fight? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. How have you been today, Snowblower? How's your Sunday been, man? We've been going for a little while today, so we're going to be, uh... I think we'll be chilling soon. This is my favourite farming spot for credit and incentive chips is Cherry. Wait, so, hold on, Cherry. You're telling me you farmed 50 incentive chips in another part of the game and that wasn't your favourite spot? <laughs> Hello? <gasps> credit chip do a Oh, Jack, wait till you fight these guys accompanied by the Psychom Huntress? You want a tough fight? They'll give you an oofed. Keep talking pure filth in my ear. Oh, the, them backflips though. Cool. So, this is the elevator you guys were talking about, right? Can I go back the way? I get the feeling I'm missing something. Wait, why did you say that, Fang? You're making me oddly curious that I've missed something. Why would you say I get the feeling I'm missing something, hello? I'm um, short. I woke up about an hour ago, says Snowblar. Wait, you've been sleeping all, all day? Hmm. Wait, so what am I doing now? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Wait, no. Put me back. Oh, <laughs> wait. I didn't even know this was an elevator. No, dude, I didn't even know this was a way I could go. Does this take me back down? And down. No, no, stop it. Hey. Am I stuck up here? Look at the power of these legs, gentlemen. Holy fuck. Dude, I think I'm stuck. I don't even, We're going onwards, chat. Fuck. Iams? A. Dude, half the time I don't know when I can jump up in something in this game. Sometimes they give you a little blue indicator and sometimes the game's just like, fuck you, figure it out for yourself. Like, see here, I wouldn't be surprised if I could jump up something. See, there's that indicates that you can go there. Do the chips, you have to go that way. The elevator is up ahead further a bit. Something bad's waiting for us. Stop saying that. Nothing bad's waiting on us. They're gonna give us free bazookas and armor and upgrades and XP. Nothing bad's waiting on us, lightning. Nothing bad at all. Stop this. Stop this at once. Dude, this looks like this looks and feels like a fucking boss fight. Are you kidding me? I've got one node. I can pick one node across all my characters. I'm doing it. Where's the HP buffs? Magic. That could be alright. 20 HP. Dude, I'm taking the magic. Fuck it. Hope you're getting magic as well. Or potentially HP. Did I put... I've just, I've just thought about something. Did I, um... Fuck it. Well done, Hulk. You've got 30 HP now. Fang. Did I give everybody accessories that, like, in the spots that they need, like, accessories? I can't actually remember. Fang, fuck it. You can have 30 HP. Congrats. This is so weird. Just started the damn chapter, there is no boss fight. I mean, that's what they want you to think, Cherry. That's what a scrub would say, and then out of the blue. Bam. Um, Ravager? Eh, magic on snow. Oh, oh god. <sighs> Sentinel? You got anything for me? HP! Nice. One can never be too careful. Okay. All right. Oh hey, it's windy out here. We'll be going back that way. Find another route. Way ahead of you. See that? Let's go. Ah yes, the giant plane. Oh. Don't go getting blown away now. Okay, I've got some items in this direction. Let's go ahead and fight these motherfuckers. What's up, boys? Oh my god, is that Deoxys? Holy shit, Deoxys, what are you doing here? You mad fuck. Oh my, Deck Drone. Deck Drone, you are staggered, mate. Lay the beach. Oh my. 
He's over here trying to complete his focus. Okay. I... Dude. The interruptions, though, not cool. Not cool at all. Alright. I'll take it. 284 points and some silicone oil. Excellent. Just what I needed. Nothing like a bit of silicon. We can put that in Hope's ass. Oh, hey, that's an upgraded for one of our weapons, right? Hell yeah. Hells to the yeah. Alright, guys, not bad, not bad at all. This is probably a great point for us to save. I think we could probably clear these guys out, right? It's like a last fight. Oh, where the, where the fuck did that guy turn up from? Just flew into the side of the screen like, yo, what's up? Alright, sure. We gotta kill one of the Deoxys ASAP. Have we, uh, have we identified the flying guy? No, we haven't. Alright, we'll identify him in a minute once we blow up this motherfucker. Techniques, Libra. Use that on... No, dude. That's not what I wanted. Did that actually work? Oh, you fucker, dude. The Dragoon. Get the Dragoon, please. If you wouldn't mind. If you wouldn't mind not being a little shit. <laughs> but Fang's like, pathetic. Alright, let's go back into commando mode. Pew, pew, pew. He's already dead. Light up. What is this guy weak to? Nothing. Hell yeah, dude. All that stagger, though. Oh, he's fucking doomed. Ooh. Wait, is he not dead yet? Hello? Nice. If I'm correct, there should be a fight against five to six of those deck drones. Fun fight? Oh, I can imagine. That sounds painful. Digital circuit picked up. Cool. Alright guys, we could obviously fuck around here and continue to investigate this area, but I feel like now is a really good time for us to just call it quits and stop for, for today. It's been a nice chill Sunday stream, and uh, we'll leave some more for tomorrow. I think we're into chapter 7 at this point? We're on chapter 9. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, we're on chapter 9. My mistake. I don't know how many chapters are in the game, like 14? Is it? Is it actually? Th maybe it's actually 13 because the game's 13, I don't know. But we're doing alright. Maybe not, I don't know. We still haven't gotten to the planes yet, and I remember the planes being one of my favourite parts of the game. So, uh, yeah. We'll leave that for another time. 13 chapters. 72 chapters, Kappa. Look at you guys just dropping the rare memes left and right. I see you in the chat. Thinking you guys are funny. Right, guys. It's been a good stream today. Really grateful for everybody coming to hang out. We had Nai resubbing earlier today, as well as a couple of hosts from individual homies, dropping the one viewer host from time to time, which is obviously always appreciated. Very grateful for you guys coming to visit me on this Sunday. I am going to go and prepare my dinner, tidy up my flat a little bit, and then relax. Uh, I think we'll be streaming tomorrow. Uh, I had... Last Monday was the last day I took off, so it will have been a week since we like didn't stream for a day, but honestly, I feel like Mrs. Wolfie's going to be at work tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to playing some more Final Fantasy, so... We'll kick things off around about 10 a.m. tomorrow, and we'll pick this back up from then if anybody's at all interested. Bye, Wolf Pack. Lovely stream, Mr. Wolfie. Thank you, Sereni. Thank you, Snowbar Cherry, and everybody else who was hanging out for today. You guys are the best. I'm going to peace out. I'm going to love and love, you. love and leave you guys. Have a good Sunday evening, folks, and have a good general end to the weekend. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more gameage. I'll be working, so if you're streaming tomorrow, I'll be out there. I'll be there about 3 p.m., 2 p.m. for you, Jack. Okay, cool. We might manage to catch you, Cherry, and if anybody is at all interested, obviously our VODs will be available, um, both on YouTube and Twitch. Twitch will be ahead of the game a little bit by a day because of the YouTube kind of uh, affiliate kind of thing with, with Twitch and the delay and whatnot, but yep. Alright, guys. See you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.
Thank <laughs> you. 